From the Lodge Mahal in beautiful Austin, Texas, welcome to the Lodge live stream. My name's Slick Rick, along with my partner each and every week, Skull Mike, and of course, all week long during stream week, we'll hear from the great Poppy himself, Joey Ingram. Skull, a cast of characters at this table right now. Tell us about the game. Yeah, game's gonna be outstanding today, Rick. We have High in the one seat. You know he's a stream regular. Coming in for 15,000. Jay wins in the two seat, coming in for 25,000. The world famous DQ James T in for 21.5. Kendall from San Francisco coming in for 20,000. She played on our stream a couple months ago and tore it up. She's back in business. Reese from Dallas for 15K. Alex, who prefers PLO in the sixth seat, but playing the two card game, 25K. Big Tony in for 25K. Mike X from LA in for 25K. I'm very pumped up and excited to see what type of blood is poured on this table today. Joey, how are we doing? How are we feeling? Listen, guys, I'm, I'm excited today. I just got done finishing a podcast with Doug Polk's reunited together and now we got uh another great lineup and listen i'm real excited to see dq i mean dq i've been hearing about him i i, I saw him one time he always talking on social media i'm expecting this guy to put on a show he's he's one of my biggest winners in fact i'm betting on it today so i'm real excited to see him play today you're betting on it today huh little prop bet little prop bet biggest winners i got i got my two you got your two patrick got his two we're fired up shout out to chat guys thanks for tuning in Lodge Card Club, we've been here for the past three days. High stakes action, ups and downs, interesting stories. Last night, we saw some locals locals out here battle, and today we got some out-of-towners in the mix here, like you said. We got Kendall from the West Coast. Mike X came out from uh, HCL, come get in the mix here as well, too. So uh, Alex heard some scary things about him. He's a pretty, 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 pretty action player and pretty scary player, so I'm excited to see him play as well. You're locked in from that what? podcast, and you got a couple hours in right now. You're, you're like locked in. This is like hand number two. You are you're ready to go. Oh yeah, I'm ready to see Jay win. I keep seeing Jay win on Twitter. He's always sharing his stories, so I want to see how he plays as well too. One thing today, folks. Fireside chats with Joey is going to be based on likes. The first fireside chat with Joey. Let's go with 400 likes. After 400 likes, we'll get Joey out there for his first interview. They're using me there for likes. Go. That's how it feels. It's a hard tier for Jaywin, but a pair of eights for DQ. Somehow, some way, he still figured out how to get his chair in our studio. Yeah, what is up with this? How does he get his chair in here? I don't understand. Southwest Airlines. Yeah, frequent flyer miles. So while you were gone, I, uh, I lost the, uh, the tip pot. I lost <laughs> the pot and the tip pot, <laughs> the big blind, the ante, and then the small blind after that. So I think I'm at $1,000 uh, on so one you, hand. So you're not Great. sitting there. DQ rocking his lodge <laughs> coins. He brings those wherever he goes, so shout out to him on that. Take a look at our buy-ins again. He really likes a bunch of 20, 25K stacks, 15K stacks. Last night we saw Nick buy in for 100K, had a good night, had a good session. Today, everyone kind of feeling each other out, getting comfortable. I kind of saw him pregame, you know, people were, who's going to buy in for what? Who's here? Where's my seat? You know, what's this player style like? It's all cozy until somebody gets punched in the jaw. We should have had a bonus profit. Now that I'm thinking about it, I got a little $100 on this. Maybe if your player gets yeah, stacked, it's a bonus. Hundred dollars, you go. You like that, Patrick? All right, I'm in. I'm in for that too. <laughs> you understand how that works, right? Yeah. And I pick. And I pick DQ. DQ is my my. DQ and Kendall are my two picks to win today. Ten, ten, four trips for high. Two pair for DQ. Flopped dead. That's what I said to the testing girl. Like, or you could, you could talk more. more. And we nice to see Hi back at the lodge. Right? He's been in Vietnam for two months, but an Austin local. I don't want to talk. And now it's a poke. I brought alcohol. I Kendall. Brought drink. Kendall's trying I'll, to drink I'll, right now. I'm on a I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I'm on like day 40. You three ticks. Uh, I'm willing to, to break it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go.
so. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ready. Yeah, yeah. Kendall's fired up. Didn't Doug say on the podcast the best time to start drinking is around noon? For if you want to be optimal for health, he did in fact say that, yeah. 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 He used to come here for trade shows. Um, yeah. So uh, she's right. not okay on yeah. drinks. Yeah, me, but I don't want to drink alone. So somebody, just one uh, person. Jesus. Kendall uh, searching uh, for a uh, drinking okay, partner. Okay, got it. I'll go have a Joey, get up here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've had a drink with Kendall before. I, I met her at Vegas in the yeah. Pop and Omaha tables. And, uh, and yeah. yeah. 400 yeah. likes. Maybe we'll go out there and get the party started. Yeah, I'll drink whatever. Yeah. So it's not really a stand-up game anymore, is it? Well. The next game. Are you able to do any business while you're in town, or just mostly poker? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Supreme Leader. What's he wearing? Yeah, that's what you plan like on. Can you tell these guys to have a drink with me? Let's listen in. Wow, I'll join you. I'm here for one. Okay, yeah, all right, that's good, that's good. Is that a shot-up? As long as we keep it under seven, though. We want to get Doug smashed. One of you is going to drive our production team crazy because you have an alarm on your phone going off right now in your locker. That could be, that's probably me. It's probably me. It seems like it's not going to be. Four. Who do you think it is? Uh, Kendall said it's her. It's it's me. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm cool. almost positive it's me. I I have so it happen all the time. Jay win a new father as well, so having a little yeah, sleep, baby moment with Doug. Doug wasn't really blocking the camera, but now he sure shit is. <laughs> 20, 25 years from now, Jay win. Doug's kid and Terrace's kid are all going to be on the watch live stream. In the studio? Under the lights. <laughs> are you going to be here? Are we going to still have Slick Rick in his uh, mid-80s? <laughs> mid-80s? Am I, am I'll be 81 in 25 years. So, well, low 80s. Sorry. He didn't answer the question. I hope. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was because when I was over there, I thought I heard. Oh, I guess like we have to go to the ER, right? Like, I... Our checklist was um, he's either hungry, wet, like diapers. Hungry, wet, or pocket aces for or Alex. Like discomfort, like gassy. Yeah. Um, so you know. The While we talk about diapers, really crabs for yeah. Mike. You have to burst them alive. It's a little weird, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like, it, it's so you're sad. Trying to hit him hard enough to get the gas out, but you're like, I don't want to hurt my child. Oh, I beat my child. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like winding it up. Yeah. But then the thing is, um, the harder that you hit their back, it really oh. does. Child out services out. isn't yeah. watching yeah. the stream. Jaywin knows he's mic'd, right? Yeah. I don't um, think so. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll do the normal task for like five minutes, and if it doesn't work, we just know to add the intensity. But, I mean, their babies are just so resilient, more so than you think. There's different positions, like uh, like let's say each of his legs, like this, his head is up here. That's our like second position. But my kid is pretty easy. You know, just sometimes it just took ten minutes. That's all. But um, he's ten. He just turned ten months. Ten months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good to see all of Chatsville. 587 already in the chat. If we get 400 likes, Joey Ingram would go out there, pick a guest, and have a fireside chat. I'm scouting out my, my, my people here. Got to be Kendall for, for number one, I believe. Kendall, yeah. Love talking to Kendall. Got to get Mike X involved. DQ, of course. I think Kendall works on vaccines. <laughs> yeah, she's in the, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty like sure that's that's something to do with vaccines. But, um, or in, in, yeah, she's that type of research, like DNA sequencing yes. research. I think you're right. Yeah. A very well, smart young lady and a pretty they, damn they good go poker player. Final table, Kev in the chat. What's up, Kev? Shut the final table, Kev. There's some great dealing on the stream the other night. Pair for, uh, two pair for Tony and DQ here. DQ has him outpipped with the King of Spades. 
So yeah, that's the thing we're, we're dealing with. Like, he just always wants to be carried, but we let him cry it out. We're like, we can't He's looking him. focused today. You know, so he likes to chatter and have a good time at the table, but he seems pretty serious, locked in. You can hear the Big Tony's the too rich like, to fold two pair like, right here on the flop. $525. He's in there. Yeah. After a while, there'll be a fake, like, we know that he fake cries, and we can hear the fake cry. It's like when he's crying, but no tears are coming out. His real cry is when he screeches, like, there's a higher pitch. Like, you notice these things. Um, but, like, the fake cry is funny, because I'll just look, I'm like, you don't really, you're not sad, stop it. And then he just go, hey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, you're just bullshitter, you know? But, like, uh, they, they learn how to, like, if they cry, they get what they want, so. 1150, a little bit of half pot here for, for Tony. Tony and DQ have a lot of experience on the felt together. Texas legends, and DQ's going to make the call. Well, that's why, I come to the, that's why I come to the lodge. You know? Oh, <laughs> and it's great to have you here, Jay <laughs> Thank you very much. Valley, there you go. Parental advice by Jay Wynn. Only at the lodge. Yeah, from Lebanon. <laughs> Big Tony, that's 2100, and he's gonna take it down. Felt like an 8-9. Could have been a 7 ten. Jack, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chop. No, not no, quite. No, I had the best game out yesterday. Oh, good one. I did have those. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. DQ might there steam it up now. There was yeah, Big Tony stealing one. What's Big Tony's background? Big Tony owns a flooring and uh, cabinet company in town. One of the nicest guys around. So nice. He plays on stream regularly in our biggest games. Goes out to Vegas a bunch for some high stakes games as well. So we love having him here. He has no fear. And he is one of my picks What's to win the most today. Big Tony, yeah, he, mean, he looked like a serious guy. <laughs> look like the kind of guy I want working on my floors, too. He looks like he knows what he's doing. Do you all have air conditioning in here? Yes. Yeah, so you can see how it looks. Yeah, it's nice. It's a tiny bit warm, just a tiny bit. Do you have AC in here? The answer is always yes if you're if you're hot when you ask that question. It's a tiny bit warm. In anticipation of getting hot. In true Texas fashion in February, it is 81 degrees outside in Austin, Texas. The beautiful state. Based on the first eight minutes, we'll three dukes here. Pair for high. Shouldn't have folded. Hmm? Shouldn't have folded. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was a... Uh, like, got him, got him. I did. Well, no, I mean, it was semi -blue. We both yeah. had a jack. I had a king at a point. I know. Oh, yeah. Tony. And seven jacks, seven. Jack seven. Mm -hmm. Alex taking so a stab. Yep, yep. River 10. Yeah. King high. Yeah. Yeah. High with yeah. top yeah. pair. Yeah, right now. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, so, and Jack seven, seven. Check raising and lead out. So, yeah. And now the check mark: two pair queens you know? and threes. Yeah. Looks like Alex is done with this hand. High gonna go for a smidge of value, and don't see Alex coming along, no matter what the price is. I hear both of our cities, people are like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, Wes Tober, a good question. He says, there's a specific closet DQ's chair lives in when he's not playing. Yeah, I actually got a tour of a closet. There's like a special closet here in the back of the lodge. It's got a name on it that says special for DQ's chair, and it's got some sort of like code padded lock on it. And then he got a, you know, you got to have like a special code for it to get the chair out whenever he comes in. But whenever he comes in, I guess he just gives a signal to somebody working at the front desk, and they like kind of drop everything and took a VIP service oh. or something like that. So we see the DQ signal in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> He's on his way. <laughs> all right, let me go to the AC down. Good luck, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Thank, you. Uh, thank you. Thanks, man. Duck does it all here. He turns down the AC. He was manning the cameras last night. He plays <laughs> on a podcast <laughs> with Joey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. He's working. Five. Four raises of five hundred. Two five falls. Six, six falls. First hand raises, first hand calls, so I must have shit cards. So you know, if I look, I might actually fold. So I'm just going to call. 
I checked dark. Yeah. You could have raised though. Yeah, but yes. Yes. I will as soon as I look at him. Yeah. Yeah. DQ flying blind. I'm gonna check dark because I don't know what I have. DQ doing DQ things, and he Two has bottom pair. Set for poker. Nomics. So as I mentioned about this, three bottles they gave it to me. I threw the same thing. Otherwise known as Reese. I don't know. I can't figure it out. DQ burning that money. Kendall looking for a spade here or something to connect with some straight cards, and that is not one of them. So she'll probably slow down. Time for Pokernomics to start building a pot. I imagine after this goes check, check. Does. Just in case. Milky sizing there. Better. Also burn that money as well, too. Just in case. Oh. 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 Everybody in for a round Folks, it all starts tomorrow, Mayhem Series, February 21st through March the 6th, 16 events, $2 million in guarantees, and look at that one, $300,000 guarantee, February 24th and 25th, uh, <laughs> yeah. two flights each of those days, <laughs> 11 a.m. and 5 p.m., $400 buy-in for it. A 300k guarantee. Get to the lodge. It's time for some mayhem. It starts tomorrow. Yes. What's tomorrow? 10 a.m. That's lunchtime for the seniors. I woke up this morning and I thought it was Thursday. I know. What? I'm, I'm serious. serious. I'm serious. It's only you know, Thursday. It's Monday, right? It is Monday. I mean, I think it's Monday. I mean, it all blend together. <laughs> Day four of nine for launch week. It's all. Getting confusing. Scan your cards. I will. I do every time. Oh, what, are they flying to me? No, no, yeah, they are. Doug Polk bringing a microphone in there now, taking yeah. over the fireside chats today, know, maybe. Um, it, it comes up on the, you, got, you gotta scan the cards. There, 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 all right. Thank there. you very much. That's all I wanted. Yeah. All right. Like man. Like <laughs> well, so I told all these stories and chatted, and then apparently no one could hear me because okay. uh, I'm not mic'd, right? And the viewers were tilted, or will be tilted, or the production was tilted, or someone was tilted. So we thought you were doing it. Okay. Oh, no, well, that, we I don't like. <laughs> All righty. How much is that? Six. Very okay. Not if I'm gonna make you laugh. Yeah, actually, I do. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna check dark. This is probably a bad read. I checked on it. It's like giving you every opportunity to hit your hand if you don't have it. Check mark for DQ. Okay. I have one pair. Me too. If you have a pair, you're probably good. Six. Nope, no good. That was right. Seven dudes. Yay. Seven dudes survives. <laughs> Seven's greater than sixes. DQ wins uh, 3.5K pots. See Pierre okay, in the chat. The first playing, I think, uh, was it yesterday's, yesterday's game he was playing with yeah, that great, great white hat with that red uh, that red embroidering on it? I really love that hat. There you go. You Shout out to Pierre in the chat. What's up, Pierre? Such a great guy. The pride of Italy. He's on the list to get in this game, so the list is long today. People out there in the main room itching to play in the new studio. Oh, yeah, I met one guy out there in a white leather jacket was fiending to get in here. He was said he's a dentist. Dentist from the valley in South Texas. Yep. He was fired up. I like that guy. He usually plays on our Monday games sometimes. Once or twice a month. How much is that high? Thank you, Brian, for the super chat. Really appreciate it. DQ did not drive down here to fold today, it looks like. I think you were being honest last night. I thought you were like... No, I... You know, one of the funniest things is that I literally... I, just, I don't lie about my hands. I never do. And I get paid off so many times because people just think I'm lying. <laughs> yeah. That was my mistake. No? I'm I actually thought you were on a flesh draw. So what is the one strategy to ask you first before they... Yeah, you know what? Because I won't lie to you. So if you ask me and I tell you I haven't looked, it's, it's God's honest truth. Oh, okay. sure, sure. So poker Nomics is a poker vlogger, <laughs> entrepreneur. Started doing his vlog. He said, um, 
He recently said he's played here a couple times, so recently kind of uh, newer content creator in the past couple years and been kind of sharing his story playing high stakes. And yeah, he came down to uh, the room early on when Doug, Andrew, and Brad got involved. He had some high stakes games in the back, and he got crushed in those games. So he's looking for a little bit of revenge. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what he can do today. Cumulative winnings high, the early leader, 2,600. DQ currently throwing the party down 46.75. Well, it's just because it's so big and so you have to be in the outer area. Yeah. yeah. You almost have to like know someone too. Yeah. Dallas is so big. It's the, hard to go there. The only problem someone. I have with Dallas is that there are so many pros and Euro pros that have moved there. In the that you know you're going you're going to. Well, I wouldn't name names, but you did. But you know, if you go sit there and you're playing, you at a table and five people had headphones on and they're not talking, not in a game. Yeah. It's not not my vibe for sure. An ace queen for high, so he makes the call. Lucky for him, no three bet was coming. Ace jack for DQ. So Tony in great shape here against two action opponents. Snowman for Pokernomics. Yeah, getting a good price just to call here from the BB, and he does. Peter now. <laughs> Alex in the straddle with a suited 7 5. He'll come along. So, five ways to this flop with 3.4 in the middle. A couple diamonds for Alex. And a 7 pair as well. Hi, top pair, top kicker. This could be a big pot here, boys. Flush draw, pair. How's Alex going to play this one? Alex is very aggressive. He's not going to back down. That would be like a better idea, you think? Let's see if he plays as fast, puts in a check raise. I mean, high's betting. How many way? Five, six way. Obviously got a pretty strong hand. Could have a higher flush draw. Could, of course, have top pair, over pair. We got to dress him up and put him on a horse. And then just like put him right back over there. That would be... That the, be uh, the American Gothic with yes. Skull Mike and Abs uh, Oh, Skull Mike and <laughs> yes, his American Gothic. That would be great. Those two would fight. Actually, probably step over pair because he's called Big Tony, so. Yeah, you can. Could. could have something you have to worry about kings or, or right, races, yeah. but a lot beat you still. But he goes for the check raise. 7,500 is the number. Full speed on a Monday. President's Day here in the state. Shout out to those presidents. See how high plays this. If he just calls, he's gonna have about nine thousand behind. Yeah. Pretty awkward size on the turn. Two to one SBR here, so you know High's basically committed to this pot right now. In the lead, but needs to fade the turn. Does so. Now needs to fade the river. Better than black. Alex telling a story here on the flop. Let's see if he just rips it right now. All Does in. all in. If you're high and you call, don't think you could be folding here on this 10 of hearts turn. So high doesn't like to fold either. He makes, makes a call. quick call. Humongous pot, hand number 11, 37.3. Going to run it one time. High likes to run it once. One time for the pain. Alex needs a seven, a five, or a diamond. They're going to run it one time. Eight outs you see on the top of your screen. Big pot energy. Everybody's quiet at the table, waiting for the river card. <laughs> Gonna get the board correct, and here we go. Both players looking calm, cool, and collected. There's oh. the five. The five. Alex. Wow. Five from space. Two pair. Yeesh. Sneaky two pair. <coughs> you never think it's going to be the five that gets you, right? You feel like, oh, it's going to be trips or a diamond, but no, it's the five. Two pair. Good for a humongous pot, and high is going for a reload. Felt it. Hand number 11, our big winner so far, Alex, fresh off of that pot. Up 21, large. Memory serves, Alex once on this live stream. Five bets, six high. 
and got somebody to fold pre-flop. Alex was on stream quite a bunch around the Thanksgiving time yes. last year, putting on a show. Nothing and hasn't been back since. Movie. He's been playing a lot of PLO out in the Houston area. But he says, Mike, hit me up. He's like, I got to get back to the lodge. You have a seat for me in this game. I said, for you, sir, absolutely. Show up on Monday, 2 p.m. And here he is winning heaps. But Chris, the night is young. Chris the Cop, good to see you. Jimmy Bluffett, of course, Yoda, all the people in Chatsville. 1,300 in no, the live no, chat. It's, it's Looking for 400 no likes to get our first much, fireside uh, chat with Joey today. Games are hyper like Help us one. get there. Um, we do a lot of big O down there. Yes. Okay. And then we do a, the, the PLO games. The good ones are all home games. Okay. If you're wondering who's in the back, that the, the card houses that's our host, is Jordan, helping really the players out with anything they need, any sort of drinks, food, chips, anything at all. Houston's TCH got Houston's large PLO. Houston is mostly PLO, and that's that's where I've been. What's last, weird, last couple weird months. about North Texas is like Dallas is Omaha, but Fort right. Worth is uh, like five card and high low. Yeah. Hmm. Ace queen again for a high. Didn't really work yeah. out on the last hand, but he's yeah. back. Doesn't even miss a hand. This time it's suited. Reloaded for 15k. Did high. Their game is strong at this table today. A lot of product. Mike X always looking sharp. I thought they took away his hair gel at the airport because it was too big. You know, TSA is serious, but no, he, he found a way. There's 10 for DQ. Yeah, we saw yesterday that same seat with Trey. Just really, really didn't necessarily go his way in some of that session. So seat one, once again, kind of starting off in a rocky way tonight. Seat one cursed in the new studio, perhaps? Uh, Keep I mean, an eye on it. We're going to find out, yeah. On occasion, I actually have something. <coughs> Who was in seat one on night one, boys? Do you guys remember? Come on, we got to remember, right? I don't. That was many shots ago. I didn't know what day it was today, so I, I don't know the answer to that question. I think uh, Joey over Seat here is uh, dying because he can't get any really good PLO games. Somebody help us out in the chat. Like a, a, the a loyal chat game, pros know. know. Like, Nothing like gets past votes, them. Right, Joey? You'd do that, wouldn't you, Joey? Four or five people do a little PLO. Uh, he, he likes to... Joey yep. likes to play the, uh, the shorter hand. Andrew was in the two yeah. seat. I know that. <laughs> I, like the, I, yeah. I don't even know how to spell it, but I, I'll sit with y'all and play. <laughs> DQ want to play Pop Manoma, huh? Not look at your hand. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Love that. It's, it's oh more likely, so right? So Terra's was night two. <laughs> so I'm, I'm more Who was night one I'm, next I'm to Brad? Uh, Andrew in yeah, the yeah, left, right? Way. Yeah, that's a good, good question. Uh, big O, right? And uh, it's the low <laughs> part that keeps getting me. So every, they would deal my cards, and I would just put all five face down like this, and I would just call all the Pocket kings for Alex. And then wait till the flop to look at my cards. Well, I kept hitting every day. And then and I was like, wow, this is good. And then people getting pissed off. And then I realized that I didn't know what I was doing. I was arguing that I had a full house, and I was using three cards in my hand. And uh, apparently you can't use three cards. So Alex, another big hand. Pocket kings already up 20K. J-Win, ace four suited, might be tempted to come along. And DQ doesn't seem like the kind of guy who likes to fold. And uh, suited connector in position. Yeah, Alex is going to be very, very dangerous if he gets some momentum going on here early. But KK are the goods. What is that? Because you're waiting for 10, right? Oh, I thought it was on you. I'm sorry, hi. I literally I thought it was on you. <laughs> Not sure what DQ. Yeah, no one really knows what DQ is doing. Well, you, know, you want your money back. DQ so. in, a, in a world of his own right now. <laughs> Jaywin trying to focus, now reaching for chips, not going anywhere, carving out four betting chips, it does. Uh-oh. Okay, so y'all just don't want to play poker with me. Is that what it is? Whenever I play, you just bet me out of the hand, you raise him. Apparently no one wants me to call with these quality cards. Look at what happened. I mean, I can't do anything. 6-4, quality. high quality, <laughs> straight into the muck. I'm, I'm all right. Knit, right? I know, knit. Ooh. Knit. Kendall, right. not even in the hand. Yeah. That's what happens when you play in Los Angeles. Let's see how Alex wants to I'm play this with, here. Roughly. Out of position against J1 here, might just elect to five bet and take the lead again in this hand. <laughs> Thank you, Yoda. Turbo yeah, actually, seat, like, yes. Took us a while, but Yoda always yes. knows. She it's knows all. Because, you know, Especially the game you on the play. streams, yeah, on the streams they are. Not as much in the in the car room as much. Right. But like over here, like you walk next door over there. Yeah. The action's over there on the, on the one two one three. It's just like. I was gambling it up last night. Oh. I played 1 3 yesterday, on Saturday here for like five hours, and it was 1 3, 25, 50, 100, 200. And I'm like, what the? It's Alex a taking a lot of time play. here, what pre stack, so deciding his options. Me, right? Oh, that is true. Yes. Hi, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, 
The longer he sits the... here, the more I think the five uh, bet is well, coming. Yeah. And this. He goes all in. Uh, Jay was going to have to release. Yeah. Trying to make moves, but you cannot uh, be calling it all I in here with Ace Mark. Four, and he uh, won't. Okay, I think. Oh, yeah. it down. Yeah, one with ice and one meat. Yeah. Folks, it's we're 1,500 in the live chat. Let's do a roll call. Your yeah. chance right yeah. now to type in where you are watching this show from. We'll give you a shout out. Where are you watching it from, guys? Kurt Rhombus, that's Chicago Joey in the comment booth. It is me with Slick Rick, Skull Mike here down in Round Rock. That's where we're watching this from. Absolutely. Where's everybody else watching from out there? I know we got a very diverse audience demographic out there. Some Norway, some UK, <laughs> some Switzerland. I think Geneva. Some people are in there watching from the. We're huge world. in the Netherlands, Joe. Huge. Are you really? Yeah, huge. Okay. Big in the Philippines. <laughs> Chris, the cops checking in from New York City. Let's go. Toronto, Springfield, Mass, home of the Basketball Hall of Fame. What do you got, chat? I might take it. Omaha, okay. South Africa, Vancouver, Miami. Shout out to Miami. Let's go, Miami. Ann Flynn from Vegas. Let's go, Ann. Lives next door to Joey. I knew the Netherlands were in there. What's up, Luke? Missy What's in the panhandle in Florida. Shout out to Missy out there. What's up, Missy? Which one? Just the one just now? Taboo from yeah. Nepal. Oh, wow. That's five Taboo. My hand. Oh, I'm dying. Seven diamonds? diamonds? We yeah. love you. Sweet. I had four six diamonds. Uh, yeah. Swan is a whale. I'm trying to do the same thing. Straight flush. I know. Chalapa, Chapala, Jalisco, Mexico. Wow. You need to take King Jack five Skittles, and now it's trips and the check mark for Mike X. Such a nice guy. We can go get drinks at this place afterwards. Really becoming a great poker am ambassador is Mike X. Okay. This guy driving a truck, he said. <laughs> yeah, buddy, David Vickery, if you're driving your truck watching the stream, I mean, be careful. <laughs> this guy. Just listening to the stream, I hope. I hope so. Yeah. Mac, I'll read the cards out loud for you, David, so, yeah. so you have a better <laughs> idea, so you don't need to keep watching. David, give me a little honk honk right now. Just a random honk <laughs> in Florida. <laughs> Do it for the stream. Mike X, probably going to tread uh, a little bit lightly here early on in the stream, feel out these new players that he's not used to. But he knows he's got the best hand right now. Did a little nice head shake there before putting in the check raise. Thanks, Brandon. Watching from Richmond. Lineups are really going to start heating up for the remainder of the week. It's only Monday, and we're streaming every single day, same time, same place, starting at 3 p.m. Central. And I know you don't like to reveal anybody, so we won't. We will reveal the people who have confirmed to us in the chat. Nick Airball has confirmed in the chat that he will be here. Mm. Things change. Right. All right. Do you know this? You never know. Or maybe they don't serve Do you know the password to my phone? Do you know my email? No. no. The truth always comes out when we hit our, our like marker. That's <laughs> what I hold I wasn't giving them anybody but Nick Airball. I call. That's a, that's a bluff. You, you give everything away for free. For free. Because I love chat. Is that like, no, she's already gone. Can't even ask her. So soft. Can't even ask her. Kendall. Big slick. 1,000 to go. The straddle on, I think they might be playing with the straddle on right now, so it might be 50, 100, yeah. 200. Am I allowed to check dark? Yeah. Okay. No. I'll check dark. You have to go all in in the dark. I'll go all in the dark. Oh, okay. All, all right. right. All in in the dark, kind of hoping and praying, but the ace king no, still good. DQ plays a very Phil Helmuth like style with the dark checks. Commentary just DQ like 15 bracelets, 16 <laughs> bracelets. That's how he gets that great share. 16 watches. <laughs> 16 chairs around the, the nation. Not the best hand here. Check mark for Kendall, but it's only ace high. And DQ gets the bluff through. <laughs> At DQ James T. On Twitter and Instagram. You guys know that. Jenny S. Is the bunker bigger and better than the old one? Absolutely. We've moved the bunker three times, and each time, bigger and better. 
enough for two king size beds in here now and a hot tub. But we're not sharing a room, Rick, so we're going to have to alternate <laughs> for the sleepovers. Kendall's pouring back there, Joe. You see that? She's pouring. Uh -oh. Not one, but two. Uh oh. Who's, who's a drink? Who's she's making me a drink. DQ? Who's it going to? I think she might be doing a shot and a drink. Wow. Double fisting? Or, oh, no. 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 High. Oh, high. He's, he's been felt it yeah. once. He got stacked that hand, yeah. He deserves a drink. Why is Wesley coming back? I have no idea. I, think I thought he went back overseas. No. Or is it, oh, he just you know, I used to be his assistant, but yeah. <coughs> I quit, so I, I don't have his schedule anymore. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, Wesley's Wesley. He's original. Like, there's no. 100%. Touche. Gets full fifth. DQ playing a lot of hands. Gets four fifty over the. Are, are you surprised, Rick? No, not in the least. <laughs> Sounded but, surprised. But he talking to him pre-stream, he said he, he was going to play gonna, tighter. Yeah, that's he true. said he was going to play tighter. Yeah, DQ plays a very unique game: showing cards, checking dark, calling yeah, blind. A few hands, even though I gave you the three hundred on behalf of the table, I still feel like I need to do something. <laughs> Tipping the dealer. I didn't understand when the, the uh, Bellagio Anthony the in the were box. Announced. So we're like 1,500 and 200, 400. I don't know why they don't have 100, 200. Like I, because the two four. I agree completely. Yeah, there it's should be a bunker camera for reaction yes. shots. I agree. It becomes you know a half a million dollar. Yes, it does. You know, yeah, buying kind of a thing you have. Yes. To mm -hmm. You know, if mm -hmm. you have a couple of bullets. Yeah. I love playing. 100, 200 in Vegas and stuff, but if you guys want to see in the, the bunker, I'm uploading Friday, a little behind the scenes action of what it looks like on my Instagram story at Poppy GTO. You can see <laughs> team back know? here, Patrick back here. I'll show you guys what it looks it like if you want to get a little inside look. Check it out right now. We like to keep it top secret, Joey, but we'll allow it. We'll allow it. We busting up the secret. Yeah, put no, it all there's in zero blind. chance I'm looking at my cards against you. No, I don't care what you have. I don't even. We don't even know what I have. Every yeah. hand, aces. So, oh, you're gonna, Doug is gonna come in and they all yeah. you yeah. Yeah. Down. I don't even know what I got. I'm, I'm the police. Yeah, I got no clue what I got. Listen here, young man. But I'm feeling pretty good that I got one of the. Set for Alex. The man is in fuego right now. Not much going here for DQ, but he doesn't need a whole lot to get active sometimes. The wild card calls and checks dark with ace high. And now he's open-ended, so if he's calling the flop, he's never ever folding the turn. And he's calling, saying he's playing blind, haven't even seen his card, so he doesn't know what he has apparently. Make it, make it affordable. No, now you gotta look. All right, how much is it? It's like 1500. <laughs> See, I almost looked again. Okay, I'll look. Just look I'll at one. One card? He's going to look and he's going to call. You don't have to look at the other one. Can I look at the second card? Snap calls the <coughs> 1500. He's not going anywhere. Can I call? Can I check dark again? No, no. don't check dark again. Bing? Hits it. Bingo. Everything gets there. A brutal run out for Alex. Flush. Straight. Check his game. Good job. How about we play one orbit where nobody looks at their cards? That's not going to work, Campbell. Nice shot. <laughs> 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 That'll be kind of fame. I tried. I'm straight. straight. A wise okay, check there from Alex. He's too sharp. Okay. Yeah. See? Never a help penny me. in when <laughs> he was <laughs> behind yeah. and dead. There we go. DQ, let's go. Go ahead. DQ his own cheerleader. He's got a bunch of fans in chat though. What a run out. Even if I had aces, they're no good. I know. On the first when I saw the ace club. One point seven in the live chat and growing. We thank you for joining us on your Monday. Exactly. A beautiful day in the Austin, Texas area. Eighty degrees outside, sunny. We're here. No no uh no windows in the bunker, unfortunately. So we're looking at these TVs. We're locked in the Lodge Metaverse tonight. Start shaking the table. <laughs> if you're looking at those beautiful <laughs> chips right there, you can I see the the bubblegum pink. Those are five thousand dollars, and they indeed are no. oversized. No. That's a pretty the pretty the good. yellows are That's the bananas. The those are one thousand dollars, and those are a little bigger yeah. too. <laughs> why are the those two bigger than? I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? A way to stand out. But is there another specific reason why you guys went with that style of chips? Yeah, for, the it's for game security as well. They stand out. 
hard to duplicate, just overall way better, and they're easy on the eye in mm -hmm. the studio. So a number of reasons. Mike X here, three betting, 750. Uh -oh. Ace queen for the third time in the same orbit for high. He makes the call. Pocket tens oh, for DQ. <laughs> Sitting there saying, please let me have nothing. Like, he doesn't want to play. The tower of $100 chips building to the sky right there. And he four bets the 3500 Cold four bet by DQ. Trying to win a big pot here. Drake Coleman, thank you for that super chat. He's a big so, fan of DQ. Yeah, about 40 minutes. Yeah, if he's not careful, you might be able to... That was my hope, Mike. Mm -hmm. High to fold. Mike X saying See, it's I'm not too early. To remember my hands, but I mean, I'm still patient. And High folds the ace queen on his second bullet. <clears throat> Let's take a moment to listen to our sponsor, Odds Jam. What's up, gamblers? My name's Alex, and I'm a big poker player. I'm a big sports better. I've made over four hundred thousand dollars sports betting. It's documented a bunch of different places, so you can look it up. Odds Jam. But essentially, what this tool does is it's a data-driven sports betting product. It pulls odds from sports books and shows you discrepancies, plays where you can actually have an edge, right? So out of the millions of odds on sports books, what Odds Jam will do is show you big... Thank you, Odds Jam. Give them a look, folks. It's actually a pretty cool application there, website. Kind of calling it the kayak of sports betting. So we thank them for partnering with us. <laughs> Who's King High? I had the King High. Oh, okay, okay. Nothing going High's way. But he's still getting involved in the action here. Suited 9 7 of hearts. Are either of you going to raise? Because I just like to call. I'm not going to raise. No, you, you can't. Here's hoping no one raises. Yes. How do you hold yeah, 50 for 8,000? See, that's why I'm not a good poker player. I, was I don't say, have discipline. I'm not a good poker player. No, it's because you are. You like to keep your money. I just like to give How about away. when you start drinking? She already is. No, I'm saying I've like been more. Drinking. That's oh. five yeah. checks. Two, seven checks. Two, seven checks. Oh my god, Two, I'll bluff at it. 750, everybody got the box. Thank you, with two pair. Good I'll bluff at it. Says he's going to bluff at it. He also says he never lies. I mean, uh, <laughs> are we bluffing here? That's a bluff. Oh, he also says that. he Good works at a Dairy Queen. Good yeah, I don't think that's true either, so. We're on to him. <laughs> Big Tony here calling with the wheel draw. You know, bet and just like call, 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 call. Jaywin with his ace, it's no good. DQ at 80% equity with 3,000 in the middle. 1,300, lucky 1,300. 1,300. Tony is going to let it go. Jaywin with the ace. <laughs> oh, and Tony would have hit his wheel. DQ on a little heater right now, up about 7,000 today. I think I saw David Hoff in the chat. Must be related to Kendall. Married to Kendall. Dad, brother. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Ron Milby in the chat. Oh, Loving the new set. Can't wait to get back out there. Big shout out to you uh, as well, Ron. Back. Thank you very much. Damn. Damn. They do it strong in Cali, don't they? Day four of the new Lodge Card Club stream Honestly, studio reveal I special like, stream week here. It, Nine days high stakes action alcohol, down like goes straight to, to the nose. in Round Rock, yeah. Texas, right action, outside Austin. Hi, getting a lot of hands so far. They're from the Bay Area. Yeah, I think I'm in I'm from around there, Monterey. Monterey. It's okay to pull me in. He's just trying to hurt us. It's been a while. Like, uh, I mean, Bay 101, you know. Like, yeah, 
It'll sure. pair for J win. That, that would make more sense. Yeah. It'll pair for DQ. Yeah. And bottom pair for high. Also I straight draw, yeah. so a little something for everybody here. I'm trying to count. <laughs> 12 years ago. J win is stuck in the I middle between sure two action opponents. Good fold there from yeah. DQ. But I'm saying, like, there's not, you know, there's not PLO games there around there. Oh, like, no. So if you want to play PLO, it's only home games. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's uh, one casino game. One day a week. No, like every challenge for sure. Yeah, exactly. Then you gotta go. Yeah, that's a drive for me. Like over two, two oh, drives. Know, yeah, exactly. DQ would have made two pair on the turn. Played there and Hi, check call with yeah. the bottom oh pair. Yeah. Got shot. That place, I don't think. I don't know if that place exists anymore. It does. I think it does. It does. I, but they, I don't think they have. I don't know. I mean, they cater mostly to like. The they had some big scandal games. a few years ago with like. Money what like a turn card it would have been if DQ was still around, but he exited on the fly. Sure, sure but there was like a lot of crazy stuff that went No down. assistance there for high, so the check the mark for Jaywin was 6.4 in the middle. Thursday games. Talk about like the old days back at Articoes. Yeah. Like, yeah. What are you guys playing? Like home, like uh, no limit or A little bit of pot control oh, by Jay yeah. there on the turn, and now after yeah, high checks down. river, time to go for some value. Uh, I'll give you my card or whatever. Yeah, sure. We have, we have small games. The PLO game is like 25 50. So. It's, a, it's a good card. It's okay. But it's not like. Jay Wood will kick down like that pot. We are closing in on 92,000 right, right. subscribers. Like there, uh, on the or Please like a consider guys. subscribing to our channel. We're on every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Normally, this week we're on every single day of the week. Subscribe to the Lodge live stream. Help us get on our race to 100K and beyond. <laughs> I know you're not bluffing, I just don't know. DQ, we're going to have problems if you keep reading my mind like that. <laughs> I'm just trying to I don't, I don't like playing as people keep reading my mind. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. This is not right. I have to talk it out in my head. If I, if I sit and think. Kendall doing a little operating at the table right now, setting up some, some type of private game action, it looks like. Bay Area games are all, like, really, really small, so. Mm -hmm. Look at that super chat there, Slick Rick. Celine, forty nine ninety nine. Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, thank you very much, Celine. Thank you for the uh, for that great donation. I love your avatar. I don't know what that is exactly, but that looks like a yeah. I believe that's Celine from Houston. Supposed to play in uh, the game the other day, but had to drive on back. So shout out to Celine. Ace King for GQ. Much appreciated. Uh oh. Nobody could figure out how we Trips for high. Yeah. Did this early in the stream. Nobody could figure anything out. They built games around this guy. Um, afterwards, I had a friend who was like, God damn, I was there at like 9 o'clock in the morning. High dominated pre-flop. Transfer Bitcoin around. But now has all the equity here. Post-flop and DQ C-betting the 1500. I only played with him twice. The first time I played with him, he left me a bunch of stuff after I got there. Uh, no, no, I can't beat him. I can't beat him. How much do you Oh, there's always a run around. No, there's no run around. Wait, what happened? Did DQ call? You have like... He did call and he's just trying to pay it off before we even see a turn at a river here. High rips it. Wait, what happened? High rips it and DQ calls. We have a 19,000 dollar Just give him the money. Running it one time. DQ gonna need a jack, queen, or backdoor trip draw to come in. It's yeah, over. That's it. It's over. Drawing dead. Uh, DQ geez. not wasting a whole lot of time calling all in there on the flop. Drawing dead on the turn and high, fresh off of being stacked once, is now gonna get a little bit of a rebate, and DQ's gonna have to claw back. Well, there's nothing left, so it doesn't matter. And then I go this. Like, a year later, came back to the high. There you go. It's right. Hard to lose with a full house. Yeah, it's right. It's very hard to lose with a full house. And then he was. It's all right. We got it. Yeah, they all right. Yeah. All right, folks. We're at 293 likes with 1,700 in the live chat. 
Who wants to hear from Poppy? I want to hear from Poppy. Those interviews are fire by the fireside chat. It's a lot of fire. All we need is 107 more likes to get Joey to move 25 feet into the studio and sit down by the fireside. Look at that. Humans winnings. Alex, the big winner, up 26,000. Pokernomics, the next green. 1250 everyone else losing like almost 100 or something it's yeah, early we're gonna do it by the fire or are we gonna do it by the bar side to get this uh, party started I don't know. kendall looks thirsty I mean, highs I, a little I could, thirsty i could use a drink honestly guys i mean bar side and, like he's been here 15 times and he's never lost and then, like other people like other hosts and other who should we get like, okay, kendall kendall seemed talkative today EQ. Maybe a little we poll. Do a, do Maybe a, a little poll. poll. Yeah, I'm gonna pop out our first Poppy's poll today. What do you What do you guys think, Poppy's poll? Who should be our first guest? How about see Poppy's poll? Yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> I think. I think. Pause. I think uh, we do DQ or Kendall. Isn't that, isn't that the funny thing about poker? Like you wish you have a good hand, and then you're like. I think those are probably our two top ones for right now. Right. Absolutely. The short term thinking. Mike X as well too. Hey Kendall, what we're doing here is we're complaining about short-term life. Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. sorry. Um, Poppy's yeah. poll coming in hot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> you're in. I don't believe so. You're here. <laughs> hey DQ, would you like any no, no, more room? I just, I just want to count. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. I'm just right now. I'm oh, using no, high scanner. No, I'm not. A, no, I'm down now. Down? Yeah. Yes. There you go. There's the poll. Whoever you vote for. Yeah, hop, hop on, guys. Hop on Poppy's poll. Make sure you guys make your selection. Who would you like to hear in our fireside chat for tonight? Our first one, at least. DQ. Racing off to the start. Who plays tournaments here? Uh, uh, I just play like mm -hmm. recreation, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. a couple tournaments a month, one or two. Anthony. Are you playing the million year team? Uh, the main event I will. That's yeah, the the March, early March. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you going to be here? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be here for that. <coughs> yeah, DQ with the casual 85% VPIP. <coughs> Feeling good about that I pick I did for him as my top winner for the night. Yeah. Are you? I'm going to go with my guy, but I'm not happy with what I've seen so far. Alex off to a hot start. Yeah, Alex is uh, crushing it so far, picking up a lot of big hands. Looking good for our social media man, Patches. I hate tournaments. I play like once a month. I check start. DQ, you said 5,000. Yeah, that, you have got 5,000? I play like once every five years. Yeah. Yeah. I play a tournament. I'll I actually down. shipped a monthly muscle here. That's pretty man. Always good to win. Fantastic. For 600? I've already checked out. No, two days. Two days. Gnarly, man. 27 bets, 1500. Call. I remember last year. DQ backdoor quad draw. I'm gonna come along here, out of yeah. position. Uh, Certainly third, enjoys getting himself in some to, in some yeah. pickles of spots here. Yeah, it was a six wet. Third. I think it was third. Big Tony hits his ace. It's definitely the kind of guy I'd like to redo my I floor in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Probably. Mixon poker checks in chat. How you doing, Mixon? No, just a pair. Always good to see you. Black coffee, please. You in yeah. chat? Yeah. No, just black. Yeah. I'll take black coffee outside. Yeah. I'll do the coffee as well. I'll do the coffee. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> coffee sounds good right now back here, boys. What do you guys think? I could use a coffee order. Okay, I have. Coffee. Slick Rick doesn't drink coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't know. What he does half the time. <laughs> yeah, look at this great set. I mean, I, I keep enjoying this set. I really love the bar in the back. You got the got the snacks back there. Got the drinks back there. Little little plants. Don't know if those are real plants or not, but nice plants bar stool. 
Got a fireplace. You got this other little place on the left hand side. People can maybe sit if you got some guests at all. Top of the line studio here at the lodge in Round Rock. And then it just kind of fizzled out and stuff. Too many people got hurt playing bigger games. Needs more guns though. You know, I'd like a I'd like a shotgun on the wall. Maybe uh, maybe like a old school out of use shotgun. Sounds dangerous. Well, no, it's a it's, it's the aesthetic. Yeah, it's in. Yeah. Talk to Douglas. Yeah. Get him on that. That, just didn't, that seems authentic. I was wondering, because in Dallas they call it Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was if that was a it's Dallas weird, because I, like, I think WSUP calls it Big O. Like big a five card high low. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I call it Big O. <laughs> join them and have it high low, Big O. I mean, yeah. One of the guys in it was like a high low driver who moved to San Antonio a few years ago. Ace Queen would always in the big blind. Down. Uh, yeah. J1's going to try and isolate. Up there. Three bets to 3,000. Puts Pokernomics in a tough spot, especially with Big Tony behind him. Ace 5 suited a very pretty hand, but only with 15.6 behind, he lays it down. Tony, on the other hand, he does not like to fold. Big Tony, maybe set mines here. Can win a big pot, $50,000 pot, so the implied odds are there. These pocket pairs in position, a little deeper stack, usually easier to play. You can kind of play fit or fold if you'd like. But he's go leaning on laying it down, it seems All like. Right. Does. Does indeed lay it down. Wow. Did not money. think that would happen. We're just giving it to him. True story today. Uh, I got breakfast tacos. I'm with my lady, with my puppy in my car. I'm driving, having a wonderful morning. It's been a long week so far, Joey. I get my food. I'm pulling out of the parking lot. It's a big city, you know, Austin, Round Rock, plenty of places to eat. Who do I see pulling into the same restaurant? Slick Rick. Yeah. <laughs> and we did not talk to each other. That's a true story, folks, in chat. Unbelievable. You, you two are, are like maybe hooked by the mind or something yeah. somehow. I don't know. I mean, that's, that's pretty weird. It always hits. You don't have a tracking device on my vehicle, right, Rick? I do not. Rick, you seem like you seem like the kind of guy, Slick Rick, that like super nice, but that would maybe put a tracking device on. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 you know, it seemed like if you told me, yeah, I got a tracking device on your car. Like, it's fine. I just want to make sure you're okay. You know, Alex, second time in the session that he's woken up with the Cowboys. Yeah, Alex, a lot of big hands so far. I don't think there's any way I can get lucky on twice, but I'm still going to try. And DQ, a lot of marginal hands so far, but got a lot of heart. I checked dark. Checks dark, trying to hit a set of fours. That big Tony wasn't willing to do on the previous hand, but it's not 3,000 to go pre. It's only 250. Yeah, Queen high flop. DQ seems to love I these pocket pairs on uh, three over card boards to yeah, keep keep right. calling on. A card that nobody really likes to see here on the turn. The beautiful ace of spades. Yeah. DQ needs a four. Check. I don't know where we're going. Yeah. Doesn't Ooh, please let me have king ten. Please let me have king ten. I don't know it. Do you go off? No. Let's see Alex go for a smidge of value here. He's got the double blocker to the nut broadways. All right, I'm going to need king ten. We have it. Let's check back on this. Just that stretch of 1100. You decided to go, but you still have to do it. No, we're oh. we are going. We just haven't, like. Underpaired to the board, not really beating I mean, anything he here. Beat, he can beat king. Is it good? Yeah. Well, yeah. Beat, uh, I, I pair. Beating pair, enough. basically nothing. Um, beat, uh, king. I, yeah, I, I king can't nine? Pair, so king I'm nine like, suited. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good fold here from BQ. You know, wake up oh, yeah, his head. Yeah. Look. Yeah, and that's what happened. So, yeah, get torched. Slick Rick getting a breakfast tacos invite with Kylie in the chat. Kylie really wanting to sign up for breakfast tacos with Slick Rick. <laughs> Kylie's a crusher. She's a rocket science, a true rocket science scientist, uh, Joey. Wow. That looks like a different Kylie. Oh, Rick just is it different? Rick oh, just, that is Rick different. Rick just gets all his Kylies mixed up. He's wow. a big, big pimpin' uh, over uh, here. That is a different Kylie. Man, your wife's not watching, right? I can't. No. She's working. Kind of medicine. You're like, <laughs> yeah. Baby Advil. She's not monitoring the chat just in case other other women come in and ask you if it's breakfast tacos. How huh? many Kylies are in your uh, <laughs> she's phone got, book? She's got nothing to worry about. Suspect. Been under, under the weather a couple lately. 
Where are we at on our like total at 400 likes? I'm going to close this poll right now and see who our winner yeah. is. Looks like DQ is. Uh, Let's see our results here. Let's see. 346 likes. We're getting close. We've got 1,900 of you in the live chat. Kendall got a new <laughs> got a new shot in front of her, and she's got the ladies. Pocket queens. Okay. Pair down now, too. New look. I like to discard of my hand and undo my pre-flop action. I, I just feel like you're making a move <laughs> on me because I'm in a bad space. So I just I check DQ out. with the A7 offsuit. Okay. Good luck, Jim. You too. I hope one of us wins this hand. I know, I know right? <laughs> Let me want to look. I'm put my hat down. Okay. <laughs> DQ with the back door. True. Seven high flush drop. <laughs> What's he got here? Wait a second. <laughs> He's got ace high in a dream. Uh -oh. Kendall with the overpair, and uh -oh. Kendall also has the hearts, though. So. Uh -oh. So equity getting even thinner, 6%. Kendall in great shape here. All good things considered, a great turn card for DQ. DQ's oh, dead to the Barry Greenstein. All in from Kendall. Mm. Kendall looking to shut this down right now. Perhaps have DQ call light again. We saw him do that against High a couple hands prior. I mean, when you hit this turn, maybe you got to consider going with it. Unfortunately, 6%. Good bluff. Kendall's not going to show DQ a thing. Oh, well, yes, she is. Ooh, Slips she it just for him, <laughs> just for his eyes only. It's <laughs> <laughs> always good to get one through. Always scares yeah. me with the drink on the rail right there, yes. but we trust Kendall. Brand new carpet, Kendall. Take it easy. Brand new table. Five or six down ten. That sucks. Early. I used to learn to lose more things. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> You think you can get DQ to have a beer or something when you go in there? DQ's not really a heavy drinker. Uh, maybe. I can ask him. I don't know. I don't think he... Yeah, seems like he doesn't drink. I've seen him have a... I've had a beverage with him. Before. Yeah. Some, some beers, mainly. Oh, just on just on command. Reese pulls that pulls that nice. tray table over for... Uh, must have heard you. Such a gentleman. Must have heard you, Mike. Yeah. It's probably good for the stream to have... <laughs> Glasses. Yeah, I kind of like it when the drinks are on the table. Uh, I don't. It's scary. Why? Scary. For what? Oh, yeah. I get worried somebody's going to spill and then we're going to have a disaster. Slow down the stream, you know? <laughs> they I want to see Max. I think hands. that's authentic, though. It's like an authentic oh. high stakes oh. poker game. Like the yeah. table's oh, kind of stained a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> what happens but what happens if the table's broken? Are you, are you uh, buying a new one? I mean, listen, Doug Polk, you know, successful guy. Successful, guy, successful guy, so I'm going to put that to Doug. Yeah. Then shit, let's have the drinks on the table, <laughs> man. Let's go. <laughs> I'll talk to him later. But, yeah, this is ace King uh, five, two clubs. Oh. Two players with an ace. Thank you. Thank you. After having a few. And yeah, that one's been... I dropped a drink on... Yeah, I haven't eaten too much. I hadn't had got my chips yet. I had to move the whole table. It was quite, quite embarrassing. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. DQ, a little sneaky check back with the top pair on the flop. In position, DQ wants to juice it on up, top pair and the Broadway draw. Jaywin going nowhere for this price, just deciding to see if he wants to play for a little bit more or just call the 1050. Makes the call. Can we have like a seven of diamonds? Seven of diamonds. Perhaps DQ to raising there on the turn to see a cheap river and just check behind. Jaywin snap checks, but now DQ going for some more value. It's a split pot on the five of hearts river, so not a good river card for Jay. But he makes the call. Let's chop yeah, it up. Yeah, 
I'm all in. Like, it's at three or four in the morning. It's a drunk guy, and I'm sober. And he has aces, and I have kings, right? Yeah. And he has his hand. You guys want to play he's at he's the lodge like with this. legends like uh, Big Tony, and DQ, Jaywin, right like, you know, and the rest of the crew. Hit me up on the socials at Skull like, Mike Poker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Running games oh, like four means, times a week, yeah, usually yeah, Monday, five, Wednesday, you Friday, you and you Saturday. Except for launch. What can they do, Mike? I mean, let's let's give some alpha here. What can they do to get a little advantage if they want to get a better chance to get on the game? Because you know we got a lot of people out there watching right now, really want to play. Maybe they're or nervous, or they don't know what to say. Tables, so, what would you recommend? Well, what what are you looking like for? I'm I mean, looking for good you... energy, Joey. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking for positive vibes, vibes, good people. Mm -hmm. They want to buy in deep. They want to put on a show. I mean, this is a poker show. It's not just a poker game. We got thousands upon thousands of people watching, close close to 100k subscribers. I want to build characters. I want you to keep on coming back and having a good time each and every time you're under the lights. So deep stack, good energy, good vibes, willing to come back. Play some hands. Play some hands, okay. That's, that's really the recipe, right? Perfect. If you think you're one of those people out there, make sure that you, uh, you know, make sure you let Mike know. He's a busy guy. He might only see one message sometimes, so I would just kind of try to include the right information in that first message to him. Yeah. Trips okay. for high, yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna, we're minutes away from a yeah, fireside chat yeah. with Joey. We see Iron Mike Brady has joined the chat. Oh, are you How are you doing, Mike? Yeah. Mike's gonna be <laughs> here <laughs> in a few, uh, maybe next week to commentate with me and Skull, <laughs> Mike Brady. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Table having a good time, everybody drinking, whether it be coffee, a little booze, enjoying each other's company. I don't think your hand is dead here at the lodge if the car falls off the I don't table. think so either. I, I think they try not to kill someone's hand unless... Right. Jason says right, right, he's really yeah, loving the new studio. Thank you so much, Jason. Like I don't know. I've never seen spend anybody. a lot of time on it. A lot of people a deserve a lot of credit. Table. We appreciate the kind words. I've seen it playing PLO because they pick the cards up or whatever, but right. no one's ever cared. I've never. Yeah. I haven't experienced what he went through where they called the hand dead. Yeah, I've never seen anybody oh. drop a card off the table where they were like actively I'm in the hand. I've seen somebody fold and it like goes past the dealer or off the floor. I would think that that's anything that would incite that player to just don't go. bluff me, right? This is again. I might send me home. I might be like, uh, well, obvious. can't win with the best. Six team five team. deuce. Yeah. Not much going on here for either player. Mike X has been pretty quiet so far. Good. Thirty hands in, really hasn't had much to work with either. Small pot here, jack of clubs on the turn. There's a, a homeless guy pushing a button like he thinks it's an elevator. Look, he's waiting for it. Yeah, what? Right there. It's not an elevator. Mike releases. <laughs> Everything going Alex's way so far here <laughs> on day four of launch week. talking shit about me over here? <laughs> and Doug is back. <laughs> I'm back there. I'm back there in production. They're like, Doug, they're it's kind of talking shit about you right now. <laughs> it's just me. It's just me. No, Tony for canting how he played against this guy who had aces and kings, and the guy was so drunk he was lifting it up. And then he dropped a card, and, and the hand was dead. And so naturally, we were thinking of Friday. We thought it was you. We just asked him. We, uh, we. <laughs> That's what they were saying. Uh, it was a Harrison. He had not tabled oh, his hand. Yeah, yeah, not here, not at the lodge. The lodge. The lodge. The lodge. I'm, 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 you know, I don't know. I've only seen cards fall on the floor a couple of times. But <laughs> in those situations, <laughs> the dealer is not going to allow to pick it up. They have to call the floor to pick up the card. Yeah, if you get a warning. Yeah. 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 Drunk guy. But I've never seen Couldn't remember his cards. Nice dog. It was not my finest my finest hour on last Friday. Oh, no, 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 no. 14 shots was your finest day. That, uh, the fact that you're still standing. Was that the final number? 14 shots? I really don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> the flip thing was pretty I funny. heard I went out to the bar afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's always great when you get told that the next day. Like, oh, man, you went out to the bar and had some drinks after. I'm like, That's oh, I did. That's because you won an $85,000 flip. 
Yeah, that's that, why you that went was to the also bar. super degenerate. I don't know why I was thinking. That. <laughs> <laughs> it was only eighty thousand. Eighty thousand. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> that's a really yeah. different flip. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, normally he it, can tell you. Normally, <laughs> no, not Alex knows this. Normally, with members, if they wanted like a flip, I try to I try to be a good sport about it. Hey, hey thanks for reminding me of that. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can't. So here's the thing. You can't. You, if you flip with Doug for a normal amount, oh yeah, and with Doug you loses, two, yeah. it's automatically oh, we're gonna do it again, right? No, like, oh, no, okay, no. Oh, and then okay. and he's like, okay, let's do it again. For the record, let's do it again. <laughs> and let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you get some back. Lose a flip. You have the right to request. You you do have the right to request. Doug Doug has no off button. Apparently the way it went down was at the end of the stream, Coot said, Doug, let's do a 40K flip. And I, 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 I've been told this story. I don't know if I said this or not. <laughs> Doug, let's do a 40K flip. I'm like, no, that's ridiculous. 30K. So we put 30K out because that's reasonable. Did you win? And then I think I won, and then the stakes escalated, and then the 80K flip at the end. And apparently I, I did a prayer to, to God <laughs> for, for, a, for a club. It's like, God, I don't believe in you, but if you're up there, which you're not, <laughs> can you give me a club on the river or something? And I hit a club, and <laughs> there you go. I think the best flip in stream history was when we played with Boston Jimmy, and we all did that massive oh, yeah, flip. That was there. And that you was had to ass. wait till the end to hit me like the straight flush or whatever else. And oh, my God. Running around the whole thing. Yeah, that was insane. Oh, my God. That was, that was, that was awesome. That was the most insane thing. I mean, because you know he was dead to one card, and it was, and he got it, and it was just like we're minutes like, away from fireside chat Jimmy with Joey. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah. Well, he said, he, he so was. so at, at the end of the stream, he's like, so Doug, uh, or he's like, I'm just gonna go all in without my cards. Uh, you want to join me? And I'm like, this is really stupid. All right, here we go. And so we just like close shift in our stacks. Yeah. A little free roll for everyone else at the table. Trips for the highs. Guy got six as Swap trips in. three times today. Yes. Karma. Karma. Yes. Through 31 yes. hands. Yeah, that was the that was the. What are you guys drinking? I yeah. saw there was some drinking going on over here. She's uh, what are you drinking? I brought uh, some scotch and some mezcal. Ooh, Glen Farkless. I like Glen Farkless. Uh, <laughs> pour a drink. Let's see here. Pull it up. Pull it up. I think right now I'm the only one. I I, I still sipping with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Peer pressure, everybody else. Anyone else want? Oh, wait, am I allowed to do that? Am I? Kendall. Uh, I'd be 100%. I'll, I'll do it. I'll get up and pour the drink. Kendall, I'd be 100%. I think I can do this. I'm going to get blitz with you. If I Actually, I don't want to make our Chinese mad. Oh, um, you're in hand. Come on. No, no, I like my, my whiskey. No. My whiskey I already do stupid Poker stuff. No now man. you're going to put alcohol in Got six high. The rule is if I'm, a, if I'm a player, I can pour, but if I'm not a player, I'm trying to be like Mike. I'm, I'm, exper I'm experimenting for 90 days. Thank you, DQ. There's the boat for high on the fun. river. <laughs> not too much. I want to get some flavor here. All right, cheers. Cheers to the coffee. <laughs> Makes the bet, and we're going to see a fold here. Yeah, it's a uh, quick fold. Uh, yeah, I, I've had it a few I times. Think. I thought it was good. So, uh, yes. they did, I, All right. It's okay. No. We're going to head it's on a, out a, to the studio with Joey Ingram. Okay, All right, Mike, Rick, we're out here in the game right now, fireside chat with Joey, Big Poppy, K Chicago Joey. We're joined by one of my uh, one of my favorite favorite new characters. If I get to know him a little bit, he's been making a name for himself on the scene, doing crazy giveaways, playing a lot of hands. And I still don't know how the guy got his chair in here, but we're going to find out right now. We got my man DQ. Up, in the house, joining us for the first time. I mean, second time officially in the stream, but first time officially playing in the game. How's it going, man? Um, early on, it started bad. Then it went really good, and then it went really bad quickly. Yeah. How, yeah. Are, you, how are you looking in there right now? Um, I'm looking like a professional punter. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to go uh, sign up for a football team soon. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, 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 what's the inspiration behind playing, playing I, a lot of hands, you know, just Alan Keating style? I just want to have fun. Yeah. And I actually get a bigger enjoyment out of beating somebody with a hand that I haven't seen. And then they just keep betting, and then they can't even beat a pair. That's just exciting. So you don't mind the offset, even though you might lose money sometimes? Correct. Just Just that, that feeling is worth it? Well, so since they can't hear us over there, think about this. You play loose like that in the early on. And then later on, you slowly tighten up. They still think you're – it's metagames, guys. Complete Smart. Metagames. Smart. They've never seen you play before. Correct. So hopefully right. the second half of the stream, I will be able to put that into action. So that was the plan. That's the plan. Yeah, so I think everybody wanted – let me just ask two questions everybody want to know. One is why do they call you DQ? And it's not because you own Dairy Queen. Where, where is I DQ? Just, no, no. It's Dairy Queen is just from Dairy Queen. DQ is for Dairy Queen. That's it. You know, drop fries, flip burgers, make blizzards. So that's not even your real name? No. No, what's, your real, what is your, what's your real? What's your real? your name, dude? What are you talking about? I, 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 DQ James is a is a is an is this? 
is correct. Alias? It's an alias that's been going on for probably 15 years, maybe, maybe longer. Yeah, my first name starts with the so letter O. We, we don't know who this guy is. My that's what you're saying. Okay. name starts with the letter O. Okay. Yeah. Oth Othello. Sure, that's a good one. I like that, Othello. I okay. mean, my, my last name is Greek, so that'd be a good guess. We can go with that. Yeah. And then the second question is, how did you get that chair in here? Um, how, who are you? What, who do you, what, do you have like blackmail material on Doug Polk or something? They let you bring that chair know, this everywhere or something? way before Doug was even here. So I was grandfathered in before Doug came in and said, get that stupid damn chair out of here. What the hell? Who the hell is Deke? I don't even know who this guy is and he's got a chair. Get this shit out of here. And they were like, no, Doug. This guy super chatted like over $30,000 to the lodge, and that is not a lie. You get his chair? And so uh, apparently if you super chat $30,000, they will put a fucking chair right there for you. <laughs> well, listen, I mean, I know the lodge appreciates super chat. I mean, you appreciate yes, you gave me some super chats before. I always appreciate that as well. Yes, You've been doing some great giveaways out there, getting back to the community. So one last question before yes, I go back. I'll let you back to the table. Who are you most looking forward to stacking today and is it Kendall because it kind of seemed like you got your eyes uh, stacking Kendall one, today. What am I? One, two, three, four, six, Alex. Alex, that's the guy yeah. you're going for? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, likes to be, uh, aggressive and, um, overplays his hands, so I'm, that's okay. kind of what I did, what I did, okay. hoping to get D him in the end. DQ's coming. Give a shout out. You got a lot of fans in the chat. Give him a shout out. Chatsville, you know I love you. I hope you guys, uh, are in tune to the great DQ giveaway. Uh, the next one will probably be at the Lodge. You never know. We'll talk and see if they want me to have one here. But uh, I love you guys, and I appreciate the support. Even though I'm not playing poker properly, I hope you all are still having fun. Cool. Guys, back to you. Another fantastic interview. Fireside chats with Joey. we got DQ, who was just interviewed in a hand with High now. Five, six miles minimum a day. Probably more. But just fasting that, like probably 50 pounds or like 10 miles. Yeah. I have, uh, I Straight to on the river, Broadway for high. Yeah, like, I made like two Not much going on here for DQ though. Eight high. Checks, and now he's out of the hand. Were you surprised to see that answer there by DQ saying he's going after Alex the most at the table? <laughs> yes. I was surprised. Oh, yeah. the, the, the energy level yeah. you get from it, the energy boost, everything's great. Yeah. But he is so, right. Anyway, Alex day. does get out of line sometimes and is very, very aggressive here. But as we look at the V-pips, DQ, 75%. Wow. Alex only sitting at 33%. Kendall waiting for her time to strike. Mike X down at 24 percent. Everything you say, I'm relating to completely. Cool. That sounds like the beginning of a disaster story. Like 50, 100 with a 100 big blind Annie. We're going to be playing the same game tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday back to 200, 400. On the Lodge okay. launch week. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Actually, that's the thing about poker. You don't have to make it. What? You got 200. <laughs> he didn't miss anything. I love Kendall's voice. It's so sweet. Jay went taking his shot there. Oh, yeah. 10-3 deuce, two clubs. Top pair for high. Quite the roller coaster session so far for high. He's flopped trips a number of times. He's been stacked. Now he's battling back. Multi-way pot here in position on his opponents. Makes it 650 to go. There's the four for DQ. DQ with his gutter ball. Binks the four of clubs, but it's a club. Nobody with the club in their hand. Goes Ooh. check, check. And now two pair Ooh. on the queen of spades river. A sneaky check there on the river from DQ. Goes for the check raise to 2,000. Gets paid. These boys are playing mighty quick. 6.5 in the middle. Ship the money over to DQ. Or right in the gut. That hand happened very, very quickly. Check darn, check bet, check raise. <laughs> two, two players who don't take a whole lot of time to make their decisions. And, and folks, I don't like it. 
I, I never really won. I've, I've had a boy. I've, I've had a do Mayhem a is fan. right around the corner. Uh, he, Tomorrow, it yeah, yeah, starts yeah, yeah. at 10 a.m. with the seniors event. February 21st through the March 6th, 16 events, close to two million dollars in guarantees. And you never know who's going to pop into the bunker. You get back what you put in. The man himself, Andrew Nimi. Welcome. Thank you. Look at this space. This is my first time in this section of the space, actually. It just gets better and better right yeah, here. Andrew, like, really awesome. I haven't seen you since Friday night. Not too, many, not too many people have. And I just want to ask you this before we get into the commentary. You went shot for shot with everyone, but you remain the same as, as you were when you walked into the studio. How did you do that? You know, growing up, growing up in Michigan, growing up in the Midwest, you learn a thing or two about, about the beverages. It's part of the culture. Uh, I got the Irish, Irish slash German background. I, I do have that skill set, but the, uh, the hangovers, that, that's my downfall, so. People were shocked <laughs> at the, uh, the big pots. I was shocked at Andrew Nimi. Right, being time. the same. <laughs> I mean, I, I had a little bit of an advantage. I, I think a couple of the other guys missed breakfast that day. I did get a good breakfast. So I had a little uh, a little advantage in that department. But that, that, was, that, was, uh, that was quite a show that we put on. A good, uh, good relaunch. The over and under of 1942 bottles were set at 4.5. It went over. Yeah, it was over easy. I don't know what the final tally was, but it was over that number. Is that a thing? Like, is that for Monday? You guys, like, everybody, they, everybody they expects. Like everybody What's expects up, guys? Me, Shout out to everyone in the chat. I Monday, see all the hellos. Yeah. Yoda, of course. And, and running it only once. What's up, Jimmy Bluff hit the legend. Uh, like, if you yeah. want Marty Ball. That's why Max yeah. Payne. Yeah. What's up, guys? She does some slow rolls on them. I've seen two or three of her, like, highlight ones. Yeah. Like, oh. um, Thank you, Brian. Is actually an art. Like, oh, yeah. Another yeah. diamond yeah. possibility yeah. for Kendall. Yeah. I don't know how it's just I got like the I jack with the ace kicker and the diamond draw. <laughs> Big Tony <laughs> looking for a seven. <laughs> Big Tony firing away here with second pair. Yeah, yeah. Not going to work, of yeah, course. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's at the point now to where I, I don't even get excited about the pot over until the you cards are turned over, somebody folds. Oh my god, I had 8 4. I had 8 4. Kendall takes it down. $8,200 in profit. So, Andrew, oh, when are you next on the schedule to be on the felt? I think tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. I'll be in the mix tomorrow again with, uh, I think, a couple of a couple of these faces that we're seeing today, perhaps. And, uh, yeah, another uh, 5,100 session. Should be another spicy one, I'm sure. Uh, probably not quite as spicy as, the, as the, uh, that Friday game that I was a part of, but. Um, you know, always, always action around these parts. So, I'll be in there. I would not there. have seen that coming. Mm -mm. <laughs> Actually, I might have seen that coming if I'm being totally honest. How's the game been today so far? Game's been great. The weather is out of control for this I hope it's beautiful point, Austin, like Texas area. 81 degrees out there. The 80s. Couldn't believe it. What's not to love? Mayhem starts tomorrow. What a time. What a time to come down to the lodge. If you're in, if you're in a colder climate, strongly suggest coming on down to Austin, Texas. Get in the mix. Play some cards. Scan the cards. I'm waiting for the action to see what's going on. See a poker superstar like DQ. Yes, okay. Let's go, Chatters. Y'all see my hand? I don't. This is a fun lineup we got here. Oh, yeah. We got Mike X. Mike X came. Legend of the uh, our friends at the Hustler. Yep. Big Tony, legend around these parts. Alex Fires out here with bottom pair. Kind of a semi bluff situation. Big Tony going over with top pair. Interesting spot for Alex here. <laughs> Picks up a little equity with that straight draw. Next time you get it. I know, right? Some hands are just it's like gonna that. go for it. Some days are just like that, you know. Yep. It's the job right, done. Every time nice work there. Pocket sixes, they flop us up or whatever. Actually. We played a PLO game. I run into uh, Alex sometimes at uh, breakfast really spot here in Round Rock called nice. Cafe Java. We both like to frequent that spot. Seven or eight times. I've seen him I mean, there like three times or so. Uh, <laughs> hey, when's the next heads up match with Jungleman? Why are you but, like, specifically hold on, hold on. Five. I want the record to show 
I prefer PLO. And, and then you have those moments But the where viewers you're like, at home that's not what we do not. On that interview. Fair play, Doug. Prefers the PLO, PLO but it's tough to stream the Pot Limit Omaha. Yeah. The four cards, there's so much going on. Four cards, I mean, four cards in everyone's hand. It's just yeah. it's tough to follow. For the viewers, Alex. Yeah, no. For the viewers. <laughs> Fun game though. Yeah, it's just Pot Limit Omaha. PLO is so as hard to watch on the As long as like more than one person is straddling, I'm straddling. It's, it's worse for the stream, I think. I want to be in people rather see a, a one-two no limit game than a ten-quarter. Yes. PLO. It's not relatable. Oh, we got yeah, oh. Reese, you're a big PLO player too. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Played a little Pot Limit Omaha myself last night. I saw that on your Instagram. Yeah. One two five. Always a fun game yeah. here at the lodge. Yeah, Koo, Koo loves the PLO. Yes. Oh, yes, my so, totally see that. Koo's and I were texting today. Folks, we're going to set the line at 800 <laughs> likes for the next fireside <laughs> chat with Joey. But neither one of us could remember. So if you want to see <laughs> we were trying to deduce from Joey out there, telling us things, and it was, uh, in this next interview, we need some likes. <laughs> Eight, seven, <laughs> deuce. Yeah. A couple of top pairs here. Mike X, I'm hi. I was investigating my own crime. There you go. That would be really funny. Both players are going to like this flop. Can you imagine? Playing in a poker game where somebody has somebody standing behind them being like making sound effects. Like, Four hundred dollars the price. High is in, of course. Bam. And he's got second pair. Backdoor flush draw. Backdoor straight draw. And honestly, <laughs> Joey with the super chat says, "I'm sixty-nine thousand dollars in donations so away from matching DQ." Yeah. Can we use that bathroom? Yeah, we'll thank you, Joey. Thank you, Joey. Let's be honest. Twenty bucks. Yes, that's not open. For big pop. I'm a, I don't know. Is there one? So Good turn card here for DQ. Yeah, Picks up over. all the draws. <laughs> This way? Mike slows we it down. And then See the high decides to do. Still got himself top pair, reasonable kicker. He's gonna fire nine hundred dollars DQ. Of course, continuing. He's gonna continue with a raise. Oh, he bet nine. Yeah, kind of a tough spot now for Mike facing facing a waiter in a raise. And after he starts talking, it seems like it's gonna be tough for him to continue. Got the best hand right now, but tough to know it. Going to lay it down. Let's it go. High, perhaps a little bit more. Well, I was going to say, perhaps a little bit more familiar with DQ, but he gives him the credit this time. And if that's the bottom of DQ's range there, then it's pretty reasonable fold. Not sure if that is or isn't the case, but... So do you really take that chair everywhere Well you go? played, DQ. Take it down. Oh, okay. no. Live here? This, one is left this here, chair right? lives here. That's what There's I a chair that lives at TCA. Dylan Miller says, Andrew, what makes you smile? Here, no emotion here. on stream. By the way, DQ also did something really nice. Fair he question, Dylan. A couple Dylan. of those customized chairs for our commentators. And yeah. they have it's the tough, same you know? Record with their names on. You can, you can kick oh. out 260 we poker vlogs, capturing everything, putting in all sorts of creative aspects to your videos. Which I'll never... If you never saw the original lodge, you can sort of uh, carve old, out a yeah, uh, niche okay. yeah. for yourself in the say, poker world. But ground, if you're not a stand-up comedian on stream, to come play on the live stream and get wrecked. In a phone booth. <laughs> what do you got to say about that, Doug? Like, you're gonna and, say you're gonna take like, uh, Dylan Miller's side, are you? And Sorry, I, I was just I was just thinking they about. Have good seats, and they didn't I have, have not like, seen you since like Friday. <laughs> 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 like computer are you yes. okay? Are you good? I think I'm okay. Yeah. All right. So I just I, I'll them. know by I the end of today or garage. definitely tomorrow and whether I, I'm okay. I figured out a way to you know, pay him money. There, there's a conspiracy the chair, theory going on that you weren't drinking before the stream, and then and then. And then, it became uh, very clear from the stream that you were drinking actually just as much as us, but somehow were way less That's annoying. Really, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was in there. I was in the mix <laughs> with you guys. Um, I mentioned, yeah, I got a breakfast that morning. I think you guys didn't really eat before that. I, I, it's, it's just hard to remember at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I was I was in there. I kept it going afterwards the, too. You know, we went to. Uh, Did you go to the bar with me? <laughs> we went to the brass tap, and then we went to another bar. I think we left you at the brass tap, and myself and Jake and Joey went to another bar that I don't, I don't even know the name of that one, but it's another couple doors down. Wow, there was a dance floor. Oh, oh, you hit the dance floor? I hit the dance floor. Oh shit! Yeah, I I, I think I was a little too gone by that point to, to hit the dance floor. Understandable. Wow. Well, it's good to see you here today. Good to have you back in the action. Yep. 
Great to be here. Look at that studio. Look at that beautiful studio. He says the same thing everywhere he goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's an exception. I'm in the studio and I'm in the booth. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that happens. That happens with live streaming. Mike, you've heard this one before? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Every time I go play over there, I do it. It's at the point now to where they've invented rules to not let me put my card protector on there. And they're like, well, Aww. you know, it could interfere with this, that, or the other. So then I had to start getting like lodge patches and just like sticking them on my hat and stuff. That's a race, right? Big supporter I, I of the lodge. Thank you. Love to see here. it. Yes, it was funny because I was—we were already playing cash, and now I would never met you at yes, that sir. time. And my recollection was, man, whose chair is that? And it was like that's all the conversation was for like an hour. So we sit at the table. Whose chair is that? You know, because you didn't show up right there at the moment. Blind versus blind action here. Mike funny. X coming in with the Raiders, shooting King. Yeah. Yeah. I with the flat call, the big blind with the nines. I, I Do we have some straddles going? Seems like this is. And I look over and there's a poster. And it's, it's Must his be. Face says, Wanted dead DQ's or alive. DQ's got like, four black chips like in front of him. <laughs> and then I hear, I hear like, 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 hey, or howdy, or whatever. I look over and there he is in the flesh. DQ defense. Exactly <laughs> like the poster. And I'm like, oh, that's you. And remember the poster over there? Yeah, I did. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I enjoyed it. You look like a 1960s villain that would be tying down a, like a princess yes. to the train tracks. You know? <laughs> so, oddly oh, yeah. enough, you can, can thank, you can thank Greg Potter and one of the other guys joke. from TCH for that. <laughs> Doing commentary on your jokes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Interesting. That's just a good joke. Yeah. <laughs> that, was their, that was their idea. So, uh, Jamie, so like I it. learned that lesson a long time ago. I would ask my mom. Interesting. Uh, you know, Interesting idea. Us, having <laughs> having you kind of hosting from within the room. Of course, you're my favorite you know. child, right? <laughs> So, for the longest time, I thought like, like that. Dig it. Until yes, I was talking to my sister. I'll stop in. You know what? Yeah, probably makes my favorite child. Really? Tells me the same thing. By the way, guys, we have a new channel. Watch the best hands from the show. Head on over now youtubecom Lodge Poker Clubs. Just hands. And he says, this is my no funny story. business, no <laughs> compilations, just the best hands happening in the stream. You can head yeah, over there and subscribe <laughs> now. Look at Brad's on, face. Yeah, he's so excited about he's that. Where he is. And he's not even lying. How's Brad doing? Is he, is he all right? Is he surviving? You guys hang out yesterday at all? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him since Friday. I, I, I really thought you guys were hanging out yesterday, but no? No, I know that he uh, met up with a buddy of his that lives here in okay. Austin, a buddy of his from high school. Oh, nice. So he went, he made it back to the bar. Apparently he's in like slightly better shape in that department than uh, okay, cool. myself or maybe you. Um, cool. So yeah, you know, obviously had a rough go past couple of sessions, but nothing that Bradley cannot handle. Ready to go. Two bear here, by the way, for DQ. Check. He's already got the nuts, and he's trying to see if I can catch it for anything. Check. Ooh, setting the trap. Check. Jaywin does improve to a pair. I have. He checks it back. Let's go, baby! Oh, let's go! Perhaps he was in the dark there. Yeah. All right, he was definitely in the dark. Oh, I didn't even see the five. Let's go. I knew you won. Nothing like winning a $500 pot when you're down 18000 It's beautiful. Stop counting. <laughs> If you, if you keep putting the graph up there. Stack your chips up crazy, and then That's you won't the know how much you're Just up or down. Yeah. And then, and then <laughs> exactly. you don't have to worry about it. True. Good to see Kendall back on the sh on the uh, on the show We're here. She uh, she got him good last time she was in town. Played a couple of sessions. I actually thought we were playing on the <laughs> old stream. Are you thinking? Really? We, no, 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 no. we have a compilation of that session. I think it's actually one of the most viewed clips of the lodge ever. You know that? I think I saw that. Yeah. How close are you? 100,000 subscribers. I played with Kendall uh, in Vegas just before coming think, out yeah, here. Probably like seven or eight thousand away. That's a win. I think like a year ago, we were only like a good player. Good player, that Kendall. Yeah. yeah. It was at 2020. I think it was right before we did the launch. Um, when, we, when Brad and I first got yeah. here. Yeah. Including blinds and stuff. Uh, but it, 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 it sucked that time, DQ, because we had to uh, take the stream down to get everything going. I remember so we, that. We had to go dark for like three or four months. It was pretty, pretty brutal. I know. Mm. I drank the water, two coffees. The stream exploded. Yeah. exploded. Yeah. Three coffees. So, so yeah. many people yeah. watching it, man. And then with this room, I feel like I was a broken record with all the, all the locals. Yeah, like, really you know, we have a new stream room coming. Like, oh, yeah, Doug. Yeah, I've heard about that a million times. Because yeah. when you first announced it, it was like, it's going to be here like September. And then it was November. And then it was like, uh, you know what? Fuck it. We don't even know what it's coming. I mean, so, Lord, shut me down. <laughs> So it's, it's just, you know, per, some of the permits Worth in the Austin wait. are oh, I know around Rock, Rock, yeah. it just Beautiful flop for Jaylen here. Checks you know, it. Yep. Um, 
But you know what? We're thankful that we Kendall takes the bait. It's a nice place. Very beautiful place. Mm-hmm. I can't commentate over myself. It just feels too weird. It's just I too know, it is, me. It is kind of weird. I, I got to go ahead and skull you. You got in here. I can't do this. I still think a karaoke <laughs> stage. We need a oil and canvas. Uh, you lose. Decided. You got to uh, get up there and sing one. So Jay would, uh, Jay would decide to check this flop. Maybe it's, maybe it's maybe it's the kind of flop that he checks with his full you know, range like out of position. Like the classic American farmer family. Wants to have some good check calls. Good hands to check call with. We got to get that and have Bad turn card for Kendall here, turning top pair. Now she goes from. Bluff to the value bet doesn't realize she is still absolutely crushed in this particular spot. Yeah, have a little karaoke stage. You lose. See if Jaywin continues to check call or check raise. You got to get up and live. Yeah, that I sing a song. I like the stand-up game. Yeah, but the stand-up game kills the camera angles. So what to get over? You got cameras. What do you mean so what? It's a poker show. Yeah, but you got them on top. You can't see the poker. It's a pretty show. He's a little indecisive there. Decides with another. Decides with another check call. Here's your button back. I had to go in front of a group of people and sing a song once when I was like 16 years old. I got caught drinking beer. You know, pretty bad crime. And uh, they put me, it was in North Carolina, so they sent me to substance uh, abuse. Oh, wow. Check so I was back. in the same class. Wise check Ooh. back. Okay, got smart check like back. Math and yeah. coke and all these things. And I'm just 16 years old in my polo ah. in downtown Raleigh, North Carolina. And and we're they're talking about like, you know, like doing all these hardcore <laughs> drugs. And I'm just like, <laughs> anyway, I live far away. And I was late to class twice. And the second time, the teacher said, to either you get up in front of everyone right now and you sing a song and dance, or I'm going back to the judge and we're and we're saying you did not fulfill your class and you're going you're not getting this offer again. Oh, like, man. You know so I basically had to go up there or else go back to court. Ooh. So I went up there and there's all these just like you know heavy drug users and they're just staring me down and I'm like just up there in my Ralph Lauren polo and I go. Okay, I thought I might get like one laugh. They stared at me in silence, and the chicken dance went on for like 20 seconds. I was crying. I'm only crying now thinking about it. That's probably the most awkward story I've ever heard in my entire life. Formative moment there for Doug Polk. What was that? The chicken dance. The chicken dance, or go to jail, or go back to the court. Those are the options. Check start. Wow. Uh, I mean, wow. I guess I'll take chicken dance. But oh, wow. Can we get the video footage from that, from the courtroom that day? I'm going to be very clear. Man, interesting. <laughs> Two pair here for Pokernomics. DQ playing the Jack Four and Kendall with a gutter. Room starting to loosen up a little bit, it seems. But we are playing some deep stack poker, 50-100 with a 100 big blind ante and plenty of straddles. DQ putting the jack four to work. Pokemonics, two pair. Probably not folding. Yeah, absolutely not, especially against DQ rocking about an 80% V-pip hand way too strong to release as we see the four of diamonds here on the turn. Check. Two, DQ slows down, pairing up. Pokernomics a little worried, not exactly sure what's going on. Won't be worried anymore. Nine's full. And DQ value owning himself here with his two pair nines and fours. That's no good. Raise incoming here from Pokernomics. What can he get DQ to call? 6,000 more. 6,000 is the number. And that's too much. The Jack Four claims another victim. Good read there from DQ. Says can't beat a full house. Nope. Can't show you a bluff there. I'm assuming. Show me a hand then. No, but I think he's got like eight, nine, or queen eight, or queen nine. Yeah. I mean, show something. Can't queen eight. Laser reads from DQ. Shout out to all the members in chat. Very close to 100K subscribers, folks. Alex, 26.8, real money. That's nice. quite a Monday afternoon. Nice life. Ultimate last turn. Sleep. It's a pretty, pretty strong story. story You're right, 80% deep hit for DQ. Kendall on the other end. Did you on the stream, did you tip him on the stream yesterday?
Were you watching the stream and tipped it? Like, I saw a logo that looked like you on the... Yeah, tip, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. It's like that yeah. looks... <laughs> no, that's me. That's me. Yeah, always me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do that that's, every time. That's strong branding. Kevin. My, like uh, that little, so you know, four pixels. If you I knew can tell how much I have, have, have super vote. chatted uh, over the past year and a half, it'd make you sick. <laughs> Especially knowing that 30% or whatever goes to YouTube. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I even had a super chat when uh, Joey over here was doing the whole marathon thingy over there. it's about 4 Oh, yeah. yeah. I gave a couple. Those in there, yeah. When I stepped out, of like, people. Jay win here late position in the cutoff. Ace nine off raises to eight hundred. Nobody with much to continue. Eight hundred. But Big Tony, ten seven suited. He's gonna give a little action. Makes the call. I enjoy having the phones put up and everything. Such a blessing. Pretty much the base best case scenario here for 10-7 of diamonds on this 7-5-3 two diamond board for Big Tony. Ace of diamonds for Jay Win. And the two overs. And now he's got a gutter ball to go with it. Time to start building a pot. Big Tony puts in a banana. Of course. One K a piece. Same here, but I had to learn to like literally here. I do this. Oh and that's yeah. That's it. Yep. And whatever it is, it's I, I think 10 minutes or 2 hours. Sometimes the biggest Jay went in his mind thinking he can probably get very like creative not here. Something at the start of it. Because you have to learn Rep the nuts on another diamond, oh, perhaps um, bluff at another you heart. Have to learn what your weaknesses He's are. got overs, but no, he releases giving Big so, Tony like, credit. I was never a very organized person, but I quickly Let's go away for a better spot. Very organized, you know? very good about all of that. Nothing wrong with that. Stuff. Yeah. I think you're the exception, not the norm. Some people Definitely. are bad at something and they remain Mike bad X leading our so, I, I think it's fireside a, chat poll. Once we get to 800 likes, we'll get Joey like back out there speaking with Mike X. Mike X, I mean, pretty cool cat. I saw him on the Vertucci show. Very nice gentleman. Yeah. Talks about his background. I, mean, I know I'm bad in poker, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that's one of the things that poker has taught me. He's in the like fashion admit, industry. Yeah. That you're not good at something or you've sure. made a mistake. You know, like being like. Done quite oh, well for himself. Differently and that would have been better. That that's that's an important you skill in life. Oh, 200, 200, 200. All those uh, concepts are like yeah, yeah. bigger than poker. They're like life <laughs> concepts, <laughs> right? And you get poker's just like pretty the, hand for Big Tony under the gun. Yeah, kind of even prettier hand for Mike yeah, X so here. Aces. I mean, again, like making it and yeah, it's a whole different story. We know he's going to get at least one caller here from Big Tony. Let's see what else lurks. Alex is going to come along three ways. Mike X has been pretty quiet so far, 44 hands in, but getting active with the bullets, and now it's top set. Straight and flush draws for Big Tony here. And a sneaky check there for Mike X, and now a pair for Big Tony. Tony with the jack, blocking the broadways of the world here. Plenty of backdoor equity. Puts in his $400 wager, and Mike X was trapping there on the flop. Doesn't love that queen, but he knows he's got the best hand. And he's going to juice it up. Easy exit for Alex. Easy call for Big Tony here. Pair for Big Tony. He's going to lead out here on the river. $2,000 with his two pair. Mike X sees Fordo straight on board, flips over the top set, shrugs and calls. Oh, really? Wow. Nice. Oh, man. That's such a sick hand. Wow. What is this? Great. Wow. Take man. it down, Mike X. What a lineup of hands. Got a little nervous there. I thought he was going to. Toss those aces away, but no, tosses in the yellow chips, <laughs> I mean, drags it all in. Like, you know, I was just out in the big room, and it is hopping already on a Monday afternoon, one day before mayhem, and there's a table with nobody playing cards, just three or four guys sitting there, and they're guys who want in this game. Dylan was out there, Pierre was out there, Stash was out there. 
they're all just hoping that they can get into this game for a seat. <laughs> seat in the new studio. We got Nick Airball in the chat. What's up, Nick? Nick Airball. The world famous Nick Airball. Southern California is home for sure. Nick was in chat on Friday saying he was going to be here, and by the time he left, he would be part owner of the lot. So can you finally get him to read his card? Big statement. We can't wait to see you. Nick, looking forward to it. Big fan of yours. I started the first round, so, you know, from there. Another buddy of his, Mariano, is en route oh, to God, Austin, yeah. Texas, as we speak. You started a revolution with all the great vloggers that have come after you. You've done good, sir. You set a high standard. What is the uh, Slick Rick vlogs firing up? <laughs> I, I'm going to leave that to the professionals. we got a raise and a three bet here before it gets to Mike X with a suited Broadway hand. Lots of options on the table, but it looks like he's going to take the conservative one and let it go. Alex, who is uh, the big winner so far. No one wants to tangle on this hand. He gets away with it. The 9-8 offsuit three bet. Yeah, folks, uh, we, we're on every day this week, kicking off our launch week. And as Nick Airball says in chat, he's scheduled to be on the Saturday lineup. It's hard for them to hear us. Our normal schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, four days a week. We ask that you subscribe on our race to 100,000 subscribers. I think we're close to 92,000 subscribers. You had Very close. So, if you haven't yet subscribed, we have a lot of fun here. Click subscribe. It's free. It is free. Hundred percent free. Crap. It helps you find more of our shows, more of our streams, more of our clips, big hands, all that fun stuff. Thanks for the kind words, Nick Airball. I appreciate you, man. We said we can change. So next time somebody gets your hand. I'll, I'll just tab you like this because you're you're I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt side. to run to the bathroom. What do you think about the chips yeah. here at the lodge? I love the chips. I, I do mean, too. They're so colorful. They look like they look like candy almost. Oh. You, know? you know, I um, love it. Do you know uh, what's his name? Dankness on yes. Twitter. He gave us a little jab about our about our chips. Really? I like Dankness. Yeah. So it was funny. That but I, I'm a fan. I disagree with Dankness on yeah. the chips. She was, if she was only, he said they looked yeah. like a Lego set or something. Okay. <laughs> I dig them. I like those bold on, colors. On, you know, you're right, never going to mistake right, one chip for another one exactly. like you might at some other casinos. I'm on six. we got to get Dankness out here at some point. Check. Get him on the stream. Get him in the booth. Eight. Three is good. That's enough. Good. <coughs> Small pot here for high. Threes and fives. Laffy Taffy colored yellow and pink. I used to love yeah, Laffy Taffy. Yeah. Good stuff. The banana taffy. Mm -hmm. Banana flavored. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, great lineup today. We're on. We'll be back tomorrow, 3 p.m. Central. And Jamie Kerstetter is en route today. And she'll be on our broadcast team. She'll be. Uh, in the bunker, I think she might even try to play one of the days. That'd be great. And uh, she's been a little under the weather. She was scheduled to be out here on Friday, but she's en route today, I believe. And she'll be here for sure tomorrow. The legend, Kerstetter. Respectable range. She's up for best broadcaster of the year for those awards that they're having. Not too shabby. There you go, Aces again. Oh, oh, there you go, Jared. Oh, there you go, Jared. Oh, there you go, Jared. Alex raises to 1,000. <laughs> Big Tony so snap bucks. calls with 10-8 yeah. suited. <laughs> Seems like DQ is putting out this $400 straddle pretty regularly. I'm just playing because of that. Living down that thing. Got himself the Ace of Spades. He's in. You're playing because of this? That's it. Living down the button. Turn up the air. Let me know. Ace nine, two pair for Alex, and a open ender for Tony. I feel like we're raw meat products. <laughs> now when you tip out the fingers, become numb. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's cold. Uh, I'm not the type to complain, but uh, I can't feel my fingers anymore. <laughs> Something for everybody here. DQ decides. 
wisely to get out of the way. Go heads up to a turn here. Is a stream thing. Hustler What's that? Is the same thing. No, it's hustler's either. as hot as shit. Yeah, and, and then once yeah. Tony yeah. finds the six of diamonds. Yeah. Yes. Toes. You know what it is? Like, it, it probably was gonna be cool enough, but the fact that like so many people entered the room at the same time. Is See what Alex more. does here. You know he I mean? checks. So when they turn up the air, now it's wow. I think yeah, pretty surprised. I expected a bet. I think I, I the other reason reason a it's also because Big Tony will not be checking. You know, mm -hmm. post section. Yep. The thermostat is not here. The right. thermostat's somewhere else. Right, right, right. right. So, so oh, I see what you're saying. Right, right, right. One so third pot size bet. Alex probably, probably yeah. going to be continuing with a flat call here. Yes. It's yeah. hard to keep that thing. Right. Yeah. But then once it happens. It's really far away. Let's see River. Alex looking for an ace or a nine. Yeah, you're or maybe a heart to save him. <laughs> yeah. We're pairing heart. Uh, I think I might have messed this up too. I didn't want anyone to hear me going to the bathroom. <laughs> I thought that was a little weird. <laughs> Neither player likes that one. Straight is good. Ends up being a bad turn card, but good river card for Alex. So red. Is that four red? Four, yeah, uh, four hearts. Oh. I didn't have any. Four What's the biggest game that you've ever played in? Was Friday the biggest game you've ever played in, or if you played higher than the 5100? Well, it was billed as 5100, but it didn't really play like a 5100. So it's kind of tough to say. I played in a 100-200. I played in a WPT cash game that was 100-200 blinds. The straddle was on sometimes, so 1-2-4. So it was probably pretty close between those two. I think I bought in equal amounts. I bought in 30K to both games. You had a huge hand with a 10 on the river for the... Oh, what a beauty. For the boat. That was beautiful. If only poker could always be that easy, you know, is that hand. <laughs> That's coming to a vlog soon. You also need a guy like Doug to uh, fire off the $15,000 bluff to <laughs> your top boat. Andrew, I'd love to know how poker hard you were that hand when that 10 came on the river. <laughs> classic, classic Joey Ingram question. I'm serious. I mean, how, how, uh, yes. how excited were you? That's, that's one of those moments, you know, where you're like rooting for it in your, in your head and then it shows up there on the board and you're like, oh my God, it happened. Okay, <laughs> this is not good. Oh, not a bone racehorse. Yeah. Well, goddamn, let's all put a thousand. Don't look away. Oh, that's uh, yeah, Andrew, how's it been going, man? I mean, we saw you play that first day. Oh! oh and uh, we saw you play the first day, have a good session. Yeah. People were asking for you in the 204 in a game. Oh, People were asking God. for you in the 1500 yeah. game. Yeah. When are we going to be seeing you? What do you think about these games? What's going through your mind, man? And, and from your position as a, you know, partner in the lodge and uh, someone that has been a, a vital part of the kind of building this up and, and making a success. Yeah, kind of two different. Uh, factors, two different yeah, conversations yeah. going on. Like, first of all, it's beautiful to yeah, see this this studio come I mean, to be. Yeah, you know, then you came out, you know, you know we put so much time into it, and you hope that it would come out looking good after all that time. And uh, to see it come out way better than you could have even uh, hoped for is uh, is awesome to see. You know, I know the guys have been working so hard on it, so that's that's really cool to see. Uh, yeah, as far as the poker games go. It's uh, it's it's still stressful days, you know, getting in these massive games with these these lunatics, uh, buying it for tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, are you getting used to the swings? I mean, are you you know you're a newer player to playing these, these uh, you know, a lot higher stakes and especially a 5000 game like you said. I mean, some of these games aren't playing like 5000. They're playing more. That game was playing, you know, obviously super out of line, but. Yeah. You still getting a little more used to it. The nerves think, calming down. I mean, every time, every time you get another uh, session on your belt, you uh, you get slightly more used to it. But no, I mean, I, I feel like I still, uh, as far as like poker players go, I think I still kind of like value the dollar maybe a little bit more than some other people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, when I see like sometimes when I see a five thousand dollar bet, I don't see like X big blinds. I just see five thousand dollars. Hard not hard to avoid that. Yeah. So. D DQ, I, lo I love about DQ, he really does not want to fold. No. <laughs> and he picks hands that some people even, the best folders might fold. And now he's going to actually win. So, I mean, what do we what do we know? What do we know? We've got our man Nick Airball in the chat. What's up, Nick? Nick coming out to play on the show Saturday. Tempted to get in. That's a tempting game to get into. Play with Nick Airball. A thousand big blinds deep. Who doesn't want to do that? 
Nick Erbal, I expect you to buy in, cover the whole table, and win enough money to, to buy out Doug's part of the lodge, just like you predicted, my friend. He was soliciting names on Twitter for if he owned the lodge. To rename the lodge, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Nick's place. Nick's place. <laughs> Airball. Airball. Is air, I don't know, yeah. What surprises me is how many people I mean, don't in general, play here. Airball poker. Big tournaments, knowing that we have no state income tax and stuff. I mean, it's not like they're getting Two of the legends uh, in the game. Perfect. Joey Ingram, yeah, Andrew Nini like, in the bunker. Yeah, so we had cool. Doug Polk. I mean, God, who else can we get? I ran to the bathroom and my shoes are Jamie will be here tomorrow. We're rolling out everything for our launch week. We appreciate it. Yeah, I actually saw Nick Airball. Yeah, Kelly's Apparently helping to start some PLO, so I didn't know the guy played the great game. So. I saw them chatting about that a little bit, yeah. Yeah. We got to do a PLO game out here, a big PLO game. I, saw, I listened to your uh, conversation with Doug today. It was a good, a good chat, well, another good chat. Thing. Thank you, sir. I saw you guys talking about Damn. Pot Limit Omaha, your dreams for the game, and whether they may or may not come true one day. <laughs> Me and Phil got fun last night. We are talking about doing a, a, 500K, or a, a, big, a big game, a big PLO game together. You know, the, the <laughs> action players lined up to play with Phil Galfon at PLO. That'd be DQ cool. will be there. I will tune in. The poker Nomics doesn't be able to get anything really going you know today. What I most about this compared to where we played before is the people that would just randomly yeah. show up, but then they would stand, like, behind her, and they would just sit there watching. Jaywin has a bunch of outs. The whole time, or mm -hmm. the tournament players just all coming around doing their looky moves or whatever else. King like 10 or like any spade. does not happen. There's the spade, but the check mark, I said any spade except the ace of spades. <laughs> Not that one. That's a boat. There you go. Take it down. $1,350. Profit. All right. You got action from Nick Arabal. 200, 400, Joey. PLO. Perfect. I'll call you in then. Now we got three. All right. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. Let's do it. Yes. I played the one two five yesterday. I had myself you were crushing a nice, it. Nice I, I, like, I always love you're always one of the, my IG stories. I don't I don't I watch like a few people all the time just because they always get to the front of my show and I always love watching you because you always do a good job of kind of showing you your play and like a real easy to kind of like easy to follow way. I don't feel like a lot of people do that when they post their stories, but you make it real easy to follow and kind of show show different parts of your uh, your experience on your on that story. So I always like watching that. So. Thanks, bud. I like the IGs, the IG stories, the photos. You're killing it. How are the games out there? Well, Always are fun. You are you just that good, or are they? What's going on with these games? Uh, well, there's variance, you know. There's, there's yeah. some variance involved, but yeah, there's always there's always good action. We got to get Slick Rick out there in the PLO streets. PLO has grown a lot here at the lodge. We used to get maybe get one game. Now we get four or five games a night. Yep. We had there was the uh, the five five ten was going. Couple of uh, one two fives. Yeah, props to <laughs> Joe Strazera and his crew for really cultivating PLO and growing it here at the Lodge. Nine four deuce, couple of hearts. Nobody with much of anything there. I've been liking Jay Wynn style. Plays about how I would have expected him to play from kind of following along with his his content. DQ a true wild card. Turns the open ender here and bets it. It's a good call, he says. Good call there, Jaywin. Good call. <laughs> See if DQ turns this one into a bluff, fires the last barrel. Gonna have to. Snap call. If you got it, you got it, Jaywin says. Look at that. Put a heart on that Mm -hmm. a couple more hearts. Can't yeah. if you don't yeah. Yeah. Had a caddy. Nice hand, Jay Wynn. What do you think about our first PLO meetup game, Andrew? What do you think about that idea? Let's do it, man. Should we do a PLO? Anytime PLO, you want uh, to uh, try and make that happen. You you got my Let number. Me know. You got my number, buddy. Me and uh, the doctor, me and Dylan did one of those kind of things in uh, Vegas. We got about four tables, I think. Cool. Yeah. That was fun. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I think you might have been out of town for that one or something. <laughs> I never know where I'm at anymore. No, I think you're in Cabo, actually. Cabo? Okay, I think yeah. you're probably in Cabo. Probably. 
I don't think anyone waiting for uh, waiting for Nick Airball to bring high stakes poker to Cabo too. You know. I'm like professional punter today. Well, the Mayhem series has a PLO event and a Big O event. Joey, do you play Big O or just PLO? I saw Rampage Rage. Not Big O. Really? None of the none of the split pot stuff. Yeah. High low. Yeah, I haven't gotten into the high low at all either. High only. I would love to see DQ with four cards, because if he loves two cards this much, he would absolutely <laughs> be enamored with four. And Alex, I like this style, watching him so far. Had a lot of good hands. Have any experience with any of these players at the table, Andrew? Any battling was, at all? Maybe was, Big Tony? I was telling these guys I've uh, run into Alex at breakfast a couple of times here around uh, Round Rock. But I think I played with him, actually, yeah, I think I played with him in PLO as well. Big Tony, yeah, he uh, he got me good one time on the on the stream where I flopped top set and he flopped a straight easy game. Did you break something? They were like, don't go through this door. Yeah, I've played with I think half of these guys. Alex, we see crushing it, twenty thousand dollars. Mike X coming into town, taking names. Such a nice guy. There's the V-tip. <laughs> Kendall, 17% in position on the guy playing 75%. So interesting. she's kind of picking her spots, waiting, playing a little tight. Maybe doesn't have many spot hands, but have we seen the knit game get played today yet? I have not seen it, but I was out. Um, I have not seen it yet. I haven't seen it also. What do you think about that, that the stand-up game? What do you think about that? I think it's good. I, I dig it. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a mini reverse tournament kind of a thing going on within the cash game. Big Tony going to honor Robbie here with the Jack-4. Kind of sad the Jack-4 is such a bad hand that people are getting themselves in so much trouble with it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> Big Tony can do it. This is just a hobby. Yeah, Mike X coming into town. Already a winner in the game. <laughs> what do we need for a fireside chat? What are we looking for? We need 800 likes. We're at 2,100 in the live chat. Let me check where we were. I, we we're over 500. We're at 579, so 221 more likes, and we'll send Joey back. It's going to take a lot of begging from you guys in here. Come on, in guys. The in the booth. I'm begging. Do I don't. Do I'm, it for not Andrew. I'm not the. Nit begging. There got to be a better way to do it. I agree. I just want to see Joey go chat to people. I enjoy fireside Joey chat. I've kind of been liking these too. Pokemon is thinking about it here with his bottom pair, top kicker. Not this time though. Jack fourth. There you go. It does win sometimes. Thousand each day for a bounty. He showed it. We do have an experience. He did do it in honor of Rob, you see. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people play with a jack four bounty. I've seen a few games where you win a bonus if you win with seven deuce or jack four. Right. We would consider that not one of the best ones. Really? No, the best I have so far. And it's true because... It, like barbecue is so River Rat, thanks so much. Love You're that. always love, love so River Rat. Thank you, River Rat. Come up. You ever up there in Dallas? We'll go to the Con Lodge or one of those places there. I've been there. The Con Lodge, great spot. Dallas. One of the best places to get barbecue here is Mixon. Barbecue. You like the barbecue, Joe? He plays here all the time. I'm stuck. I'm ready for barbecue right now. You're on the grind here, man. You've been putting in the hours, doing the commentary, doing the chats. Oh, it's just so much fun. Can you imagine, like, you're, uh, you know, you got friends. They start their own card room, build a new live stream. You know, it's pretty epic. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is great. You know what I'm saying? This pretty pretty cool to be a part of it all. <laughs> Considering where, you know, things used to be, how, how they were in poker world. This is, sure. you know, a, a dream, dream to see. Show all the great content out there, all the great creators out there. Yeah. You know, just knowing, knowing, I've known these guys for so long, most of the guys that have the streams now and all the games, stuff like that. So it's, uh, yep, yep. Content firing on all cylinders now. Yeah, it's great to be able to be a part of it, right? I mean, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it was such a such a crazy weekend for uh, for streaming poker. I was I tweeting about this earlier today, but just uh, you know, saw it from a couple different locations. Of course, the hustlers been doing their thing all year. Live at the bike that started it all. That's true. Uh oh, DQ, buddy. 
eight five. If you look, you can't read. DQ said in the interview that he really wanted to stack Alex and um, Buddy. It might take it better than the eighty five Bears. No. Yeah, this we found that one. interesting that he picked Alex to want to stack of this group. I know. I mean, he got a. Uh. I did. I checked on. <laughs> Alex <laughs> might bet small and pray here. Can I get some other water if possible? Thank you. Oh, DQ's a little deeper, never mind. Not sure if that makes this call worse or better. <laughs> Nothing going on here. Yeah. Discipline fold. Um, yeah, I, I do love, I mean, this guy co does come to play, you know, I really do like this guy. He comes to play, he comes to uh, do giveaways, he sends other people to play poker on his dime. What a character. I'd love for a camera to follow him around for seven days just to see what, his, what he actually does. Mm -hmm. Plays high stakes slots. Donate 70, he allegedly donated $70,000 to the lodge. Take it off the table. Take it off the table. In like super chats? Yes. No Seven. comment. <laughs> Seventy. <laughs> Allegedly. Seventy thousand dollars. What a madman. And he you know the chair he's sitting in. Well, early on in our live stream career, he gift gifted Skull Mike and I our own custom chairs that we use to this day. You're kidding. These yeah, are from him? These are from him. They arrived one morning and we were we were just getting started. So he's been a fan. Yeah. Very early. He is my favorite Dairy Queen employee. I've been to Makes a great blizzard. Uh, You've been over there for a few months. I've only been there a couple months. I mean, it's not like I've been to a... I mean, I like this Indian... Um, he told me after 70K. I don't know. He said 30K on the interview, but after he told me 70. I don't know which one's cap or not, but I don't know if I believe I mean, either way. Yeah, I don't know if I believe either one. 30 is kind of a lot. He, he seemed like a habitual liar. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that, but... <laughs> You go around with a, a, a pseudonym. This is regular name. Uh, uh, that's fair. You like a bear? Man of mystery. I, mean, yeah. I like it. <laughs> Mariano is not playing today. He will be in there tomorrow, I believe. As yeah. will myself. Yeah. We're getting reports that Mariano has landed at, at Austin Bergstrom International Airport. So Mariano. Oh, why didn't you my cards? In the city limits. Get excited, people. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see him play. I actually haven't watched him play too much, but. You know, I know he's been making a name for himself, so it's going to be nice to see him in the mix. He's got himself, uh, yeah, he's got himself a nice little spot up there in the uh, Los Angeles area. The, uh, the former end boss decided he's not going to hang out for the time being. Mariano's like, yeah, I'll slide in there. Yeah, I mean, listen, open up a slot, you know. Everybody, <laughs> one, one, one good poker player with... Big arms yeah. go away. You need a, you need a couple <laughs> more to step up, right? Mariano gonna fill that role. He kind of do look like a young, I mean, like young version of, of a Garrett, right? I feel like he got got a nice presence to him when I when I've seen seen some of these clips play. And yeah, I'm a big Mariano fan. I've always thought he's the uh, the best yeah. poker player yeah. amongst, oh, really? the, amongst the bloggers. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow, that's high praise. And he's gonna play here. <laughs> Uh, Nick Airball's not scared of him, though. So. J Win and DQ. Playing a lot of pots today. Key with the jack oh. high here. Blocker bet. Jay win. Which one are you guys playing tomorrow? As long as I'm not getting. Oh, you're going back? Oh, I'm done, man. You're going back tonight? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going back. I forget. Joey, why do you like Cabo more than Tulum? Lights tonight that leaves everything I've, I've never been to Tulum, but Cabo is quite amazing. Cabo got unlimited margaritas, tequila, mamacitas, and uh, it's all right in a few block radius. So easy. Seems like heaven. It's a great life, yeah. Great food. Rooftop blackout sessions. 
it's not too bad. Just being honest. I need to quit for a little while, honestly. Yeah, just like quit drinking? After that Friday hours. session. Yeah. That Friday session when I watched it just made me want to, want to a lot more personally, but I can understand. You, you, were you pretty drunk in that game when you played in there? Towards the end, yeah, I was, I was feeling it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I did see you stumble out the bar at 2 a.m., so, you know, I know you had a good night. That was a fun one, yeah. yeah. In the moment, it was fun. Not many drinks flowing at this game. Kendall, the only person we've seen with, with a couple of drinks. You got to kind of like... The person to ask is Ryan because the game is the same hand Somebody on the floor asked me last night about it. Yeah, people are um, definitely playing line. pretty tight against uh, DQ here. DQ giving a lot of action. Other people seem to be inclined to just kind of wait for a, you know, wait for a pretty normal hand, wait for some normal spots. It's kind of what happens, right, when you get one player in the table who starts to play every hand. You know, sometimes you see a lot of other people just kind of tighten up a little bit. And yeah. You know, they just say, oh, I'm going to avoid playing with this guy. I don't really want to play with this guy. I can just wait for a better spot. You know, he's going to be check calling me with the 9-5, no pair, no draw. So. Yeah, there's a couple ways to uh, to battle that aggression. You can either fight it with additional aggression and try and isolate them or just kind of sit back and wait. Yeah, or just take some little bit more spots in, in position, you know, maybe open the cutoff a little bit lighter, button a little bit lighter. Not sure if I want to be out of position against him. You know, it's not really the kind of guy I'd like to be out of position against. Guy playing 80% of his hands and, you know, willing to put a lot of pressure on you. Definitely pr prefer to be in you know, Kendall's seat. Then you can play one time. Ten nine versus the deuces. Right for you. I find some middle pair here. Because Take the lead. You know, you look at like a five five hundred, the anti game. But depending on who's on there, it'll be a tamer game like this, or it'll be like one on Friday night. And you don't know till you get there which version it is. Right, right. So if you don't bring enough money for that, yeah. it's a it's a it's a quick night. What do they usually play with the money? It can be. What game it's a Pokernomics lets it go. No set, no bet. Yeah, Manish says I totally disagree. I'm assuming you mean that comment to be an in position against uh, against a player like DQ. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, you know, we could debate that, but the way win rates work, usually the person who's losing ends up passing their win rate to the person that's in position to them. So if you have a player who's losing a high amount of big blinds and then the rest of the table is, you know, relatively around break even potentially, then you're going to want to be in position of that guy. And maybe you could argue right opposition, but I'd be interested to see, hear why that's your standard way you'd handle that situation. I just want to be playing a lot of hands with the person who's playing a lot of hands, too. Mariano is likely a lifetime losing player. What do you want about, Michael? What do you want about? No chance. Everybody on YouTube got an opinion, Andrew, you know, and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. That's what I've learned about my U the YouTube chat. Maybe the Lodge has, has a bit more higher IQ comments in here than my <laughs> personal YouTube community over on my channel, but, you know, most of those guys sometimes, you know, they're just memeing around, right, putting mm -hmm. one second of thought into an idea and not really mm -hmm. going from there. What's up, Harold Klein, Michigan? Shout out to the Midden State. Mike with trips. Does that mean it's on me? No. I don't know how many is in the hand. Alex got himself a bottom pair here. Mike's going to wager $800. See if Alex wants to continue here. He's got some back doors. Yeah, that back door, probably not deep enough. Mm -hmm. I guess he is pretty deep, 30K. Just let it go. I mean, the multi-way pot, even if you've got the best hand now, you got to dodge some stuff. Four ways to decide to let it go. <laughs> Folks, the main event for Spring Mayhem coming up March 1st through the 6th. $1 million guarantee. 
$1,200 buy and get to the lodge. Day one flights at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Dion Juan won quarter million dollars. Quarter million. Wow, Kendall looking good in this cowboy hat. Look at that. Oh, that's a good look. DQ, I mean, listen, you ever let a lady wear your cowboy hat, you're basically trying to tell her something, buddy. You put your cowboy hat on a lady like that. She's a natural in that one. Yeah, I know. She looks good in that hat. I thought you meant if you get stacked, you have to wear that hat. No, no, no. Wow. Yeah, mayhem down here. I mean, there's a lot of hotels I noticed right around the lodge, right up the freeway here. Yes. Real easy access. You know, basically like five, ten minutes away, you can find some pretty good options. I was looking online. There's between eighty and a hundred dollars for a lot of hotels. So, and we've got some specials. If you go to the lodgepokerclub.com website, there are some hotels that we've got special arrangements with. But you're right. There's probably fifty to a hundred hotels within ten miles of the lodge. Yeah, you can score yourself 10 or 15 percent off your uh, your stay at a nearby hotel. Just click through our our site. Seven, eight, nine. I don't think we have any uh, like affiliate deal or anything like that. I think it's just for the benefit of the people. Not positive, but wow. missing out. Yeah, probably. There you go. There you go, Yoda. Yoda's just the best at what she does. Two pair now for high. Two players with pair plus straight draw on the flop. <coughs> I likes that card. DQ lets it go. So does Big Tony. All right, Nick. We'll see you Saturday. Take care, buddy. Safe travels to our great city of Austin. See you Saturday. Yeah, shot Nick Airball coming in chat, showing some love. Chatsville. Yeah, he's got a lot of uh, he's got a lot of excitement and passion for everything that's going on around these stream games, going on around poker. I saw him. I saw him uh, at the uh, WPT World Championship. He was he made it oh out yeah, there he's for that. There, yeah. Poker needs characters, you know, and he's definitely uh, <laughs> he's definitely up there. He definitely qualifies. Speaking of Anastasia, I saw Anastasia out there in the uh, in the room. She was our dealer on the first night. Yep. I posted her on my Instagram story, and 20% uh, of the people actually clicked her profile to go see. And I told, I just told her that. I was like, you know, she was showing guys. I was talking on IG, and then about uh, about it, I was like, man, I can't believe so many people. She's like, yeah, I got so many followers, including. Uh, Nick Vertucci followed me, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Anastasia, the pride of Ukraine. Nick Vertucci doing some recruiting or something like that, looking for some new dealers in the stream, I guess. She can't have Anastasia. No. Yeah, she's great. Former uh, body professional bodybuilder. Did you guys really? know that? I did yeah, not know I that. Mean, yeah, like, you know, professional competing on stage and everything. Wow. Thanks, Adrian, for the super chat. Appreciate it. Big Tony's in. Broadway draw. Mike X is out. Tony doesn't know. He also has two overs for these pocket fours here. Turns a brick. Yeah, and then you look at the board and you're like. <coughs> if Pokernomics is going to see about this flop, it seems like a good turn yeah. to keep the foot on the gas. Then Nothing then changes. Could continue to keep I this one in the like bluffing four. range besides slow it down. That's another brick. Pokernomics with the check. He's got the best hand here, so if it goes check, check again, he's going to win it. Not this time. Like before the flop, you're like. Those are some brick <coughs> turn and river cards. So. Yeah, I mean a lot of a lot of the draws miss the seven eight misses eight nine miss potentially king queen the queen jack the spades miss as well so, big Tony basically has to have pretty strong ace here to be betting. He's probably not betting a ten or a six. So if he has like an ace, he's gonna have, to have at least like what ace eight, ace seven and beyond or maybe ace deuce. So. 
you know, he could maybe talk himself into it, but mm. doesn't. Thought about it. Show me a six. <laughs> All right, Adrian, you, you got me there. We're in the studio under the lights. There you go. There's my quota trademark under the lights. Can you say, everyone. Can you say um, Legion in your voice? <laughs> Legion. We are the Legion. We are the Legion. We're going to have to do something. You said you wanted to do something. Oh, my. You've got, the, you've got the best uh, commentating voice uh, I've ever heard. So, yeah. Agree. Joey, you're too nice. I mean, come on. Professional. Yeah, you're like a true. You have a. Tr you're a true. True broadcaster. Right? <laughs> like you're a true broadcaster. You have the, the, the authentic uh, Texas football voice. There you go. Like Friday Night Lights, you know, style. Exactly. You you got me pegged. Look at that studio. <laughs> I like how he blocks it. So even when he yeah, how does it feel to be a uh, uh, owner of the studio? Uh, surreal. Still, still surreal. Can't really believe it. And you probably didn't see that coming when you made your first poker vlog, right? You probably didn't see that. <laughs> that I mean, was, you know, no. that was unforeseeable. You're right. That's the thing about content is like you never know. You start your first yeah. piece of content, you play your first hand of poker, your first session. Like you never know where some of the stuff's gonna take you, and you can't really even have it in your vision of like, oh, it'll take me here, it'll take me there, because you just, you just don't really know. Yeah, I was actually trying to. Uh, I made a little bit of an effort to try and snap Brad out of it when he was having a rough go on Friday night. I, s I walked over to his side of the table and I said, "Hey, did you uh, clearly clearly you envisioned this when we were uh, when we had that first meetup game at the Mirage back in uh, 2017, right? This is all part of the plan, right?" I don't think I don't think it really helped. I don't think he would, I don't think he was savable at that point, but. Yeah, Brad Owen, he was uh, one of our big losers for that first two-day session, and looked like he took it pretty hard. Andrew, have you had a ch chance to chat with him and, oh, so and um, you know, maybe maybe mm -hmm. talk to him, see if he's oh, feeling wow. a little better? Because I know a lot of people in the chat have been asking about him the past couple great. days, <laughs> wonder if they're going to be able to see him again. I know he went out with a buddy of his. He's got a buddy that lives in uh, Austin <laughs> yeah. that he went to high school with. So he was, uh, he was, he was out. He wasn't just sulking in his room all, all weekend. He was he was uh, out there probably talking through it, having a beer, winding down, and he'll get back to it. He put a he put a vlog out today, so if you guys haven't uh, had a chance yeah. to see that one yet, put that in your queue. Brad will need the uh, the ad revenue, so fire that one up. And uh, yeah, he's back on the grind. Yeah, he'll, he's probably not making enough from that. You're right. <laughs> Probably not. He's gonna he's get millions of views. He's gonna power through. He's gonna put some more vlogs out. He's not gonna stop. And he's gonna get it back. Him and I are uh, scheduled to be in Cambodia together. Wow. This time, full strength. Gonna do a meetup game out there in Cambodia. You were out there last year, weren't you? Yeah, it was uh, less than a year. It was probably only like six months ago or something. My goodness. So you were eating crickets on the street. <laughs> <laughs> we actually had him in the uh, the casino. <laughs> I had the tarantula. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Uh-oh, Big Tony. Both of these guys make it straight. Ooh. Jay Wynn doesn't value about this one. I mean, Flush does get there. 2,600 is the bet from Big Tony. Jamie's going to think about it here. The board is paired. There's three to a flush, but he's got himself straight. It's Big Tony. There you have it. Yeah, there you go. Well, you know, getting back to that, you know, you, Brad, all the vloggers, put your life for every one of us to look at and watch and, you know, and – Unfortunately, losing is part of poker. Everyone loses, you know. You can't always put a vlog out where you're always winning, and that's just part of what people are drawn to when, they're, when they yeah. click on play for any one of your vlogs. Yeah, there's always going to be drama. There's going to be a result one way or the other. Yeah, it can be tough. It's tough to, like, also be creative and try and be a good poker player and deal with the swings and try and reply to messages and travel and host, you know? It's, it's a lot. It adds up. It can, it can wear on you for sure. 
but you know welcome to the life of an entrepreneur right could be mean, worse. They, it what could be worse it could be worse could be worse you're right you're oh, when you're when you're losing you know, in poker you kind of forget, forget that it could be worse but organize like brunch tomorrow that way somebody definitely you know, something to eat before the game like oh, before the game yeah oh sure it's like I mean, 11 that way you're free by 12 30. yeah absolutely we'll talk about it later but open invites everyone Grace. See the flop between Big Tony and Mike X. Tony, they both hit a pair. Big Tony now with the open ender along with his pair. Mike X with big slick and the pair of aces. Mm -hmm. Also, covered in stuff from the drywall. Um, if you need, I have a lint roller in my car if you need me to go and get it. There's a lint roller right around I mean, here somewhere. to saw it. Jordan, is there a lint roller? Yeah, here? out there, I think. Yeah, yeah, but if there's not, I can run and get one for you. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a little like. Well, you brought it up, so I felt like it was. <laughs> Just like I'm married, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Whoa! What? You know, like, no, I, I don't know that. what that's yeah. like, no. Your husband's like, don't you ever ask for a little roller? I know, right? It's like when I walk out in my basketball shorts and football, I'm like, I'm married. Thank I don't you. care what women think about me. Right What's now. going on with two pair? Four cards straight and flushes. Ooh. It's okay, don't worry about it. I'm trying to break the ace. It's totally I guess okay. I did. <laughs> Fine. I, I was like a little dust. Wow, I stole the nuts, huh? Yeah. One time I don't play with you. Okay. Turned it. <clears throat> Me? Me at 8 9. I've only played Joey every Ingram game. and Andrew Nemi will be yeah, back right? in a minute. Cumulative yeah, winnings. Alex me. up 25,000. Big Tony up 3,800. Jay Wynn, Mike X, and Kendall all in the green. Throwing the party right now is DQ down 19,800. High also down 13,000. Were you married the, the last time you came? Okay, like so, oh, congratulations away. then. Thank yeah, you, yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Y'all yeah. get married in Cali? Uh, yeah, we did, 23 people. Nice, uh, closest family friends. Yeah, basically. Nice. That makes sense. I'll, it was our immediate family. Now I know why I didn't get in anybody. A little bit of family. <laughs> a little bit of family who lived in the area. We do expect to see Brad back on stream this week. So I'll talk to you about the brunch is there after a biotech the stream. reference okay, cool. to twenty three. Is that a for sure? Oh, no, no. That's okay. Really funny. Tomorrow, right? I didn't even yes. think about that. What, what's tomorrow's game? Fifty one hundred. Same. I've seen it's the same. Three, including us. Nice. Yeah. Are you playing again tomorrow, Tony? Wednesday. I think it could be. Oh, good yeah. luck. I think that's with Nick Herbal coming. That'll be fun. I have no um, problem with that. I believe Thursday and Friday they go back to two four, but don't quote me on that. How much is it? Eight hundred. Eight dollars. Tony, you doing anything tomorrow? Yeah, Can't work. Okay. Oh. You got time for a meal? What? Depends on time. Okay, cool. Oh, I'll chat with you later. See what you count with it. I unplugged it when I eat. I thought I had to see five calls. I'll check dark. I want to make sure our out of town guys have a little, yeah, absolutely. Have a little social time. I'm just not here for a poker. That's it. Running. <laughs> see five checks. Checks all the way around to Alex with an ace queen on a 5 5 deuce board. Very active player. Gonna put a bet out there. 1200. 1200. And it should get through. And we'll go on to the next one. Mayhem is this week, the 21st through March 6th. And then mark your calendars, folks. The LCS is back, the Lodge Championship Series, May 10th through the 16th. $3,000 buy-in for the main event, $2 million guarantee. You remember Mr. Visine Man, Alan Bauer won last year, $375,000.
Mark your calendars, uh, folks, for not only Mayhem there. this week, but the Lodge Championship Series Might coming in May. Yeah, be some place high. <laughs> Come on, we're shooting for overtime here. <laughs> See two calls. See three raises. He just doesn't know how much yet. DQ's gonna raise this up. Two raises, five hundred and fifty tall. Oh, I see three raises, <coughs> five hundred and fifty. See four, four, four. fours. <laughs> five fifty. One time. Good, good call. Good call. Good. So far. Big Tony oh, and Jay when decide to come along. Yeah. 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 And, and, and it trips me out. His arms over oh, here. Arm, right. You know, so. I think that's more than you. It's, it's, it's a trip. Yeah. Uh, let's make some up. Two, three checks. Thank you. Four hundred. Two ten bets for one hundred. Big Tony with the check mark here. Mike X is the person that you want to see on the fireside chat. The next one. We're very close. Damn, we need a few more likes, and then we'll, Joey like Ingram is going to take his microphone out to, to the studio Don't and get anybody. another fireside chat together. <laughs> I know. I want to hear from Mike X. As DQ is pondering the call here. Big Tony makes it 6,000. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what he could think Tony has here. Monster or a total bluff, huh? A monster or a total bluff. DQ seriously thinking of calling with his ace. He has an eight. I'll just, there you go. I think he has an eight, and that's it. That's my guess. Any close? I have an eight. Big Tony confirms. Well, <laughs> not in this hand. And, and not in that hand either. But that hand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I had to just, I had to go through the, the betting, and then I pieced it together. Yeah. Thank you. Eventually, I figured it out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It just takes me a while. There's the V pips. From 71% from DQ to 18% for Kendall, everyone else in between. Uh, three, for the first. It's, it's gotta be the same for the first. Um, huh? we, we, we did a little bit more for the first one. Well, no, it's the same time. We do two and a half and two and a half. Oh. Yeah, because it goes to 7.30. Works for me. Same thing. Same thing. Same 300. Okay. I feel like it's gonna okay. be. Just beware, just deals more coolers, so. 
As we wave goodbye to Palacio Anthony and say hello to Jess, the new dealer. I was like so close to calling it. That was too easy of a fold for you. No, it really wasn't. Shit, you're a better poker player than me. I had to piece the bedding together and then I got there. I got there on the, just gotta put it together. I like it better when I make it the right read and pull. Yeah, big one. And just go on a gut feeling and call. Right. Kind of just Kendall's More facial honor, expressions honor, listening honor, to the logic of go. BQ. Priceless. I love it. <laughs> so it's been two and a half hours already? Yeah. For a second there, I thought you were playing quick. with me. I was like, hey, you got the jack, you're all in. Just for a split mm -hmm. second. It's like, ah, that's no. it. You got it, you got There's it. There's Kylie. Call it. How are you doing? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. In Chatsville. I'm not going to bluff off all my stuff there. Bluff off all my stuff. I'm not. Stuff. I just like the use of the word stuff. Hey, Matt, you have to win a 400 one. C3 versus That's my style, 400. Big C3. What is that? 1400. The Q raises to 1400 with Queen Eight of Spades. Alex. Thank you. King Jack. Because now I can do simple math. Yeah. This guy. I know. Okay, Big Tony yeah. comes along. Okay, yeah. Couple hearts. Avoid a two, please. Avoid what are you two. talking about? I, I, because of him, I got screwed on that deal. Seven. Nine, seven, seven. seven. Tony. Tony! You're the three hundred, Tony. You're the dealer. Oh, yeah? I think you, you are. Six. Yeah, I just gave him three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did the first three hundred. I did, too. We walked out. What? That's oh, from me. Oh, yeah, that's because you're up at all my money. So here's a heads up match. Oh. I'd stay after and watch. You think DQ on that one? Damn. That's good needle. DQ's gonna continue. Is that a printer? Or is that a seat? Bed 2200. I heard you. DQ's gonna take this one down. Stuff in his ears. That's a robbery. I don't like Ace Queen. Here's Monday of launch stream week. We are on every single day. Three PM Central. Different games leading up to some huge games. Later on in the week, two hundred, four hundred. These are already huge games. Fifty one hundred. Well, we're gonna have two hundred four hundred. Look at Skull Mike and Jordan just lounging near the fire. There you go, Skull Mike. Why not? This? Can't tell you everybody uh, who's scheduled to appear, okay. but we know Nick Airboss is coming. <coughs> no, no, no. You're going to be shocked at some of the people the, the that are going to be here at the lodge. The donator. So subscribe to our channel, yeah. get notified every hey, time we come on. Hey, respect celebrity in the house. Did you like our idea, of his idea of the painting? Uh, no, I heard it. Oh, it's ah. you and Rick as American Gothic. So you guys are standing around with the pitchfork and whatever? How much is it? Uh, Just the, uh, What's that? Oh, well, what I wanted to have was I wanted to have Rick in like an oil canvas, either as um, Colonel Sanders or either like one of those general on a horse or something like that. Or maybe a Caesar. Uh, uh, oh, it's a right? Caesar. That would be great. Yeah. We could paint some abs on them. Yeah. <laughs> Seven o'clock. I feel like I should look at my cards. Yeah, I think you should. Okay. <laughs> Next hand. Next hand, I'll look. All right. Next hand. It's a deal. Okay. Can okay. you just keep them low and ugly? Just low and ugly? Hey, that's my ring. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate you. Check for the low and ugly. Yeah, oh, shit, that's me. Check. Kendall with the pair. Got her. <laughs> you got me. 1,200 is the bet from uh, Mike's got stuck Kendall. <laughs> Big Tony. I still have not seen my card. With two overs. Confident. 
that you don't have a five, seven, or nine. I just hope Fold. Not again. Or jack. I checked dark. I think you have clubs. Oh my god, if you have clubs, you're there. I'm gonna check in the light. Okay. I'm Another check club in the dark and hope I have a on this board. A club. Get a water. Ooh. Oh, we'll get a you got what you asked for. Yeah, I think get a straight. New red. <laughs> and there's a straight for a chop. Checking two, right? Are you gonna tell me? Yeah, it's so good, man. Uh, might have jack ten. How we doing, Rick? We're doing great, Skull Mike. I, I just took look. a little break, patrolled the room. Good, Everybody's yeah. watching the stream. And Kendall's going to try to steal this one. I can't, I can't take the risk. And she does. That's a nice deal. I went out to the uh, to the studio, reminded them about the Nick game. I believe that's going to be in our future. She wanted you to call for Awesome. We have Jacks readjusted the sound, so I, mean, I think it's sounding a lot clearer. No. <laughs> Jacks are technically, no, Jacks are, you need a 10. You need a 10. Right. Okay. Yeah, you need a 10. You need a 10. Yeah. 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 I just felt like she had the flush there. She wanted to Shannon's a big feel so fan of Jess in the box. <laughs> Kylie, your real girlfriend's <laughs> in the uh, chat now. I saw she's at the final yeah, table again. It's tough to break How many you got? 11, 12 times already? At least seven times. I was just lounging right there, chatting with Big Tony and Alex. I don't blame Not for my guys. No matter what you do. Yeah. <laughs> that means you've been playing deuces. Those chairs are comfortable. Actually, I haven't seen the deuces. And there you are again. <laughs> Trying to get my hair as good as Mike X. I don't think it's possible, though. I'm really thankful that uh, Doug turned on the air conditioning and then turned it right back off. That was awfully nice of you. Yeah, actually, I'm warm right now. It is very hot in here. A little hot. Uh, I thought you guys were colder. I think it's just Sorry. oscillating. It's like 80 plus well, maybe take off oh, this. Yeah. You're wearing like a polar bear outfit. Well, I did, you know, for the stream. This is the hunting thing, you know? So I got on anything for this the This thing has fur in the inside. That's why he's But I was doing it for her. She had to take her jacket off. Mike, Mike's got sweat coming off his forehead over there. High tear starting to get flat. I mean, you know. Your hair is starting to get flat. Yeah, I mean, you know. Kendall and uh, DQ forming a nice little relationship here. Kendall, perhaps DQ's biggest fan. Like <laughs> fan. Yeah. Pocket sevens for Alex, three betting, and yeah. Pokernomics not interested in continuing yeah, no, no with the suit of king. No, no, no fight. No fight in this table. Building castles the over there is no Alex. Uh, running like a champ. Yeah. We believe the knit game might be coming around the corner, oh, maybe in about 10, 15 minutes. It is. I came all the, way from Houston. the Nick I game, we have replaced yeah. the stand-up game here in our new studio. <laughs> the studio is too classy for stand-up. We're doing the Nick game. I would, I would, I would, I Every player again. will have a button in front of them. Win a hand, hand your button to the dealer. Last one with the button? What'd you say? We'll pay $200 no, in this case walk from Houston. to each and every player for being the biggest Nick. Oh. There you go. That's the Nick game. I call the call. Joey's back there. I don't like my hand. Yeah. Is it trap hand? You know? I know Mariano's got I don't have my phone on. Can't have my phone here. You're playing tomorrow, DQ? It depends on how bad you guys fuck me up, but yes. How bad does it have to be for you to not play tomorrow? I uh, like probably a loss of like all over the four place. different so, thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I didn't fully Sheesh. see it, but I thought it was red and I thought it was He's pink. Like, Wait, Wednesday, I don't know. But I was I don't know who's not sure. Wednesday. I gotta see. I'll let you know after the stream, Mike. Alright, guys. Can you hurt this first order? Oh, oh and when is there about playing? Last girl, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I thought he was gonna play with me a little 5100. <laughs> Suited ace for Alex in the cutoff. $1,000 to go. Jack Ford, Tony. He's going to play it. Just because. Just because. Everybody knows why. We got a party. Party for him. Everybody with some marginal holdings <laughs> minus yeah. Alex. Well, I mean, there's, there's 3,000 to so Put all kings on the floor, please. All okay. kings. I didn't see that. Why are they reducing it? Oh, boy. Oh, Okay, that's a start. All right. <laughs> Save the day. Alex called for a king, doesn't have a king in his hand. Uh, well, but it's still the best hand. So just take it off. Well, Getting our flop. graphics right yeah. here. Flop didn't read, but it will read shortly. No, I'm confused. 
No, they just couldn't read it. Yeah. Are you good now? Yeah. 18. Ragnar, that's not why, but that's actually pretty funny. Cupcake Carlos hole in his pants was not the demise of the stand-up game. That's pretty funny. Yeah, Ragnar. <laughs> Shout out Cupcake. He's been hitting me up. Wants to get back on stream. Speaking of which, folks, most valuable chatter award will be awarded at the end of this stream. I had a drinking Participate in chat, say something funny, and you too could be the most valuable chatter. Alex, you did have wine the other day. I did. Alex, yeah, did. Will you yeah, yeah, yeah. Blacks, greens, whatever you want. Blacks, I got plenty of greens. All blacks? Okay, you got it. You got like it. I'd like to remain. I was, I was nice. Pink chips being it's funny everywhere. Everyone. It's funny how the people that love, some people that love the stand-up game don't like the Nick game. It's, it's literally the same game. It's the same, so. <laughs> Just doesn't involve yeah. getting out of a chair. <laughs> Uh, okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Everybody Is check there a back way the other way? Or? Yeah, okay. I just have to rebuild yeah, again. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I mean, this stream room's a classy place. Do we think Cupcake Carlos is worthy? I mean, you, <laughs> we can't allow cargo shorts with a hole on the backside in this room, right? <laughs> that, that may have been... Rule number the moment, 76 of the, the new studio. The moment of the year in 2022 when... We, Carlos stood up and had a hole in his pants. On the blooper reel. Absolutely. And then he watched the stream back and brought him back the following weekend. Like, guys, guys, look what I brought. I'm like, leave those home, burn them, throw them away. We never need to see those again. Oh. Shout out, Cupco Cupcake Carlos. No, no, no. Like, what are you guys getting? The angle? You need to get that angle. Bigger table. A couple weeks? Take five minutes. Got the straddle on here. DQ, $200 in the middle. Studio, that's what it was, the studio. What's what's the reason behind, like, what, why is it like the small? Bunker. The bunker, that's a pretty good one. That's better than the studio. <laughs> Thanks, Harold, for that comment. Yeah. It means a lot. I was just wondering, like, what, what happened. Big Tony with the ducks raises to 600. DQ's going to defend his straddle with the suited queen. <laughs> Uh, that's great for you, Tony. Yeah. We'll see. King 6-4, two spades. I should look at my cards, but I'm just going to wait and see. Maybe another spade nice will come up and I'll have two of them. Yeah. DQ playing great. blind with Ooh, the yeah. best hand. This wasn't ready last week. Like, I checked it. was like a nice touch, too. Like a black thing. Really, really nice. Yeah. How much? 1300 1300 Big Tony not slowing down. Will DQ look at his cards? I'm not sure if he did. If he did it, nobody really knows. Getting better 28 too. But goes for a race. Oh, you look. I did, sir. Okay. He looks with his two pair uh, now. Two pair? Yes, sir. And I fold. I believe you. I would never lie. I totally believe you. That's a lot of black cards. Quick fold from Big Tony after oh, that raise from DQ. As we welcome back nice. Mr. Nimi oh. into the bunker. Hello again. Had to take a little break. Get some uh, get some barbecue chicken they're serving over there next door. That's always a good move. Had to do it. I got a little pita here. I'll, I'll get to it momentarily. Dinner time here on a Monday in Texas. We thank you for watching wherever it may be. Day number four of nine launch week. Right. At the lot. Like, can I know yeah, how <laughs> Four of nine, oh, huh? Thank you. Four of oh, nine. Officially yeah. the halfway point right <laughs> now since we're about halfway through this show. <laughs> I do want to know. Oh my gosh, it's all, it's all a matter of perspective. Been yeah. having a wrong yeah. Lots more to come. And then let them know in there. Tree fitting. You take it hot. What better feeling as a poker player to build sand castles at a table like Alex? Yep, living in, the dream. In large Fitty. denominations, Fitty. too. Things going well. Fitty. Fitty. Finding suit connectors. Uh, I broke the pity. A couple pocket pairs here, suited. 7 8 of spades. Shaywin wants to try and thin down this field with his pair of 10s. $2,000 to go. But Alex likes to play hands, and now High will be getting a price. Only sitting on 15.6, though.
stack size starting to dwindle if you're a fan of high in the one seed. And I know Yoda of Chatsville loves her some high. Let's see if he can run it up, maybe bink a three. But he's out of there, so we are heads up. Jaywin versus Alex. Pair for Alex, backdoor spades. Jaywin still with the best hand checks. Checking a stare down. Yeah. Jaywin and Alex, both very experienced players, and they have quite the poker face and stare, especially Alex as he gains some more equity with this queen of spades. Yeah, Jaywin should like this card, that over card, pairs. And if you're Alex at this moment in time, you're probably thinking you have the best hand after Jaywin checks flop and turn. Not a card that really anybody wanted to see on this river, the Ace of Hearts. Interesting spot here. Check. We'll go check, check. Both players have some showdown value, and the tens and queens are good. Cautious play. Players still kind of feeling themselves out. A lot of these players first time in the new studio. Actually, I think every single one of them. Well, j was in the studio a little bit for some practice streams, but everybody else first time playing under the lights, so a little bit of a different you feel. Trevor by myself, or do you have any family? Trevor by myself. Yeah, no. I'll hurt you up later and see if you want yeah. to. Uh, grab some Are we still, yeah. Is it, you're not posting, right? I, no, I think she is, said something about the show the She said she'd be gone for five minutes. She oh, said. okay. Yeah. She okay. went away. She'll be back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think she was the one that said that they still deal you in in the live stream. Oh, she asked because the last time she was What's the here, best IPA the, the lounge well, has to on, offer? Yeah. You got an answer for that one, yeah, it'll What's be the right best IPA? The, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Well, Lodge BYOB. Sure. So you know I like my electric jellyfish. We got We got to do a deal with them. They're just up the road. Yeah, that'd be nice. Some good pizza, some high quality yeah, I mean, beer. Th that was definitely Doug's thing. Um, I'm not 100% sure about the best <laughs> IPA. I mean, you never know what Doug My apologies. I haven't been drinking much uh, lately in general. Does it look like it's getting heated out there, Tony? Yeah, I think I need a break after Friday. Yeah, sure. I just check. You, you had your break yesterday. Time to get back on the saddle. A little bit longer. <laughs> Jack, four, five, two spades. Bottom pair here for Tony. Fires a little wager out there. Jay wins going nowhere. Open ended. Back door flush. DQ's got top pair. 1600. Put in a raise. I got the toppest of pairs. Second pair hits the muck. Renee asking in chat, is poker at the lodge a high stakes only stream now? We prefer high stakes, but after launch week, we're gonna go back to the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 510 schedule with larger games on Saturday. So you have my contact information, Renee. Have no fear, you'll get back under the lights here down the road. Ace of spades. But the Jack still in the lead for GQ. See if Jay Wynn considers using spades as bluff cards. GQ is a hard man to bluff sometimes. He's a wild card. You're never quite sure if he's going to come along or release. He makes his decisions rather quickly. Takes another little double check here, thinking this one through. Second pair. Not a great kicker in the nine, losing to all the Jack tens of the world and plus. Flushes, like Andrew mentioned, any ace. Probably did a little spade check there when he looked back at his card. He doesn't have any of those, and he lays it down, so Jay Wynn steals one in the streets. Tough player, that Jay Wynn. Tough player. Plays solid. Can mix it up, though. He's going to need to find some bluffs on some different runouts. Spades make a lot of sense. Gets it done there. Oh. Sleep. Oh, so close to 100K subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew said he's going to give me a big, big bonus if we get to the 100K before his plane leaves Austin, Texas. So do it for Skull Mike. He's got a wedding coming up. It's expensive. 
100k subs, click that right? thumbs up button. Let's get this stream out to the masses. How's that wedding planning coming yeah. along? We all good to go? Whew. It's stressful. It's still on, Andrew, if that's the question. It's yeah. still on. That's, that's good. Works, Some late nights at the lodge, but I wouldn't want to have it any fun. other way here at launch <laughs> week. So, Dean is on board. Doing it all. Yeah, it's a long game, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. it's all good. Oh, my God. Yeah, I just yeah, okay. I, I don't want to miss my Nobody. straddle and not pay it. I mean, you could Kendall's drinking water now. I mean, somebody's got to drink with the lady. Let's <laughs> do I thought I saw Mike X with a glass or something. Damn, I, th I thought so too. I had a little sip or two. <laughs> Alex with a very reasonable holding. 350 to go. High's in there. Suited to Gapper. Cool Jay Wynn didn't come all the way from down the road. Full Queen Jack off suit. <coughs> oh, so far down the road. There's about three minutes from the launch, probably. <laughs> DQ's got an ace on the button. You know he's in. Personally, I'm just trying to get cooler. Connection for Alex and Jay Wynn here. This one checks all the way around. Multi-way hands, always a little bit tricky, but so many draws available. Alex feels like maybe his second pair top kicker is the best hand here. After this one goes check, checks through on the flop. And it is the best hand. DQ with the ace of hearts, the power of position two, the Broadway draw. Action on Jay, he's not going anywhere. Let's see if DQ wants to get involved. He does not, he's out of there. Maybe turn his hand into some bluffs on the Heart River, but he's gone. Clubs get there, straights get there, but still the check mark for Alex. They did. That's really nice. That's really nice. That works cool, Mark. Both players with very good showdown value. Unfortunately for Jay Wynn, Alex has him out kicked. <coughs> Things going well for Alex today. Another winning session for you last night, Andrew. One on the stream, so you just saw no that. Jinx, no yeah, jinx, no yeah. jinx. I, I, I didn't say nothing. Say, not it. <laughs> say you're, play, you're playing good. Yeah, we got a no limit victory. We got a PLO victory. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll, we'll be watching. Yep, back in the uh, back in the big leagues tomorrow. Fifty-one hundred again. Let us know in the chat who do you want to see stand -up game in the lineup with oh, Andrew. Yeah, yeah. Sit down game. Let's yeah, play the sit yeah. down game. Maybe your wishes will come I true. Totally forgot about it. The uh, next time. Cool. Yeah, that works. Uh, Table to talking about attack. the Nick game. Going to begin here shortly. Maybe we, some people um, can get stacked for some excitement uh, or pain. How about Joe Biden? Is he going to be in the Joe lineup? Biden, I will. Uh, I'll put in the call. Is it hundred each? And he went to Ukraine undercover. Maybe he can come to the lodge undercover and play a couple hands. So yeah, what, world the tour. way it works is that whoever is the be last person to get rid of it, blind. then what happens is you owe that everybody at the table that money. So if the tax is two hundred, you owe two hundred to everybody. If it's three hundred, you owe three hundred to everybody. But I was saying the same thing. I'm saying yeah. hundred. hundred you know, Let's start with a couple suited 100, holdings here. Jay Wynn raising up seven six suited. Kendall makes call ten eight suited. Premium holding for Big Tony here. Or at least two. I mean. He looks as shocked as the rest of us. Premium button yeah. down for Big Tony as well. Two. Yeah, makes sense. Seven. Better beard, Big Tony or DQ? What, what are we thinking? It's close. Better beard. It's tight. It is. I don't know if I want to take a side. Got to give the people an answer. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be on Team DQ. Mm -hmm. I'll take Tony. $1,700 call from J1 with the suited 7 6. And there's 7 right there, followed by two fours. Two pair for oh, both wait, players. Nothing yet. The, the world's seven, largest seven, water bottle person, Alex has by his side. I mean, could they even still sell those? Okay. I think it's humongous. I don't even want to win. J Win going nowhere here. Could, could maybe even consider a raise, but usually lean towards call here. 
Big Tony and Jay Wynn play a lot here at the Lodge regularly, whether it be on stream or off, so a lot of history. And Jay Wynn gets away. Let's it go. Not enough working Ladies. for him, he feels like. And Big Tony shows him, so that's going to make Jay Wynn feel pretty good. Just makes the read there. Figures probably not two overs. Feels strong. Over pair is good. Let's go. So, do we start now, or yeah. how, do, how does this work? Where's yeah, the buttons? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do they do with the buttons? So, what is the tax again? Like what are we doing? Uh, so, it works the same way as a stand up game. Um, everybody's going to get a red button. All right, here we go. Um, you have to win a hand to return the red button. The last person with a red button pays everybody it, 200 bucks. Pays everyone 200 bucks. And you 200. Right in front of the line. Put it in front All right, of the line. stakes are down a little bit from last yeah. time I played this game. Okay, so there's. Well, a thousand the other night. Oh. And then the last <laughs> yeah, one was 2,000. Nothing changes. Yeah, okay. it's just a regular game. It's just an extra yeah, you win the hand, you, you don't have to pay the tax. I want to ask a few questions. I've never played it. That's yeah, what. Ask away. Yeah. Yep. You have to wonder, uh, yeah. even if you raise Fun game, though. No, they don't play it all. Uh, Stand-up game. Yeah, we'll Stand-up game is out. Nick game is in. Same rules, though. Didn't hear Jay Wynn say you must show your cards to there you go. turn it's in your button, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Standing up, because when everybody's standing, you know, the game sometimes can go on for 45 minutes to an hour. Right. And so people just start betting super crazy just to get just to be able to sit down. I would, so long I would just pay everybody off not, not to play. <laughs> what did you guys decide on that? 200. 200. Just in time for some knit game action. No, We're no. Oh, Joey yeah. Ingram right back yeah, in the mix here. Yeah. <laughs> back in the commentary. Oh, you really so hold my hand. Told me they'll pay me 200 dollars. Yeah. 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 I love the rotating we were cast of characters you know, here. Like, come on, can I pay and? Hi, let's the pocket threes go from under the gun. Just stand up before well, everybody has to agree to play. So. Fairly understandable, but I would think yeah. with the mid game on, yeah. you'd want to get in there ASAP. Somebody folded pocket threes under the gun. I did, yeah. They should not be Pretty allowed much. to play. That's the whole goal. If you yeah. fold pocket threes under the well, gun, you should not up, be able to play on a stream. Eric Person would not stand for that. Seems like there's more defense. And I, that's how I think about my new live stream lineups, how Eric Person. What would Eric Person think? I used Person to love think? watching uh -huh. Jeremy out there do that. What would Alan Keating think? That poor guy couldn't win that game. Uh, 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 yeah, you take a little heat for that one. He couldn't win that damn game. Somebody invite. Invite this guy. So you can already see he the game play. opening people up a little bit. Jack 8, Jack oh, 10. Okay, two okay. hands people normally wouldn't play, but now... That's what I would say. Get him, boys. Get him. Why is it always Gabby me? Jay Wynn limp calls the fives. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it comes king 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> Nothing. Quads <laughs> for <laughs> Jay Wynn. One of the greatest flops ever, unfortunately, Andrew. Is that with an O or an E at the end? Jay Wynn can't believe it right now. Nobody has anything to give him any action at the moment. That's high level. High level joke. He's praying right now. Somebody has something. No. Have a flush draw. It's Have a king. Not even a joke. Take a bluff at it. Maybe no, Mike X. Mine. <laughs> but... Uh -oh. Here we go. Wow, yeah. Multiple yellow chips. Yeah, Mike X probably thinking if one of these guys had a five, one of them had a king, probably would have heard about it on the flop, at least for some type of bet. Little does he know that Jay Wynn's sitting there with the absolute nuts pocket fives. He's going to go for the maximum here. He's hoping that Mike X has found something, okay, so something good. You don't let me f bluff on this thing. No, ain't no bluff. He man. didn't want your money. He yes. saw that. He I saw that. Like, I've noticed that a lot of people hate slow play. You're saying about kings. Yeah. Just always raised. I don't know if you showed the fives there. I don't know if we, uh, if that rule got clarified. You're supposed to show do you the. Do you like it in the game? Would you rather have to show it to get rid of your button or not? I like, I like it. I don't want to see this going crazy. Enjoy the one that I want. The, it's probably for the best that the quads did not get shown down, but in general, yeah, I like the showing. Because oftentimes there's some pretty bad hands that are getting shown down here. It's good for the game. That's true. Yeah, that's all right. yeah shout out to everybody in chat for tuning in. Monday right afternoon here in yeah, Texas. Know. That's a fact. Joey Ingram, a.k.a. Chicago Joey, joined by Mr. Andrew Nimi. Andrew already played once on the new studio setup here. Just one time. Andrew, are we going to see you in the mix this week? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Let's go. Okay, lock in. Going for another winning session. Right back in there. Let's go. Into the arena. Who are you trying to scheme, try to stack Mariano? <laughs> <laughs> I'll 
I'll take it wherever I can get it, honestly. Okay, okay. You're not, you're not. I like battling with DQ. Mm. He's fun to he's fun to play with. We've gone back and forth over a couple of stream sessions. He got me real good. Got him back later on. Wow. Action flop right here, Andrew. Look at that. Top two pair for high. Big Tony with the nut flush draw. Kendall with the straight flush straight draw. Flush. We're about to see a big pot. Big pot energy is brewing right here. And uh I'm not sure which hand I prefer. Let's see what Kendo plays this one, Andrew. What do you think she's going to do? She's got the 7-8. Yeah, this is a tough spot, honestly. Oof. After a bet and a big raise of $4,000. Yeah. Here we go. She decides flat call Good is the move. Now back to Big Tony. Is Big Tony just going to re-raise here? No, he just calls. <laughs> What did you start? I have nothing. That's going to lock it up for Hyde, just Hyde. Barring the straight flush for Kendall. Yes, locks it up there. Look at that. Full house for him. Big Tony. Drawn to only a chop. Kendall still has some outs. Still can make a six of clubs. But 55. probably not to that bad easy fold for her. Big Tony. Interesting. Undeterred, I believe. Not the kind of guy that's going to be folding that flush draw, even when that board pairs. That's a nice little pot for him. One of the biggest pots of the night, $26,000 in the pot. And they come we were going to do it anyway, it doesn't matter. So. <coughs> I think, yeah, I think Big Tony stuffed four the four rest points. of it in here. Nice hand. Big Tony goes all in, drawn dead. They run it one time. He's only played like four off, hands off, all off, night, off, and he's had full house, full house, full house. In the first one. What is it that the off. Americans like to say? Hi. What point is like your hand? $36,000 <laughs> pot. High's got to be loving that. Big Tony. Oh, you got to rip it. Yeah, yeah. Got to revive me. Large pot for Mr. High here. $36,000 in, in the nit game. <laughs> 32. 32. We totally forgot. Oh, shit, I'm yeah, yeah. Totally different. My bad, my bad. 36,000. You look good, man. Beautiful hand, I. Goodness. Man, you get to lose your neck. What a flop. A lot. Uh, That's well, the kind of board we were looking for. Top looking for some action there. there. Reeling it in. I know, right? Uh, turn. Turn with a nine, uh, 55 fold call. Swear. Oh, wow. You said to ask him. Wait, what? Mike said to just ask him. Just ask? Yeah, ask him. Wait, and I'll tell you now. Um, you okay. I know, I know. I, just, I know that. I know Patience everybody else does, okay. does okay. indeed okay. pay off for high. How much is done? Okay, well, um, Dickie wants to know how much he's done, Mike said, but... No, Plays it fast. Doesn't slow down once that uh, turn nine hits the board, fills him up. Just keeps firing. Where's the max one? Right to where we're probably at, right? I, I, I think it's a one. But it could be. Joey's going to head out there. I think he's going to talk to somebody out there. That is impossible. We bring Slick Rick back in. I just know what I brought. Uh, 1,000. That is impossible. In the middle of the knit game. Yeah, it's uh. So that's what we were waiting for. I was, yeah, I was telling the guys, I was like, I think we should get the knit game fired up. I get some action going in this, this game. Oh. Boom! Explosion. There you go. Thank God it wasn't a club. I mean, six of clubs. It's got to be closer to six attack. Only because Kendall I only raises it up here with Jack nine so suited. Thousand dollars to go. Players need to win a hand here. They're going to have to pay a bounty. The last person uh, to not win a hand is two hundred dollars to all the rest of the players. <laughs> you can still so far, Jay went in higher, safe from that bounty. DQ makes the call. Yeah, it is. It is uh, just yeah. Top pair for Kendall. It's just under seventeen. You know what? I don't even think that's you. I'm not even. Okay, if you kick in the dark, girl, bed in the dark. I'm not even going to look okay. and call. I think he would call anyway if he knew what he had. Check it in the dark. All right. 13. 13? Million. <laughs> now he's got a little bit of a decision. He decides to make the call again. The two overs. I look now. 
for at least 26 million. In okay, <laughs> so you're kind of checking in the light. Another club. Two checks. Uh, 22. Kendall going for the thin value. None to be had here versus the king high. Do you have to show your hand to win the net game? No, oh, we do, but that's all right. We're supposed yeah, to, right? We're supposed to show. Yeah, we're supposed yeah. to show. Yeah. Yeah. Shows that she has I, I, I had a five earlier. Folks, we have hit the 800. By five, I mean four. Let's <laughs> head it to the studio and show it for a fireside chat. Quad. You're not supposed to win with good hands. Sorry, guys. AKA Big Poppy here. We're joined by the man out of town coming in here to visit down here in Texas. Coming out here from the regular over at Hustler, regular out there in LA, working. Uh, love his Twitter page as well too. We played a lot of big hands, willing to battle. We got my man Mike X in the house right now. Hey, Mr. Mike, welcome. Hello, good everyone. To, good to good to meet you officially you. yesterday, and you know, uh, good. It's great to see you play so far, man. You've been kind of making a name for yourself out there in the high stakes poker world recently. And uh, what do you what do you think about the down here in Texas, man? What's it like playing here in the studio for the first time, and how's it feel to be out here? That was a long question, Joey. <laughs> Let me think about it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Doug invited me a few months ago when he was in L.A., uh, and I mentioned I would love to come out and support because uh, not only love to meet the guys and see the new place, also have friends and family mm. in Austin, so it was an extra incentive to be here and uh, so far so good I had a really great time so far so good yeah i mean so you are you a full-time poker player these days i mean it oh, seemed no. like you play like i'm like is this guy what is this guy's deal like is he does he work i mean does he just play poker all the time because like, it seemed like you play in all the time it seems like it right yeah. but no i um i have a full-time job oh, okay, okay. poker is only fun mm -hmm. and the moment i believe uh stops being fun that's the moment i stop playing uh so I had to have a regular schedule uh, in order to, you know, set my life and all the appointments around it. Mm -hmm. So I usually play twice a week, and I don't play any other games. I don't play because there's just no time. That's yeah. the only reason. You're so busy, yeah. What do you spend your time on? Uh, what, what kind of job do you have? Uh, I I'm in manufacturing business, so I design and manufacture apparel for my own brand as well as uh, uh, major retailers and mm -hmm. other brands. So private label work. Cool, cool. So you do that, play poker, got a family as well out there as well, yeah, too? And yeah, I have a wife, I have a 14-year-old son, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, uh, the rest of the family, their hobbies, so it keeps it keeps it what busy. Is you, what does you your 14-year-old think about seeing his dad out there? Now he's like a star of, a, of like, a live stream, a bunch of people are watching, they're probably, like, talking about it. Does he follow it at all, or is he a fan of you or your play? I, I honestly don't think he watches the games. Yeah. You know, he's more into uh, you know gaming and. But you're gaming. Others. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I mean, your dad like my dad on TV playing for. I tell a you, lot of who's money. excited about? Uh, so I have, uh, I'm from a big family. I have many cousins, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, I've worked for many years. I've achieved quite a bit in in my career, but uh, ever since I started playing poker. So many of my cousins, like I, I'm the hero, suddenly, you know, <laughs> all this work for so many years, you know, I didn't even get an email or, or a pat in the back, and suddenly you're like, dude, yeah, you're my hero. I'm all my friends who watch you, and you know, we have like watching parties, and so uh, yeah, uh, it's it's crazy that way. And it's my son, maybe too young for that, but bunch of cousins, friends, coworkers uh, watch it and and root for me, and and it really means a lot. That's I mean, awesome. Yeah, I mean, you seem like you know, pretty, pretty generous person, nice person. Kind of just interactions I've seen, kind of on social media, and kind of seeing the way you act with other people on that show. So, uh, not surprised, right, to kind of yeah, hear, you know, you're kind of getting that energy from back from other people, and pretty cool to see they're, you know, they're, they're it, yeah. watching the fam get together and they care about what you're doing. And uh, yeah, it's great poker to kind of bring that, bring that to what you guys got going on. I always say life is too short. You yeah. know, just don't take yourself serious. Yeah, well. You know? If you if you were gonna take this game serious, who would you want to stack? Who's the top player you're gonna be going for out there when you get back out there? Because uh, hmm. you know, I don't think it matters really. Okay. You know, you, one thing no, is no one specific. I'm having a really good chat, uh, chat and conversation with Tony. Okay. And uh, every time he chases me <laughs> with some crap, yeah, <laughs> I mix it on the river to pair. So maybe maybe Big I want to stack Tony. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just payback. All right. Yeah. Well, Mike, uh, we appreciate you coming out here. Thank you so much. Texas, coming to play, support the show, especially on this, uh, you know, brand new stream launch week. And, uh, and uh, we wish you luck, Mike. Mike. You're in a deep right now. That's right. Yeah, Mike X Poker on Twitter. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for, thanks for having me. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. No problem. Back to you guys. <laughs>
Another great interview by Joey, this time with Mike X. And what a nice guy, Andrew. Very nice guy. Very cool guy. And we've got a big one brewing here between Pokernomics and Big Tony in the knit game. Big hand, big hand here. Top pair. Big Tony with the ace queen offsuit. We had a couple big hands there. Tony ran into a couple tough spots with the ace queen back to back there. Kendall had the ace king offsuit, jammed that. Big Tony wisely let that one go, facing the four bet. But yeah, Mike X, really cool cat. Got a lot of success in the fashion industry out there in Los Angeles. I like what he said. He plays for fun, and when it stops being fun, he'll stop playing. So you know, it's pretty refreshing when you just see an enthusiast, enthusiast out there. Yeah. You know, they're playing for the love of the game. Love it. Thanks, folks, as we got another fireside chat with Joey after 800 likes. That's true. <laughs> I'm already sitting down. <laughs> Defender. I believe you, I believe you. Kendall on a little bit of a heater here. She found some good hands, multiple situations. <laughs> but this time she gets out flops on Mike X, flops top pair, kings and jacks. Peel one off here. Now he's got two pair. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Aaron Barch for that comment. We're we're listening to you. We're tweaking it, doing our best uh, in our first four shows back with the audio. Thank you for that comment, though. Kind of hoping to get the show down here. She does get the showdown, but uh, I'm terrible. I'm gets shown a better boy. hand by Mike X, who is safe from the knit game. Oh, yeah? Oh, my gosh. I'm wow. waking up to that hand. I'm sitting here with a good hand. I know. One time, I don't play. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So we know two of the players tomorrow for sure. <laughs> Andrew and Mariano. Andrew, Mimi, Mariano will be playing tomorrow. 3 p.m. Central, and Skull Mike, mm. if he's nice, I maybe saw. he'll share a few more players that are playing tomorrow. Uh, Stop me with that. Uh, he likes to I keep things secret. He does. I get it. I get it. I was going <laughs> you see the, the three <laughs> knit buttons out there. Those are the, the three players there. still yeah. with the possibility of I, paying $200 to each story. player yeah. for <laughs> being the last one with the red button. Sure. Win a hand, toss the red button to the dealer, and say, I'm not the knit. <laughs> it's on me, right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. I know. It's kind of like the old game hot potato as a kid, you know? Yeah. yeah. Last one with the ball was, was it. Last one with the button is it. I'm sorry. My axe is on the foot there. Uh, that's seven folds, eight folds, nine folds, two folds, three folds, four folds, five folds. Kendall in there with the King Ten of Diamonds, Pokernomics, Suited Gapper. Alex, take this, Limpers. Raise it up. I got to win a hand here. Jack 10 qualifies. Let's see what Kendall does. Kendall is in. Kendall finds a three bet, the Limp three bet. Suited Broadway holding. Alex is going to be annoyed by that for sure. how Alex wants to proceed here, but definitely not a great spot. If he can somehow find additional aggression, Kendall would be forced to fold here, but it's tough to do. Kendall's right. been playing so solid. Alex gives her Woo. the credit. You know you have to show that one. You already won. She does happen to have the best hand here, of course. No pocket aces this time. No pocket aces. Drags it in there with that <laughs> limp three bet. This Kings. Me too. 
There's so many games within a game in the knit game, stand-up game, whatever you call it. Especially if you don't, if you're already safe, you can really take advantage of certain situations with players that are still exposed to being having to pay that bounty. It's good to be I'm safe in the knit game. Swallow your chips. <laughs> don't let me do that, okay? It's such a relief. <laughs> and then you can just kind of sit back and try to pick these guys off like you're saying. Yeah. Lots of games within a game. I, that's why I like it. When they said we were going to play this knit game for $1,000 a person bounty on Friday, Brad and I just looked at each other and we were like, oh, boy. Oh my Here we go. We're in it now. Uh, you might squeeze there, Tony. <coughs> drying. I'm drying. I checked. Ugh. Couple of pocket pairs in this hand. Kendall's got the best of it here with her pocket eights. Pokernomics just below with the sevens. This one checks all the way around. Deuce now gives DQ. Bottom two pair. Two pair. Very disguised two pair. He's going to try to build this pot. Kendall needs to see a river card, see what happens, see what develops. It's DQ. He can have anything at any time. 8, 4, or 10 would do it. And there's the 4. There's the 4. Unlucky for DQ here. 2,200. Ooh. Well, kind of a tough spot here for Kendall. <laughs> DQ honestly says I was not on the diamond draw. Miss. You, you deserve my money. No, yeah. I got counterfeited on the river. You've got a 10, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got, got counterfeited so on the So good. Oh, good call, Kendall. Wow. Oh. You know, wow. Nothing I can do. Oh, shit. You know, I want it. Fucking good fold. Everywhere Damn, right. Nice. I get if you didn't call, I, yeah, I, you. I was like, ah, uh, you win. It's going uh, to a, a nice person. Thank you. I am. <laughs> there you go, DK. You're a nice person. No, seriously. Man. It's like, at least it's not Galen betting. Then I, then I feel terrible when I give him my money. Counterfeited on the <laughs> Last time Kendall came to the lodge, she time. crushed. Oof, yeah, that, that's... She's that quite really the sucks. player. Yeah. I play bad. No. Knows her way around a poker table. No. Well, see a couple comments about the poker table itself. I think yeah. it is it's slightly on the smaller side. No, I think, I think yeah. that overhead yeah. shot... I think something about the lens on the camera on the overhead <laughs> shot makes it look smaller than it is. But okay. it is, it is I think, uh, slightly on the smaller side. We have a remedy. We're getting a new tabletop on its way it was kind of one of those in the next week or two. Like so game on, we hear you. Like we think about the lodge. We listen uh, to folks. Tilt raise. Not afraid to make was like, this is very, very a change. Strong, so. Oh, for sure. In anything I was we like, do. If somebody, if somebody yeah. just jams, if it makes it, sense, I'm calling, we're going to do it. But if three people jam, I'm fold it. <laughs> DQ raising it up here. The pocket threes. Gets a couple callers. Get gets oh, out flopped oh, again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there's definitely a, like a physio physiological. DQ not able to get too much traction going <laughs> in this game so far. Mike X with top pair here. Checks to the razor. I'm not sure. Like, you hear them all the time. That's interesting. Three ways here. DQ so thinking about it. Seen one of those games go. An hour forty. Okay. Yeah. He's that gonna try. He's gonna try to win a hand. And I was one, one, one way or another. That game if I didn't like you. Yeah. <laughs> I was one of the last two. As well. Possibly the last one. I don't know. I can't remember. But I just remember it being yeah, that's so problem. long. Can't be I was like, I've been standing for so long. There was, there was one Mike X with his top pair. Somebody. Folded the nut hand. Fifteen hundred. Makes the call. Oh, that was no, that wasn't on the stream. That was um. 
I saw something like oh. that. Do you keep turning some equity here with the like gut shot? Like also, potentially a good bluff card. Work. Try and yeah. bluff yeah. off a pair of jacks. A pair of fives. Foot on gas. $2,500. It was like, it was it was a weird, it's like a three-way hand. Or I guess it was a four-way hand. That guy had already won his his thing back, right? There's something weird like that. There's like a multi-way spot. Mike X probably not ready to release win. just yet. I can't think of that because if you win, it's the Santa King still goes on. I think it was yeah, the, like I think, now, I think, now I think, think that it, like I think it was it he, he knew the person behind him would call and beat the other player and it was just a needle to the other player. It was going to ah, get stuck. He, he, rather than him win, he'd rather the other guy call light, be good. Mike puts in a raise. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Puts in a raise up to 5,500. Another, another level of... Uh, TQ quickly yeah. calls here with this straight draw yeah. and set draw. Yeah, man, I'm not good enough. Mike X two I mean, pair I mean, on the river like, now. I mean it. <laughs> he's got to be relieved to see that card roll off after he gets snap called there on the turn. I just have to decide if he wants to get some thin value here versus all in. Yeah, he wants he wants all the value. Don't oh. think DQ can call with a measly pair of threes. Thanks so much. Gonna lay it down. We're still in the midst of the knit game. That little button in front of DQ. River didn't work for me. You win a hand, you get to toss that button to the dealer. The dealer will put it away. The last person with a red button. You see Big Tony. Bummer. <coughs> no fun when you don't and catch cards. Alex also have a red button. Mm -hmm. And there's the cumulative winnings. Oh, Alex, big winner today, up 28,300. Only two yeah, people in the red, Big Tony and DQ, currently throwing the party. There's the VPIP. DQ oh, yeah. always has been yeah, up there, there today, but 68%. Oh. Mike X and Kendall. 24 and 25 percent very respectable a lot of people playing some hands today yeah pretty wild hand there mike x was like yeah i know you're using this ace as a bluff card take this he gets the call from the threes works out Alex raises it up with an ace on the button. Big Tony trying to win a hand. Seven is all in. Ooh. Yeah. Big Tony is all <laughs> in. That's from my buddy Chris. His Morphe. legs are getting tired. Oh, yeah. He won't like that stand up anymore. <laughs> there you go, Chris. More coffee. Games loosen up over here, guys. I was just out in the I was out in the room and uh, yeah, it seemed like this game really really been spicing up right now. The Nick game. You had a great conversation with Mike X. What a, what a great guy. I know that was pretty good, huh? Yeah. For four minutes, we I learned a lot. Yeah. He seems like a the super, three, you know. That three blocker. Seems like that kind of guy. It's so crazy. He said his whole blocker. family watches and like right. they're all tuning in and. I noticed that with my family is that anytime you like on a stream or on content or on TV, yeah. then people give you more credibility yeah. right. versus, right, if you didn't do that, then they don't really know much about what you do. Like Mike was saying, now he's like a big celebrity and his family, his cousins, his aunt, you know, everyone's watching him play. It's quite amazing. Shot. If anybody out there watching right now from Mike Sex's family, you know, is your family watching when you play, Andrew? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. I hope so. I think usually, yeah, yeah. If I if I remember to let them know that uh, I'm gonna be on there, my mom likes to tune in. Yeah. Mom, I hit a ten on the river and I won, and two people went all in. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna always love that hand because that's so it was just such a unexpected river and then mayhem broke loose. <laughs> Enjoyable. Yeah, that's my biggest hand ever. I think. That hand is with Barry Woods and Doug Polk. Mm -hmm. Nice. Wow. So far, a lot of a lot of large hands to be played yet in this career. Yeah, I mean, true. You're still a young guy. Close to family can get. 25 years, Rick will be commentating when he's 80, and, and you'll be playing still too. So, who knows what kind of big pot you'll play by then? 81. 
eighty one. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know. Uh, I'll play it by ear. So one of the one of the guys in chat wanted me me retire now. I've still got several years left in me. They don't want you to retire. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was that was meant to be. Funny. All right, we had a little uh, glitch here on this um, the flop here. So bear with us while we get the graphics corrected for the flop. Some cards were yeah we just accidentally ran over the. The sensor, so mm -hmm. no biggie. I think that was Kendall's fault. <laughs> Blame it on her. No biggie. Shout out to Kendall. <laughs> Kendall poured me a drink out there. You probably see that a little bit gracious enough to do that for me. And no one's drinking with her. I felt bad. I said, I'll take a, I'll take a drink with you. You're there. You're there for her. I'm gonna sacrifice <laughs> my body like that, Andrew. I'm here for the I'm here for the cause. Take one for the team. Interesting turn. Look at that DQ. Oof. Something good goes his way. DQ. Due for some run good here. He really is, yeah. Oh, sorry. DQ with the trips. <laughs> and it looked like some pink chips just went in there. Is that I'm true? I'm not sure if you're talking to me or talking to I know. It's no problem. <laughs> Get caught up here in a second, folks. I met Jessica out there talking with Anastasia, and she seems out of line. I'm going to tell you that right now. First impression. Yeah? Yeah. I've seen them on the uh, Instagram, going out, enjoying Austin. That's exactly what they said. They said they're a, 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 a dynamic duo. Fire and ice. <laughs> I, could I see said, that. which one are you? She said, I'm fire. Yeah, well, the red hair. <laughs> yeah, give it, give it away. The red hair and the Ukrainian out and there. And then they the invited me to the strip club. So I'm just uh, I'm just telling you what happened, right? I'm not going, but I'm telling you what happened. Okay? You're going. You're going. No, I'm not. Shout out to my girl coming to town tonight. You're all going. I'm She'll going go. nowhere. She'll go too. Yeah, she would love to go. It's true. <laughs> so we can't have the graphics right now, guys. Just a little bit, a little issue with this hand. So we're gonna get that fixed up for you, and we'll be back in a yes. second here. Um, there was a 200 shuttle in seat, seat two. In with Andrew Namey, Joey Ingram. Yeah. My name's Slick Rick. We're gonna have Jamie Kerstetter tomorrow joining us. What an all-star cast we have. <clears throat> Doug Polk popped in. Of course, Skull Mike. I think the same pre-flop. We're going to try to get Brad Owen at some point later on this week in the bunker. I know you all want to hear from him, too. I folded. I want to hear from Brad. I want to hear what's going on. What's he thinking? What's going through his mind? Yeah. yeah. He made a tweet yesterday about how people on the forums are idiots or something like that. So he's, he's, he's dealing with it his own way, and, I, and, I, and I'm here for it. <laughs> If you want to see some fire from Brad Owen, we head love over to Twitter.com. Yeah, it's always great to be chastised by random people on the Internet for your poker play. Trust oh, yeah. me, it's always it feels great. All the chat pros out there in chat pro land. Oh, here we go. Let's go. There we go. We're back. Hmm. I don't see any DQ holdings. Big shout out to this. Large wager, though. Big shout out to the team in the back. Fixing that up. It's not part of one of your cards, not on purpose, but because I was leaning backwards, I think. Yes, yes, we are. Of course we are. Yes. Well, I'll say, yeah, you got to stop. Yeah, you got to stop trying to put your hand. Yeah, you can't do that. Okay. See, it was Kendall's fault. I told you. She's in trouble now. Okay, Mike. Thank you, buddy. On to the next hand. We are 87 hands into our stream. We've had two great Firesides chats with Joey and hope to before we end the night get at least another one. And then they'll spread the deck. here for another couple hours. And then to let you pull the card out. I kind of like this Fireside chat idea. It's a good concept. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah it really adds a lot to the show. We I keep the game now. going yeah, in the picture-in-picture, yeah. picture, well, so you're, you're we're not, not missing any action, but we're hearing, you know, human interest stories. I love it. Mm -hmm. So you didn't miss anything. Yeah, I really love learning about the players. It give me, it gives me as a viewer a reason to, you know, when I watch Andrew yeah. play, I want Andrew yeah, to win yeah. because, you know, my guy, I want him to win. I want him to go out there and, and you know, hit the 10. I feel like I'm hitting the 10, you know what I'm saying? So I really love that aspect as a fan of right. poker, as a viewer of poker. Uh oh, the boss man, Daddy Doug, coming out of the woodwork. Code on. Hard to take him serious in that outfit, but 
And then you got to show her to get rid of your body. <laughs> no, he's looking I'm good. just kidding. He's looking real good. good. He's, he's looking real good. No, he, no, he, oh, he, did he got his new stylist he's trying out. So A new stylist? He told me. He got the old stylist and the new stylist. Did he have claws, actually? Yeah. When it got to me, I was like, I'm the only reason I'm asking is because he should have shown. It's your fault for making it sit down game. No, I know. I know. Oh, wait. Is that one in the way? Either way, whatever. No, I feel bad. No, no, it's all good. Bad. It's all good. The show all goes good, on. Kendall. Yeah, yeah, all good. We all, we always happen to have, <laughs> have Kendall out here. Oh man. All right, TQ trying to make something happen here. Put in a re-raise. He's ten suited. I'm not gonna, because I'm a big girl. Alex thinking about it. He's oh, got to win a hand. It, it might be the last, I don't know if this is the last two, Alex and yes. DQ with the nit buttons. So they that? might be battling hard. Yeah, big, yeah. big raise there, pre-flop. Alex has to decide if he's going to want to be at risk for wow. paying, or if he wants to take this 5-4 to battle. Many have line. lost thousands to win hundreds. I like oh, that. Well, in the nit well, game. I like that line. <laughs> I think I'm in that stat, actually. No, no, no. Well, I, yeah, know, I think these I'm are the last two that have their knit buttons. So, Alex automatically loses. I'm okay. What is it, 1400? 1400. 200 to each player. I mean, I would rather lose like 1400 than 3500. Don't whammy. Boom. Strategy from Kendall in the middle of the hand. There you go. All right, TQ avoids that one. And Looks like Alex will be tossing two black uh, chips to everyone. Yeah, I believe he was the last cards? one with Yeah, it was 200 double to the last card. Two, two, can you pass over two, two, two. There you go. Yeah, it's always awkward that spot when you're the last one, you have a terrible hand and you know you're just torching off $1,400 yep. rather than like taking chances and trying to win. <laughs> Yeah, Andrew, what do you got coming up? You got planned here. You, you know, you're um, down here at the Lodge and for the opening week going to Cambodia for WPT. You're going to be at the Lodge playing with the players. I mean, I saw you out there last night battling the great game. Pop them in Omaha tables. You're out there mixing it up. It's so fun. We got we got a little of everything, right? We got these stream games. We got the the off-stream No Limit games. We got the Pot Loon Omaha. We got tournaments happening out there. I don't know if I'll be uh, firing at tournament bullets this week for myself, but... All the, uh, the other got stuff. a few different options, yeah. All the other so stuff I'll be a part of. And that's then, cool. Yeah, after this week, we're on the road. Like hopping on some yeah, planes. Man, you've been traveling a lot. Yeah, bro, they really work you at the WPT. I'm, I, I always worked with the guys during the WPT win event. And I got to say, they, they really are getting their money's worth out of you two. You and Brad. I mean, they're like, you guys got to go here, here, here. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> show up, Brad. <laughs> Not really, but, you know, they were <laughs> – they had a lot of obligations. Obviously, their biggest event, right? It was a success. It crushed the double the guarantee. But yeah, that was a know. beautiful one. So everyone, yeah, tons of good feedback about that one. You had to win a pre-flop too. You can't know. <laughs> It's so funny. They keep telling me that I'm down like X number, and I'm like, I'm not, because I bought him for this, and then I lose ten thousand. Okay, oh, now. Okay, yeah. okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay. All right, what do you got going on after this, I Mr. Joe Ingram? And this is what I have left, so it's pretty easy. To so what's your life? What's your life going to look like? You never know what Joe's life is going to look like. <laughs> well, if I don't retire after this, I'm going to go back to the Vegas for the Poker Awards, and then Poker Girls got a Potlum in Omaha, the first ever PLO series. I've been asking for years. Finally got a Potlum in Omaha series. Yes. And uh, after that, I think I might do. A, I, think, I think Dan Smith wanted to do an event, charity event. We're talking about that a little bit. I got to get back to him about that. Cool. And the Aria, and then playing poker, making a lot of content, doing some doing some stuff, and trying to live a good life, man. Aliens are coming. AI's coming. Check. Just sitting back, trying to enjoy myself. Mm -hmm. It's been a long life of poker for me. Well, we're happy about that. Let's see. Hi. There's the heart. Bingo. For high. And Big Tony got the fader holes three yeah. pair. That's 300. Interesting. 
You got it. Too fair. Nice hand. Nice hand there for high. Flush. Those are good hands. Flushes. Floridian Wood says, Fireside Chat, I'd love to get interviews when people bust or get a bad beat. I just want to hear what they were thinking and how they feel, not just to get to know the person, just saying as a viewer. Yeah, I think that's a great idea, too. Brad gave you a very, uh, very honest interview, Fireside Chat, on that Friday night. Brad Owen? Yeah. No, like oh, on yeah. purpose. Oh, oh, yeah. He was... I'd never seen him like that before. And then Doug came over out of nowhere and started giving pouring <laughs> okay. shots at people. I mean, that was a strange, <laughs> forgot about that part. strange setting. I mean, it really was. <laughs> I, was I got to like, go back and watch that one day and be like, what was going on that day? Love it. <laughs> Pretty cute. Big Tony back in the mix. Pocket Kings. Big hand for him maybe to get something going on his side. Been kind of reeling a little bit. Chip stack. It's been dwindling. Let's go, Big Tony. He's 10. There you go. Pokernomics okay. comes along. Jess will give us a flop. There's the ace for Pokernomics, but Big King Tony. of Spades. Yeah, Big Tony. Big Tony. Big Tony. Quick bet, quick call. Love to see the fast action. Little thin value, mm. little blocker type bet there on the on the river. Big Tony does not look like a man that wants to lay down kings right now. I call. Seven calls. Sorry. <laughs> Makes the call. <laughs> Poker Donuts wow, is going to show them the bad news. Let's hear from our advertiser, Odds Jam. Discrepancies like this one, where every book is pricing this wager around minus 115, and you're getting plus 106 on Caesars. No emotions, data driven sports betting. Check it out. Odds Jam, seven day free trial. I think you'll really like it. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Shout out to Odds Jam. Like, I'd yeah. love to get that kid in the bunker. I want to know more about that guy. I'm very familiar with Odds Jam. You familiar with that kid in the corner? Yeah. Shout out to Alex. That's Alex. Alex? Okay. Shout out to Alex. I have not, not They're seen. They're running a seven-day trial. OddsJam.com. Check him out. He seems so passionate. He is. When he speaks, I love He's, that. Uh, he, fires on, he fires on Twitter. How much is it? Four? What's his Twitter name? Good question. It's Alex Monahan is his full name. I'm not sure okay. if that's also 16? his handle. Three raises, six, two hundred. Like two wagers. Uh, all in. Uh-oh, right. Big Tony. He's got an all-in wager here. A snap call from DQ. Let's see what Big Tony has here. The 8-7. I do have ace jack. <laughs> Big Tony, what? <laughs> I mean, I would rather have your hand than my hand. When you no, play. no, no. I'd rather yes. have my hand than your hand. What, what do you think, Chad? You think we should write That's it two times? That's why I called. That's why I went all in. I put you on his jack. Tony, what do you think, Chad? You think you should write it two times? No. No. You win, you win. It is what it is. Yeah. Big like Tony's that. had it enough. All in yeah, seven eight off suit, Andrew. And poker, then called his hand. You got ace jack? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 How did you do that? <laughs> How much is it? The players are really different here, guys. I, I gotta say. <laughs> Big Tony. They know each other, you know? Yeah, Big Tony, what a read. <laughs> My guy's locked in right now. The seven's on the turn. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, this one. Okay. Relatively fair fight here. Let's see what happens. For DQ one time, he's getting destroyed. Nice yeah. shot of both players. You're missing out. Two big hands on Beautiful sp ball. split screen Two action. <laughs> Tony again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> big Tony. Well, I'm going to go reload after. <laughs> I'm going to hit the seven on the turn. Mm. Oh, that nine was a uh, uh -oh. turn. Uh-oh. Pretty good flop for DQ. Oh, shit. No, I had to hit it on the river. Good turn. Eight or a seven. For Big Tony. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, oh, Big Tony. I mean, you got, you got. I'm at the river. What a river for Tony. Why did he look? I mean, I know it's coming. Double that. Double that. Put you on these jacks. I got it all in. Fuck it. Again, I know it's coming. What did I tell you? On the river. 
<laughs> can't do anything about it. That's really right. Yeah, I'm really. You can't yes. lose anymore. You gotta. I, 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 I
DQ, it really is in every hand. He got a very Alan Keating like vibe to him. Maybe only from a VPIP sense, but. Yeah, he's in there. He shows a lot of heart. 9 8, no good here. Take it down, Alex, with that king high. Look at that nice great hand. stack. I, li I like the extra hundreds like that because it makes your chip stack look, look more fun. Whatever you want, yeah. Versus that if works. that was just two pink uh, chips, we'll you know, it wouldn't look as. Uh, take, um, yeah, two black and three yellow. You got it. What do you think about that? Do you think there's a, do you think there's a R? I think there's an art to having a really intimidating chip stack at the table. Like a lot of chips at the table, I think to some people, just look, like look intimidating. Chance Corneth. When he builds it up there. Mm -hmm. Like I'm the only one with two. Well, no, I'm waiting for it. You're waiting for it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, he. Yeah. 10K Did behind you tell her. Of course. Did you tell her already? Okay. I'm ready. She's getting it. Okay. Gotcha. gotcha. 10K. Cool. DQ has 10K behind. Just. Jordan is getting him his chips. Our game host. Mike X gonna make it 1400. Funny. Funny hand. DQ has been putting out that $400 straddle quite regularly. I don't know if anybody else has, but driving the action is DQ. It's his eight. <laughs> no C bet here from Mike X. Two thirds pot from DQ, top pair. I think Mike X will continue versus some sizes, but maybe this one is a little too big for him, for his tastes. Decides to not peel with the two overs and back door. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> This I'm telling you, she's she's fanning him. He let her wear the hat earlier. Something brilliant. <laughs> I love how you're just yeah. mute, like people. You're having a good time. Now. I like DQ. He he, di he give you diverse well, you know, looks. Like he took off the hat. He went it down. Losses, Sometimes got his glasses off. Sometimes got, like got him on. He does. Plays 90% of his upset. hands. I mean, he's kind of like <laughs> a perfect guy to have around really in your game. You know what I mean? Super chats. Likes to talk. I mean, donating seventy thousand dollars to the stream, giving things away. Why not? I'm always a legend of DQ. What's his uh? What's his flaw? I say optimistic. It's not no flaws. No flaws. It's just the perfect guy. I mean, there's got to be something. Here we go. Pokernomics is chatting with Joey and loses his pocket queens. I don't. I don't think he does. Big pot energy, bro. Lock in here. He raised. Okay. Big pot energy, bro. Lock in, slick Rick. I'm feeling like something's gonna happen here. Come on, DQ. I thought he was two kings for DQ. No, of course it can't be the aces, and I would rather pick it, but because Mike over there. Mike X with the three bet. As the graphics get caught up here, we find Mike X three betting on the dealer button with the ace three suited. He goes all in. Mike X snap calls him with the ace three of diamonds, and he misread the three. What? No. Interesting. What the? I was shitting on. Really? You don't want to run twice? Aces and wow. Mike X in the mood to gamble right here with the ace three of diamonds. Yes. Wow. Pretty rowdy. Yes. Max Payne. What time? Are you are gambling, baby. You are gambling. You are gambling, Mike X. Do not fly. Makes you feel any All the way from L.A. Thank you. Do not gamble. And I folded pocket aces. Yeah. Did anyone fold an ace? I folded the pocket aces. There you go. Look at this one, Joy. <laughs> Listen, I'd love to cheer for you, but since I got smashed by a hand yeah. like that, I don't know what to tell you. You three bet me, a three K, a jam, two queens. We're in a gambling mood today, folks. Took a little while, but we got there. Not me. Uh, Game is officially loosened up, Andrew. That's what happens a yeah. couple hours. Yeah. 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 Mike's trying to bust my ass here. Pokernomics. Oh, I know. I surprised. Know. Pokernomics called me over. He said, "Joey, look at this. Look what I had. Look what I had meant to f against." <laughs> really? Yeah, he was. He was stunned. Yeah, he's surprised. He walked back over, and he's all in with 
First ace, three of diamonds. I mean, we ain't seen a pot like this all night, really. I with, know. Yeah. You know, it's the first time we've seen, really, this kind of... Not expecting this, but here we are. Yeah, Mike X, the guy to do it, coming from L.A. 11, 10, 11. Oh, I think you got the wrong. You got the wrong. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12 13. 13. Oh, 13. Wow. Sorry, I'm so Thank sorry. Thank you, bud. Yeah. Sorry. Wow, good call. See, that's sorry. what I had set in. Woo. I can't play poker, but hey. I can do math. Hey, man. Right here, buddy. Thank you, dude. Basic math right there. Did you get an extra K? Well, you know, yeah, 2K. Actually, 2K. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. 5, 10. I mean, I'm constantly having to count up all the points. 14. That's it. Head to head here. Pocket Queens, ace three suited. Poker numbers. He just wants to go once. Looks a little nervous there, doesn't he? <laughs> Don't do it too much. One time, $30,000 pot. That's a safe one so far. Better flop. Down to an ace. Six. There you go. There we go. And I got you next Let's go. Yeah, dude, that was huge, man. Yeah, no Pokernomics. Let's go. $30,000 pot. Up. Let's go. Pokernomics Thanks. comes Thanks. in, doubles up with the queens. Glad Look at him. He's feeling good. He was so nervous about it, sitting back in his chair, drinking the water. Got to be feeling great to see your hand hold there. Double up. Yeah. No, he, right, so he, just, yeah, he, just, flops. he just flops yeah. it, you know. Nice the only way I'm going to get even is if I can convince Doug to come in here and start doing 2K, 3K, 5K flips. <laughs> I think the last time I played here, these weren't bigger, the 1K. No, they're brand, brand new. new. Oh, okay. They're fantastic. They, yeah, they changed them. Maybe your hands got smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when I'm on live stream, some of those private right games, he's so happy right like, now. how tall are you? Yeah. <laughs> Reese was so sad no. two minutes ago. I was a little, so little worried there. I was going to rebuy, but I just... I would have gone the second yeah, bullet would have gone the Remember the first time play with Reese, we sat next to each other. He stood up and I was just like, damn, you're tall. I've won some bets off that, man. Yeah. Off the, off I think the she's height. got the two on. Oh, yeah, she's right here. You got the two on, right? You're going to be first. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. All right, she's right four hundred. Oh, two hundred. All right, I am. Three, four is sadly two hundred. Another water. Five, four. Never know what's going to happen at the lodge. You said raise? Eight is raise. <laughs> really do never know. Slick Rick really loves loves Chatsville. I do. Spends a lot of time in chat. I do. Yeah. He's not going to miss anything. I guys, attention. You guys type something, in, type something in that chat. He will not go unnoticed. Yeah, Slick Rick sees everything. <laughs> Don't be mean to him. Tony. Does your does your husband play poker as well? Paul W says, "Who is that attractive man walking in the back?" <laughs> Joseph Ingram. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> I feel like Slick Rick now. Because, you know. Yeah, my wife has, like, no interest at all. Yeah, I'd end up playing way too much poker. All right, my kids. Back to work here. Big Tony. He's seen it up. Bottom pair. Wow. He supports me. He's very supportive. Ooh, that's a spicy. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a nine. Something just happened <laughs> to this room. <laughs> Something did. What did I have? Back no to back big hands here. There's no clubs. I know. Wait, are these hands all in? What happened? I, I think Mike. <laughs> You're looking good, Tony. Did Mike call or fold? I think Mike called. I think he called with that. He's got the jack ten. Mike, for the record. Yeah, they back door flush? Hand. No, no, back door flush draw. Oh, okay. I don't like his goddamn <laughs> hand. I think, you, I think I you're right. Is right. King Deuce a 70% favorite <laughs> here all in? I think it is. Oh, it ain't over the Some of Some of Mike's answered. A couple of them are dead here. Six available outs. How did these the one, the one that wins is mine. Whichever <laughs> Jack nine or ten. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Mike, the uh, yeah, the back-to-back -back snap that calls. So I like that. <laughs> like we got a triangle of no argument at one time. Oh. oh. Good card for Big Tony. Oh, what do you what do you want? That's uh, oh, yeah. King High. That's funny. Oh my gosh. Kind of King High wins. King, King High Big high. Tony. Oh, <laughs> Let's go marching on there. Balls of steel on this guy. Shoves in the high. king it's, deuce. Yeah, dude, Somehow gets it in good. <laughs> no, I, meant, I meant like from the from the board. No, oh, Mike with the two overs mm. plus gutter. Well, you're the one that gamble. That's why I, I put him on. No gamble, no future. Big Tony. Yeah, it ain't Jack, right? 
This game is officially out of the muck. What's this guy's problem? Big Tony. <laughs> like he's going crazy now. I love it. And Mike Edge, the guys. last couple hands have not been good for him. Yeah, it's interesting. Three Jeez. hands ago, DQ <laughs> made a rather small game, raise, and Mike X quickly folded with his we'll ace. Yeah. But then the last two I'm hands, he's quickly called all ins. It's it's I, I pretty interesting. Oh. With Mike X, he said, yeah. "Okay, it's time to put it in like gear." Like yeah. I am Mike X, the legend. Yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna put it all in with H3. <laughs> Although to be fair, he could just kind of fold there, so it is what it is. But. Wait, did he call the all-in? Well, he called the all-in. Well, let me, let, me, let, me, let me change my change my stance. I don't mind the gamble. I mean, listen, game's going to loosen up a little bit here, maybe. Mike X is going to get a lot of action. Sit back, wait for a hand. Love Queen it. four suited. I mean, listen, beautiful hand. Wow, let's get him, boys. Mike, this definitely is not the uh, the biggest game that Mike X regularly plays, so. Yeah, Jay Wynn just calls with the ace queen of diamonds on the button versus Alex. Both those guys very deep. Because I started in the March, beginning of April last year. There were a few sessions with us, but after that, I think the mandate was down. The jack four is in the mix here in Flop's top pair. Yeah, Meanwhile, yeah, Alex with one over, really plus flush draw. Yeah, 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 sure. sure. Like one of the last I mean, because the, the infection rate was so yeah. high. Oh, yeah. Very wet and dynamic board. Alex does not see bet here. Got a whole bunch of the hospital not very so strong wild. hands here. I mean, Pokonomics got the Robbie, so he does have the best hand right now. Five, six way. But pretty vulnerable. Yeah. Small wager here from that top pair. That's going to encourage Alex here to put in a raise. He's like, this one checks through. Seems like no one has anything. It was a small bet. Yeah, nice play by Alex. Not everybody would raise there. I think some people would have just called. And yeah. Very nice play. You have a guy? That's something. No, yeah, 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 I don't think so. I didn't even feel anything. I just thought sniffled and took the test. Like, Were you involved in the design process of the, of the room at all, Andrew? No, luckily for everybody, I wasn't, considering how, how fantastic it turned out. Yeah. Who designed this room? I mean, it really is pretty interesting design. It's very unique. I've never seen anything like it, poker-wise, that I can remember. We got some talented people around here on the team. What's up, Scott Hayward? How come the 1K and 5K chips are bigger now? I don't know, but I think they're pretty cool. I enjoy a nice oversized 1K chip, 5K chip. I like those ones where it's like the it's like a plaque. What Just like, like the plaques. Yeah, I love the plaques. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, it's classy. We got a huge plaque like in James Bond when they got yeah. the they play those play those great hands. European style. Yeah. TV. I got to use those in Barcelona. They have them like all the way down to like 500 okay. euro chips. Check. The plaques just get progressively bigger and bigger. Yeah. Kendall with a pair plus flush draw. Alex with a better flush draw. No pair. Got another raise coming in. Aggressive player, this. <coughs> aggressive. Tight, but aggressive. Kendall not ready to release just yet. Tens and sevens, plus clubs. No traffic. It's like here, same thing. Like driving down the road. The four of clubs brings in a flush for both players and here. For a few years. It's crazy. Like it was Let's see what happens now. Yeah. Now we're on the freeway. It was just so. It was just like thinking. Kendall's just really going to lead right out with her seven high flush. I was putting my mind to like thinking about the water place. Driving home, like how many millions of flush people are not working, but I'm working my ass off. It's a paired board. He's got the jack high flush. He just makes the flat call, does Alex, and Kendall's going to get the bad news. It's a sad situation. Yeah. $4,300 profit for Alex in this hand as both players make a flush. At the very beginning, man, I was like. 
Maybe if you had a uh, ace high flush or king high flush, or if the board wasn't paired, you might have seen a raise go in there on the river, but just facing facing that wager on the river under those circumstances, flat call seems prudent, makes sense. What's up, Ben Flippin? I am not playing today. There you see the cumulative winnings. Alex, the big winner, up 36,000. Pokernomics recent double up. Is up 12,000. Jay wins also winning. There you see the V pips. DQ leading the way. We're minutes away. We're going to try another fireside chat with Joey. I think they're going to try to talk with Kendra. Which should be fun. Love the fireside chats. Jay, we're coming in here with Queen Jack off suit, out of the hijack. A right. couple suited holdings, both in hearts. Big Tony's got the ace jack this time. He's in. Four ways to a flop here. Twenty-one fifty in the middle. Having to offer retainment and bonus offers when people were job jump. Jay Win hits his queen. Queen four twos. Top pair for Jay Win. Complete opposite. Within a quarter or two, like. Decides to check it, and the action checks around. It's advantageous to jump ship once the economy got a little rocky. Would you check top pair there, Slick Rick? If you're in J win spot, you raise preflop, comes queen four deuce. I would probably fire. Yeah, I would have too. But he gets Alex to do his work for him, and now he's got more options. There you go. That's why we're in the booth. <laughs> Let's see if he. He's just going to call here. DQ is going to get out of the way. So heads up, Alex and Jay win. It's okay. I know. Jay win with the check mark. One year straight, solid. Seven days a week. I did 120 hours, probably a week. I don't know if either player likes that card too much. I'm sure I got the highest VPIP, so. And then it was just like one down. Jay win has played this one pretty slow, underrepped a little bit on the flop. Loses to Queen 10 now, but you would have seen a wager versus that holding. It's just to have fun. What do you think your VPIP's at right now? Are you having fun? Always. I always have fun. He's going to go for some value here. Underrep my hand. I'm going to go for some thin value. I'll give you, I'll, I'll cards get you 500 on the side and over 44. 1,500 is the bet. Nah, I mean, so I don't want to make 44 the line. I'd rather yeah. make like 50 50 the line or something like that. Okay, okay I'll make the line 54. I mean, What's 54. the side? Good decision here. 500? Okay. okay. All right. Plus draws miss here on the river. Jay win. Probably wouldn't bet a 10 for value. All right. <laughs> might be the only freaking bet I think I might have been influenced by earlier hands. Nice. Might be the only bet I win all night. Like 44 sounded low, 65 sounded lay it down. high. Good somewhere fold. Else. The reason why is because the straddles and stuff don't count. Oh, sure. Cinnabon in the chat. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, you play pickleball? Oh, no, I, mean, I, I don't play pickleball, so that's okay. why I'm no, at no, best no, a no, mediocre pickleball. Like that. That's right, probably so generous like saying I'm a mediocre pickleball player. So I would like to go uh, give it a spin, though. I think, I mean, pickleball's the rage right now. Right. I, I was, I was thinking I'm a about tennis that. player, yeah. so oh, maybe some of the uh, maybe some of the skills transfer. Maybe I think hold the records on the halfway the between <laughs> tennis and ping pong. I think we played we played 50, 100, pickleball, or 25, 50, one of it, and I had an 89. My brother really defense. plays that a lot. Says it's yeah, fun. Yeah. 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 Right. It would have been closer to 90 something if uh, uh, yeah. some of those cans. I'm down. Right. Let's Monday go. at the Lodge yeah. President's yeah. Day. We'll be back tomorrow yeah. with another great game every day this week. Through the weekend, just like this. we're on 3 p.m. Central. Tomorrow you'll see Andrew Nimi. Mariano is in town. He'll be on the felt tomorrow. And DQ, with Big Slick suited, just calls and Kendall raises it up to 1,000. Mike X with ace four. Mike X just wants to get in the middle. But I think these guys are both going to get some bad news once they get back to Mr. DQ. As high calls really as well. Who thinks he's folding? Honestly, I bet on that. <laughs> Good read, Kendall. 11,000. There you go. Three raises, 11,000. Oh, nice, I love it. Thank you. Large wow. wager. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look, I, 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 I don't give a shit. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> That's very good. I don't even know what to do with it.
That has me beat. I don't even want to do it that. Trapped them. Honestly, I thought you had better. 3,200 in profit. Mike's going to call me with something that's going to beat me. Yes. So I would rather just take my small little victory. Rhino Poker says, I'm watching every day stream from China. It's now 907 here. Rhino Poker, thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's nice when you don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to have, We're, we're like, dark for 56 time. days building this great new studio. Is that it's good here. Last stream of the year was win? December 23rd and came back on February 17th, so we're back for good, folks. <laughs> Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday normally, Tony's but not this week. This week, every comment. single day. I can't believe it was only, only two months we were down. It feels like longer. Feels like longer because we were all so excited. My life was meaningless without it. <laughs> uh, thanks, Cinnabon, for the good luck wishes. As we go four ways to a flop. Big Tony hits the queen. Mm. You know, I mean, if I tried, I couldn't miss them any harder. I don't know. Ooh. Take it down, Big Tony, with top pair. Mm -hmm. Oh, he got it. He had it. Saw Brad the cash games at the lodge. He's back in the mix, showing his heart. He will get it back this week. There you go. Prediction from Cinnabon. Great. Whether it's this week or another week, all I know is he will get it back. Are you and Brad on the same flight going to Cambodia? But, you know, or different flights. Them. So kind of a kind of a weird situation at the moment. I need to get a uh, rush passport renewal. Oh, you so expired. I need to drive up to Dallas uh, this Friday morning. I'm okay. driving up there. I rented a car. Nice. And they don't I'm have gonna, anything in Austin you can do. No, nothing. In, nothing in Vegas. Nothing in Austin. Wow. So I got to drive up there. Hope it gets done. And then we're actually supposed to go to a uh, Triton event in Vietnam on Monday. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make it. It's 50-50. You're all over yeah, the place. So if I get the passport, I'm off to Vietnam on Monday. If I don't, then I'm off to Cambodia around the 8th or so. Unbelievable. The world traveler. We're going to have a fireside chat with Joey in about three minutes. Thanks, Budget Chicken, for the super chat. Budget Chicken. He works on the... Uh, Hollywood Boulevard, right next to the Chinese Theater. Jack 4-4. Four, four. That's a good flop. Kind of going to stab here with the best of it. No freaking way. No takers. 600. Easy game. my birthday. Today? <laughs> Let's head on out to Joey in the studio. Sometime this year. <laughs> oh, you're one of those tricky people. This one. Really? No way. False <laughs> alarm, folks. <laughs> There's nobody there. <laughs> he's he's uh, Friday, in a minute. <laughs> he's lost. Happy birthday. No worries. Thank no you. one's hurt. There. Oh, no, that's not him. <laughs> How old do I look? 100. 100? You got Damn. Sidetracked. No, the PLO games 32. out there. No. <laughs> the 30s is very beautiful. No? Well, you said no, like she was way like old. Like, no, no, no. like he's way older? Oh, I thought she said 42. No, it's she said 32. 32. No, no, definitely in like the 30s is possible. Yeah. You want to tell us? Yeah, you got it. 32, exactly? Well, I'm going to be 33. Oh, me too in March. <laughs> but I'm 32 now. Oh, no, wait. Jackie I Spades here for Mike X on the button. <laughs> no, I'm going to be 34. <laughs> I'm going to be 34. <laughs> oh, you're 89. You're, you're born 6 suited for high. He's going to call. Jay Wynn, 4 3. Not good enough. I was doing in 1999. <laughs> <laughs> the Iron. Shout out to Iron. I saw him in the chat. Yeah. Here you are, Iron. Holy shit. I've always wanted to meet Israeli Ron. Come to the lodge. 883. Trips for Mike X. Uh, down like <laughs> 7th or 8th Street, like something like that. Yeah. Sure, something like that. Oh, it, was it was dope like 5, 10 years ago. I think they like came off. Like X with the slow play here, I believe. Check through. But again, that's very fine. High turns. Because yeah. I'm going to they called me earlier and I didn't call them back. Yeah. About my He's going to wager $700. I don't know. I'm not sure. He gets out of there with the high run. Mike X with his trip 8s. I haven't decided yet. Just a flat call. He didn't call. 
I'll be back here the following weekend for that tournament yeah. as well. At least five days. Yep. Thursday to Tuesday or something. Fourth heart on board now. I haven't really been I, I haven't really been drinking or anything. Like I've been yeah. for Looks like that is going to like kill any further oh action. Not Shows is eight. Huh? It's all right, Same Mike X. You slow played on the flop. Oh, well. Let him turn a six there. So yeah, let's head play. to Joey right yeah, now on the floor. On true, oh, true, oh. true. Oh. Battle listen, fireside chat. Big no, poppy cheer. cheer. If it's a game I've never heard of, I'll play that too. It's okay, Kendall. Yeah. Cheers. We're here. <laughs> fireside, Joey Ingram, Big Poppy. We're here joined by Kendall. I mean, Kendall, you're putting on a show out there, my friend. I mean, that is not true. I mean, listen, first of all, you only want to have a drink. That's why I, I had to come. Know. That's why I come. Had it. I was I know, shocked. That's seriously. why I came in. I go. I gotta have a drink with her, right? That's why I came in. Right? Get one. Now we got two more. Can You're you giving me more. Ask them all to drink. I think you gotta get them to drink. Knees. You want me to ask them? Yeah. I think you gotta ask them. I have. Yeah, you gotta. They said no. Well, they, they don't want I to. I know. They were like, mm, no, we want to take your money. So you drink, and we'll stay sober. And how are they doing at that? That's pretty good. Yeah. They're doing pretty well at that. You should yeah. tell Jay when he gotta take a shot, or he gotta leave. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah. How's uh, how you enjoying your time here? I know you've been to the lodge before, and how you enjoying the, this new stream, new setup? What do you think? What are your thoughts? Give it to us. Oh, I mean, the room is beautiful. It's it's absolutely spectacular. They did a really good job. Um, no, it's lovely coming to Austin. Um, the last time I was here it was my first time in Austin, and I went to a bunch of restaurants. Mm -hmm. and Had a good time. Walked around. Favorite restaurant yeah, nearby. I, um, well, I don't think I can say a favorite restaurant considering I've been out. to like five no, total. None, okay, yeah, um, that's true. Nothing, nothing stood out. Jay Wen re uh, recommended Red Ash the last time that I was here, and I thought that was great. I really okay. had a, a great time. Okay, let us know in the chat. People know some, some re recommendations. Yeah, uh, actually, I went to Velvet Taco today, and uh, I went there because I had been there last time, and they have the craziest menu. It's okay. amazing. Yeah, highly recommend Velvet Taco. I, w I would go, I would eat there every day if I lived here. And but every day you you live you live in the West Coast right you in, up in the San Fran area you're you're playing poker up there what's kind of your life like there playing working I know that you're <laughs> you know you're yeah you're no I'm a product manager for a biotech company we do DNA sequencing um, I love analysis I love figuring things out um, poker is a little bit of that so. yeah poker a lot of that right had I mean, a lot of fun playing poker it's it's nice yeah yeah you seem to love battling I mean I, we bet a little bit of pop when I'm on the great game before it's funny no I three bet you once and you folded that's that, that is the story. <laughs> Let's be honest. So the camera Let's be honest. Know, we battled. I mean, we listen, battled. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Okay. Listen. Yeah, okay. Get the game going right now. You know what I mean? That's what it is. But okay. So you're out there. You're playing. You play hold and play feel low, high stakes. Are you, are you planning to play more poker this year? Are we going to see more of you on streams? Are we going to see more of you getting yourself out there and in, in a I'll, poker world? I'll play more poker. I don't know about um, playing on stream. I just, you know, when the opportunity you're presents itself. You're down for itself. whatever. You're like, yeah, I'm down for whatever. You're done. You're done to get in the mix. I'm very busy, to be perfectly honest. I don't yeah. play as much poker as. Uh, I would like to, which is probably healthy. <laughs> it's probably good for me <laughs> uh, to, okay. to play a little less than I would like to. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll play more poker um, here and there. We'll figure it out. Okay, cool. Something will happen. Yeah. Well, I know you got some, you got some fan, a little fan club building up online, especially in the chat. Been watching you play. You've been kind of in that middle seat, put on a little show. So why don't we, why don't we cheer <laughs> some more time? All right, all right. <laughs> to. Putting on a show. I putting don't on a show <laughs> to, 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 to stacking somebody out there. Come on. I mean, that would be nice. But, you know, if I also get stacked, that that's fine with yeah. me. Shout, we, saw, we saw David Hoff in the chat earlier, by the way. You want to give a shout out to David? Uh, I don't think I know a David Well, Hoff. we saw something in the chat. What was the first name in the chat? Listen, Hoff we got, is my last name. I know. That's what I'm saying. So, we had a Hoff in the chat that gave you a shout out in the chat. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, a so David? Are you sure I, it was a David and not I like a Connor? I think it started Alan. with the I think you started with a D. We got we to run the tape back. But okay. I know we had a shout. Maybe it wasn't even related to you. You never know. Yeah, so. I know. That's very possible. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. All right, guys. Listen. Um. <laughs> back to the table. Let's go. Right, Thank you. Another great interview with Fireside Chats with Joey and In the Bunker now. Doug Polk. Doug, how's it going? Quiet, it's huh? good. That's what I told him, too. That's not fair. It's good to be in the I bunker, know, ready to commentate right? a little bit down the stretch. Seems like the action's been picking up a little it bit here. Started to heat up a little bit. A few all-in calls, double ups, starting to heat up. Four-way flop, 10-7-6, gutter ball for high. Not really too much for anyone else. Big Tony does have to gut shot himself to a worse straight. Back to not flush try to go along, but not too 
too appealing for anyone here. Mike X thinking it over. Two overcards to the board. Okay, let it go. Hi. Good call. Heads up to the turn. Couple of gutters. Brick on the turn. Big Tony. He's going to fire again. I just going to let it go. Tough spot now with a straight draw. You kind of just have to let it go. Could this be drawing dead. Not many outs. Not a believer. And entering the booth. 500 in there and I'll show you. Brad Owen. Okay, 400 it will show. How's Welcome. it going, Doug? Welcome. Thanks for, thanks for, uh, thanks for having me. Anytime, my friend. Anytime. <laughs> How's the game going so far? It's been good. Uh, it's uh, really loosened up, I think, in the last 30 minutes, 60 minutes, so something like that. Yeah. Nick, the Nick, the Nick game got it out of the muck. Oh, wow. Day on been watching a little bit from the main room while I've been playing today, so that's been fun. Very nice. 16, 32. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Wait, let's do it to this one, too. <coughs> Some much smaller knit, knit games today, Brad, compared to the initial one. Is that right? Yeah. What are they? They went with, a, I think it was, was it 200 or 300? 200 a pop. It's a little bit more reasonable. Yeah. For uh, It looks like it looks like a great game. It's not that good. What is that? I am ready to get out there. It's tough. It's tough to watch it and not want to play. That's the spirit, Brad. Cinnabon's in the chat. What's up, Cinnabon? I saw him playing in the main room earlier. Okay, that's a big raise. Yeah, one shot. Are these straddles or are these? It's a race. That's an open race. You have. I think that's an eight hundred dollars straddle from Mike X. It's good for TV. Sixteen thousand. Uh, no, no. Two hundred. Sixteen thousand two hundred. Wow. Okay. Well, let's look at him. Oh. No? Give me those cards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me those cards. Yeah, yeah. 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 Pretty reasonably yeah. laid out with yeah. the seven yeah. sex. <laughs> no. Give me those cards. <laughs> Anything resembling a hand. How many eggs? 32 eggs? Oh, how many times did I Well, I would that? say oh. that resembles a hand. <laughs> <laughs> I like Alex's yeah. stocking yeah. ability. Yeah. It makes yeah. a nice, yeah. nice yeah. fork, yeah. you know? $60,000 worth? I said it was very aesthetically pleasing. Does a good job. <laughs> He's probably good with Legos growing up, you know. It resembles Pocket Seven. Must be nice. I'll take that six seven. I just want. I really wanted a thousand dollars. How have you been doing? How's uh, how's fatherhood? I'm sure you've talked about this probably a little bit already, yeah. but that's exciting. Yeah, it's it's been great. It's been great. It's been a lot of work so far and a lot less sleep. But seeing his little face makes me happy. Caitlin sends me pictures all the time when I'm here. Fifteen. He's, sm he's almost smiling now. There's like a little bit of a smile. It's cute. <laughs> he is approaching four weeks old. So. Mike X, 8-7 of hearts. Kendall opening the button up. 1500, ace, deuce of spades. Yeah, this game, I think Pete, we got some big straddles going. What just happened here? He just rips it. Wow. What is it? And Kendall's thinking about her options. Brad, this game has not been like this. I think you're you're gonna have a different vibe of how the game's going. I know, I started it. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sorry. So it goes Absolutely straddle not. to 400. Kendall raises to 1500. Oh, okay. Mike just three bet rips it for 13k. Right. Field eight seven offsuit. Yep. There we go. Oh, 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 he's ready. Nice. Nice hand. I mean, There's been no right. shortage right. of right. action right. since <laughs> we've relaunched the stream, that's for sure. No shortage. I don't like calling against middle pair, like middle, middle cards. Yeah. I don't have Ooh. fucking ace jack or ace it's jack. Double 99 from the budget chicken. Fun story, Brad once stacked me when I had jacks.
You saw, you saw what I did. Yeah. Thanks for the donation. I was just too low. I was down seven six. Oh, it's pretty not cool, seven again. Brad. Please be sued. I don't it's it's it. pretty not cool. He had the jiggies. I know. He had the jiggies. It didn't even matter what he did. Hey, yeah, yeah. I was ready. Brad, I gotta ask you what everybody out there knows. know. When are we gonna see you back in the game, buddy? You know what? I haven't. I was scheduled to play the first two days. Ran into your some tough times, but and shooter, been, uh, I, I don't know like when I'm on the schedule again. Yeah. I think I'm on the schedule for two like more times. Possible. It's hard to watch this and not want to jump in there. Yeah. yeah so we got to see you back in the mix, man. We gotta, you got to turn that streak around right now. And a little okay. losing streak, it happens. But we got to see you back in there, turning this around, my friend. I think I speak for a lot of people out there when they're ready to see that. So we hope to see you in the game as soon as possible. You can be in the 200 400 game maybe this weekend, this Saturday. Big yeah, game. There, there's a good chance that uh, that that'll happen. We'll have to kind of see. <laughs> you guys, okay. I, I look at I look at Brad. Let's go. Smirk as as he's answering. He's ready. I love it, man. Yeah, we'll have to see when when there's some openings in uh, in some of these lineups. But I'm very eager to hop back in, especially just watching some of these games. I mean, they're so good. They're so good. You mean full of great players? Exactly. Thank Doug. you, Brad. Thank you. You know they're members of the lodge, and and they deserve our respect. Look, I didn't say that. Uh, uh -huh. I didn't say anything about no, their skill course, level. I course. just think that they're such fun, juicy games. I mean, juicy. They're ripping it fun in with juicy? eight seven offsuit <laughs> for thirteen k in the fifty hundred game. So it was eight seven suited. Was it? Yeah. And you know what? You ripped uh, eight nine suited. I'm pretty sure it was eight seven seventy off. something. <laughs> seventy something. He had thousand. a read on hook though. He knew. He knew hook was like that hand. Let's, what did What did hook have in that hand though? Doug? He had ten four. Time. It was a great. It was a phenomenal read. I just I was surprised to see him. It was a. It was an aggressive play. It was, it was Phil. It was Phil IBS that one hand when he when he was playing versus Barry Greenstein and jammed in the five deuce. And I think that was either versus versus Mercier or one of those hands. It was kind of like that. You just went with this crazy read. Put seventy thousand with the nine eight suited. Yeah. It was a, it was a good spot for him to three bet squeeze. So I just thought he would be. Yeah, over yeah, three yeah. betting by a lot in that spot. Yeah, no, I mean, you were right, for sure. Yeah, I think I, I can't wait to see you back in the mix, but man. Yeah, 200, 400. Good to see you back in the mix. Took a little, little few week hiatus there, but you're back. Yeah, Doug Doug called me up. Like I said, I was in the mountain, the Midwest mountain. Mid, Med mid edible, what do you call it? <laughs> edible flowing through my veins. Or edible <laughs> flowing through my veins. Doug called me, he's like, I'm like, wait, what are you doing? He's like, new stream. Come down to Texas. I said, I ain't been there in a while, but okay, I'm in. Yeah, I mean, seeing, great. seeing this new stream set up, it's uh, making me want to move out here more and more. Oh, we're going to get you eventually. It's just a question of when. Yeah. Yeah, we got here in the booth here. A uh, very rare trio, Doug Polk, okay. Douglas K. Polk back here. Brad Owen, two part owners of the lodge of this uh, brand new stream set up here. Joey Ingram, Poppy, a.k.a. Okay. Chicago okay. Joey back here. <laughs> this, is a, this is a fun... Commentary group we've got here. Just three of some of the earliest. Uh, Ooh, we have a cooler flop, guys. We got some action. Top pair for Big Tony. Bottom pair in a flush drop for DQ. It's a seven thousand dollar bet in the flop. Damn it! Big Tony snap calls. No. <laughs> so DQ, bottom <laughs> pair, flush draw, 2-3, backdoor straight draw. Big Tony been running well in these all-in pots. DQ not necessarily been running that well, especially against Big Tony. Yeah. Look at that up here. You're going to see it anyway. Who cares? Oh, you got it, you got it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was all with the uh, flush draw. <laughs> <laughs> I am on a fucking flush draw. I know, I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> You need to do to look away. That's alternative. Yeah, like, yeah, look away. Like, like, stand up and like pretend okay. you lost the pot. That's how you win. Yes. So yeah, one time. We, we run yeah, it once. Yeah, Here we go, guys. One time. Ooh. Ooh. A little gutter ball action now for DQ. The equity stayed exactly the same. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, aye, 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 Poppy. DQ. When it's not working, it's not working. Oh, we have a GFX yeah, error here. Yeah. It's a little, yeah, a little delayed. Bummer, guys. Yep. Too many outs. That was my problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not going, not going I, our I guy DQ's way today, guys. DQ. 100,000, 200,000. I'm all in with it. Yeah, and on Doesn't the turn, get it there. The turn, Pot ends up being <coughs> about $35,000. It's going to go back to Big Tony's way, and he wins another all in, and DQ is kind of in shambles right now. You can hear it in his voice. 
Ouch. And he sees. He's just not making any hands. I mean, you gotta make hands, right? You don't make hands, things happen. Yeah, 13 to I know a thing or two about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Yep. Yeah. Right there. I can't get any flips. <clears throat> no flips. Wow, that. That's a tough Good one. Good Tony. Thank you, sir. Oh, 46 mm -hmm. oh, okay. Wow, that was a, that was wow, a big pot. Yeah, well, you had some action. Six, I, seven, you know, we, we both had something, so. Oh, I, I definitely like I, I like clock. your fucking hands, dude. No, no, I absolutely. really do. Yeah, that's why I made it with a man. Absolutely. It's got to hit. It doesn't hit, it doesn't hit. Brad Owens, I know exactly how you feel. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe uh, me and DQ will go out for a beer tonight. We can <laughs> console each other. Does he know you're here listening? I don't think so. I haven't seen him today, but I mean, he's always so great to have on the stream. You're still enjoying yourself. I like that you get in the booth I, and he instantly needles you. I don't even think he knows you're in there. There's no I, I, don't, I don't even take that as a needle. I think it that, is what it is. I think that he was uh, genuinely thinking, you know, I was like somebody who could uh, relate to that. Okay. It's been a long time I since I've had a $50,000 loss. Wow. Yeah. Although I know the graphics are off. But... Poor DQ throwing the party today as he says he's down about 50K. No. Happened, Big Tony though was down. Nice rally back. Let's go with the A6 on the button. Mike X, Queen Nine. I'm gonna put the the call in. His hands been straight out to 400 by DQ. Jaywin calls DQ. He has yeah. DQ has about 7,000 or 8,000. It says 2,000. So he actually has more chips than this indicates. <laughs> So you're, you're saying it hasn't scene. been like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's when actually not. I mean, chat, has the, has the stream been like this the whole time, or, or did, did they just um, unload the clip here well, in the I'm last sure hour? <laughs> you guys tell me. What do you think? This is the last 10,000 I brought for Yeah, this Mike X, Mike, they kind of nickname opened it up, and then Mike X started opening up. Big Tony was opening up a little bit. Alex still kind of, you know, a few of these players still play pretty pretty relatively snug, but, you know, DQ has always been playing a lot of hands, and kind of Big Tony, and I feel like Mike X maybe tried to match him a little bit on that department, and then you have Jay Wynn and High in the middle kind of picking some nice spots. Action folds around to Jaywin. Small blind. He's going to raise it up. 600 to go. DQ may be blind, I think. Jaywin with a 7 3 of hearts. He's going to probably be behind. Ooh, ace down of hearts here for DQ. And he's going to hit He's gonna hit the flop. Middle pair, top kicker, back door up, flush draw. I think he has his hand. I like we have to play this game of does DQ know his cards or not, you know? <laughs> and what could Jay win be thinking here? He has seven high. I'm getting one, but she doesn't need that chair. And they came like five hours into the stream? That's good. <laughs> he, knows, he knows DQ is down a lot, so. Are you serious? DQ could be making plays here with all kinds of hands, just trying to win a pot, get back in the win column. True, but man. Yeah, I don't know. Wow, he's using for chips. Not a hurry. Two, three raises, 3,500. 3,500 with the seven high. Wow. Wow. Just a, just a snap fold. Yeah. Yeah, not quite true. Win 10 of clubs? No, he had seven three of hearts, but I'm down to like only 10,000, so it's hard to oh, yeah. hard to call a third of your chip stack with something like middle pair and no Wow. Good yeah. What a move. Now I'm going to get abused. Mine's up. What a move. Come on, DQ. Lock in, buddy. Let's go. I'm pretty surprised DQ folded there, actually. It, it, it's a tough spot. It's half a stack to call, basically. Yeah, he's got like 33K. Is he gone? No, no, no. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out why they were counting his chips. I don't know. Honestly, they should They should know after he was He's got like 33. I think if they, somebody probably spotted a discrepancy, so they want to manually update his chips. Yeah, I guess. 20, 28, 31, 32 and change. 29, 30, 
32 inch heavy. 32, See our great hostess in the back with that security wand in her hand, making sure. Yeah, they didn't even let me in with my phone. But I'm not playing. I said, yep, phone out there. So, all right, turn around and put the phone back. The only one? So, no phones are allowed in this room, Doug. What's the, what are you guys thinking about in terms of that, the electronic no, issue? No way. And no it's kind of your guys' approach to that. that, that no. Do you want a drink? Do you want another drink? I think it's just about eliminating possible vectors and not having digital devices in here that can transmit or receive. No, just seems safer, I think. Yeah, I mean, we, are, we haven't seen any issues lately, you know, with that, so. <laughs> it's me oh, in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just doing the, the commentary from the hallway out there, or the, I guess. the other room. Doug Polk, Brad Owen, Joey Ingram back here. Slick Rick, Skull Mike. They've been walking around, gauging the action. Slick Rick locked into the chat right now, I can tell. He's got a big <laughs> smile on his face. Living a good life. Getting lots of compliments on the, on the stream setup here. I mean, that room is just amazing. A lot of fun to play in. People from the last few days have been really excited to play in it, break it in a little bit. Guys, who would you like to see down here? You know, any, anybody on your mind? Any players out there you're kind of looking forward to see down here in the lodge? Grinding with these, grinding with some of the players here, Jay Wynn, Jax. Maybe we can get Helmuth out here at some point. Oh, it would be incredible. <laughs> it would be incredible. As long as there's no bad beats, I think we might be able to do it. Jay Wynn's going to bump it up, Jax. Mike X, the king queen. He's going to kick down the king fourth, throw it away. Some rags for Kendall, and we're back on Mike X. What is Mike X considering? Six. I think he's going to make it back. Don't, I'm in for the big blind. I think he's reaching for chips. All right, makes the call. It's a relatively fair fight, actually, despite Jay Wynn having such a strong yeah, creep off hand. Oh. One king dead. Yeah, Take a flop. Ace, nine, six. Both players are going to be a little unhappy here. Mike X doesn't pair. Jay Wynn, always an ace. And check it over, see how Mike X wants to operate with his king high. Reaching for chips. 2,200, about a 40% pop better so here. What's Jamie going to do? Has the jacks. Mike X is just taking a stab with something. Oh, he's just going to let it go. He's going to make a disciplined lay down and get the bad news. Thank you. Looks like Mike probably showed him. Well, I take that back. Jaywin just says nice hand. I'm not sure if he showed him or not. So we're getting some uh, some people in the chat saying we should get Nick Airball out here. He's been talking a lot of trash on on Twitter. Yeah, he's coming out. He's coming yeah. out next week. He, he talking trash to both of you guys. Yeah, I mean, yeah. ready, Brad. You better you better defend the lodge, buddy. <laughs> you got to defend the lodge against this guy. You can't let this guy come down to Texas, bro. He's saying if he wins enough, he's going to buy the lodge from us. <laughs> Brad, what do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> he's going to rename it, too. He's already oh, soliciting. Oh, you're a seller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wait, realize. is Nick Airball going to win the two or four games? Okay, wait oh, a second. Oh, this is not looking good for the lodge. <laughs> no, no. Not, not selling any stake in the lodge, All but... Right. Uh, Nick Airball comes in one day. Doug, guess what? <laughs> Playing yeah. tonight. He told me, <laughs> he replied to one of my tweets. He said, don't lose all the money before he gets here because he wants to be the one who busts me. Oh, wow. Something to that effect. Wow. We'll figure it well, out. Damn. I love it. Yeah, who's gonna be who's gonna have enough courage to take down to take him down? To buy in matches stack and go to battle. It was like seven. Might be I, mean, I assume he's going to be sending some serious cheddar here to bust everyone up, right? Like Buying mega deep. I mean, he has to with all the with everything he said so far. Imagine if he said all this stuff and comes in, shows up with like 20k. A little bit of everything. There's one game that's yeah. a private game that's a little bit heavier. A whole, whole bunch of nothing here. DQ. Catching a little break. He's down with the seven. 
I don't know. I don't really get into the peel, but the host, I, I just go play once in a while when I'm... A couple people in the chat requesting Garrett come down here. G-Man, maybe see G-Man uh, down here. Sad, but I don't know him personally. Okay. In the lodge. Wait, what? what G-Man. We're going to see him in the lodge, or are we going to see him down here? Uh, I don't know. So, I at least not for the near future. Maybe one day, I hope. Obviously, it would be nice okay. to, to invite Garrett out. But, okay. Uh, if you ever would like to come play, he's welcome to, but certainly nothing in the, in the near future. Could be good. They requested in the chat. Garrett, Daniel Negreanu, Rampage. Of course, people want to see names like that come down here and play. I think a lot of people want to see Garrett play. He's had a bit of a hiatus yeah, since the, the whole thing. He did mention that he was interested in potentially playing that million dollar buy in. I know where not to stand now, by the way, when I'm in the, that room. There's <laughs> the straight camera shot yeah. when the door opens. Liz, looking official. I like it. Super official. The production shirt. Love it. William McKay, $100 donation. Thumbs up and like if you're thankful that the Lodge live stream is back. That's right. Smash the like button. Thumbs up. Thank you, William McKay. Thank you, William. Very much appreciate the support. You the man. Only 229,999 more for me to go. Oh, oh <laughs> or 211. Do you think 10, those go to you? Yeah, do I not get the... Oh, oh. It goes to the set, that? the set commentator, <laughs> so... Stashler's out there. Look at Stashler. We saw him what, playing last I'll night. I'll tell you what. You tell Skull right now. You can, you can go tell him. He's taking, he's taking your super chat money. Rick, Skull, oh, no, guys. No. no, no. Look them in the face, Brad. They're right over there. Look them in the face. They deserve it. They've been, they've been crushing it all week. They've had a... Uh, oh, Skull oh, Mike! Yeah. Thanks, Skull. Thanks, Skull. Five dollars. Here you go, Brad. Thank there you, ha there you have it. Right. We're all chipping in tonight for the Brad Recovery <laughs> Fund. Tonight. Are we gonna start a GoFundMe, Brad? <laughs> yeah, somebody, people in the chat were worried. They thought said he was he gonna get a job or something. I was like, I think yeah, it's fine. tough. There's always so many assumptions and speculation about financial situations and various things like that. But I'm never playing with money that I can't afford to lose. I sold a good chunk of action, so. You just take these calculated risks when the games are good like this, and to kick off the stream, I was happy to play. Obviously, we wanted things to go a little bit better, but uh, you know, I'll have plenty of opportunities to make some of it back. Yeah, and if it if it goes badly enough, you always got the 1020 at the Chesterfield, just kind of <laughs> waiting for you. You know, it's good to have that in the old back pocket. Yes, I forgot about that. All right, sevens here for DQ in the lead. <laughs> Two we have for Tony. Did Paris five. Seven. Seven hundred. Yeah. Always got the truck as well. Exactly. DQ, he's uh, he's ahead now. We'll see how this goes. Ten in the turn. Both players are going to be a little bit frightened about this. Some precarious situations. Check check. Six on the river. Sevens are good, but Tony's reaching for chips. Ooh, he's putting DQ in a spot. He's actually going to be betting here. Just hoping you have a five. <coughs> I have a five. Nice raid. Nice call. Nice raid. Well deserved. Well earned. It's the beginning of a comeback right here. Hey, it's got to start someplace. You can't win three hands in a row unless you win your first one. So that's, true. that's the first You three in, right? Three in hands in a row? Not me. I'm saying you can't win three hands in a row unless you win your first one. Oh, I didn't hear you. I guess I interrupted you, so. See a fireside chat going on there with Kendall. Kendall was a little bit nervous, but I think she's a natural. The great massage therapist right there. Look at that shot. Such, a, right, such an awesome shot. All right, we're down 48,000. The stream numbers are wrong. We're only down 48,000. We can go, baby. Let's Host go. Hostess Jordan go. doing a great job today. Let's go. Got our dealer no Jessica in there working the point, really yeah, hard. Shout out to Jessica. It's like so, I can teach my son perseverance. Down to beat, you know. Don't ever give it, up. Yeah, no, we're good. I just, yeah, it was my fault. Oh well, man, used to say if you're gonna be a, bear, your fault. Be a grizzly bear. It was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you know this. I mean, uh, it's not our fault. fault. <laughs> Is that a straddle? Yes. Yeah, yeah, no. Why, why are the cars still there? Two fold three. Oh, there's a problem with the. He just, it's a sleeper straddle. Oh. Yeah, they said. Oh, you don't muck the hand right away. Yeah, there you go. I was just wondering. Oh, okay, okay. I was just wondering. Not way worse. Here, here you go. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. What do we do? A man of the rules. Uh, what do we do? I was just wondering what was going on. Yeah, he's giving me. Okay, now you're right. Yeah. Now I'm lost. What are we doing? But once again, Jess is wrong. It does. It's not a theme, you know. Here. 
Right. Is that Iron Mike Brady in the chat? Shout out to Brady out there. Always oh, working hard. Just a new podcast host recently, hosting a podcast. With Gary Gary Blackwood. Is that right? Yep. An upswing yeah, poker. I've, yeah. I've seen some of those emails. I've actually read some of those articles oh. between uh, him and Gary about different uh, board textures and various various things like I've that. Been, I've, cool. been, uh, I've been, I've been uh, reading all those and listening to that show a little bit, yeah. It, it's crazy to me how good Mike is at, at poker, but then he also takes on so many tasks with an upswing and with the lodge. Like a good pull. Yeah. It's really, really impressive. Yeah, Br Brady is the unsung hero of pretty much everything I've worked on. What do you play in SA? Okay. Mainly. He's um, been an integral part of upswing and, and uh, the lodge as well now over located. the past year. I've never Next been to the airport, 281. You guys run a big game there? Uh, like you see high right there at that beautiful lodge. Is and, that a hoodie uh, available? Where can people buy that hoodie? Or is that, is that, right I, never, I haven't seen that anywhere. Yeah. Then, I believe you can buy it on the website, and I think we actually might have some in at the room as well. I hope so. Andrew's wearing the same hoodie today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's in the I-10 Warsbach area. Rep in the lodge. Skull Mike proposes Mike Brady versus Nick Airball. Wow, I'm here for it. I'd love to see Doug come out of come out of retirement, and play some heads up, man. Oh, I've been so retired, Joey. Haven't played poker in days. <laughs> you don't really you don't really play heads up, though. Well, I mean, I will definitely. You play I definitely ring play, poker. You I can't even. You can't even on. really play your game at ring. Come on, you can't even really play the game that you want to play at ring sure. poker. You can only play that heads sure. up. Big three bet here from Jay Win. King 10 suited and under the gun straddle to 5k. Yeah, big three bet. A little pot developing. Can't wait for the the smaller table to get here. I think it would be nice to have uh, something a little more cozy. We have the order in. It's going to be a little bit smaller. Some tighter shots with the camera. I know you guys in the chat have wanted that. Don't worry. Before you know it, our players are going to be touching elbows. As all poker <laughs> players should be. <laughs> it's been a long week. Mike, you're the 250. <laughs> like four days in. It feels try, like, like forever. Yeah, I like the Trust six. Me, I like I the six-handed game you guys not, did not because I, I mean, one first of all, right, six-handed to me a little bit more action, wider ranges, but totally. I like the way it looked at the table. It looked. Uh, you know, I thought that was a pretty good lineup. Maybe experiment, maybe some ideas to experiment with that in the future. Do you guys plan to? Is it all going to be eight-handed, seven-handed? Any six-handed plans? It, it should just about always be eight, but you know, sometimes there's you have to make changes to the lineup, or someone has to drop out last minute for something, or whatever happens. So you can't for sure say we'll always be eight, right? Because sometimes stuff happens. But we, we aim to have full games. Yeah, it starts from there. It's crazy. What do you prefer, Brad? For eight, six? I, I kind of have mixed feelings. It is fun to mix it up and get in there when it's six hundred, six handed. You play wider. You get in there a lot more, you know. Mm -hmm. So that part's nice, but it's, there's, there's more opportunities for like big coolers when it's when it's eight handed. Mm -hmm. It's just it's tough to find a lot of people who want to play 200, 400. So Matt Westlake went down early. We started seven handed, I believe, mm -hmm. and then I uh, just went six from there. Yeah, Westlake Matt, local legend. Heard he grew up here playing when he was 18 years old. Started playing at the Lodge, and now he's mid-20s, younger 20s, taking shots at higher stakes on one of your streams. I mean, pretty crazy progression for him. Yeah, he's a great player. Yeah, pot. Fun to, fun to mix it up with him. Played a huge pot. I think it was like a 100K pot. Got it in with eights versus hooks nines. Mm, that's right. See what we got here, boys. Something a little bit here. Open and straight draw. Four high flush draw for DQ. Ace King picks up the gutter. Yeah, this is an interesting turn. E everyone kind of got a little something. Mike has an open ender. DQ has a low flush draw, and Alex has a gutter to the nuts. So we might actually get a little action, despite no one really having improved anything all that great. Mike X does bet 2,000. DQ makes the call. What's Alex gonna do here? Has the gutter to the nuts. He's ahead of all the draws, of course. He's got the nut non pair hand. He's just going to let it go. Mm. And two players with not a pair or a card over a nine. We're taking a river. Deuce. Rick. Who wants it? DQ has the <laughs> nut low. It is not possible. He's playing the board, I guess I should say. Mike is actually good here. Got to go for it, Mike. Nine high. Six thousand potatoes. DQ. 
Down on his luck today ends up. I guess it depends on who you are. Great bluff there by Mike X. Picks it up. DQ can't get anything going today. We've all had those days. Yeah, 100%. Right, <laughs> can't, can't relate, actually, Doug. Oh, okay. Oh, not my sure, gosh. Sure how DQ. Oh. Six, Bill Gates, 666. Wow. That one, that one stings when you lose. So what is that? You know what? I still got DQ beat for uh, the go. biggest <laughs> loss in the 5100. So don't feel too bad, DQ. 64% VPIP not working out on DQ's way today. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. The swings are just so big when you play a lot of hands. The two youth says, hey, Brad, can you sign a Jiggity's card for my son? Very, very happy to sign anything. If you ever see me in person, if I'm playing, bring feel free to come bring up. Bring him anything you want to sign. <laughs> He'll yeah. sign anything you bring up to him. I'll be here all week, and I'll be back for the Launch Championship Series if not before then. So that's taking place April 26th through May 16th. We've got some huge buy-in events that are going to be exciting, but we've also got some more affordable ones as well. So come on out here. It's probably the best time to come to the Lodge if you haven't checked it out yet. Agreed. Agreed. So our flagship series. Yeah, we kind of aim most of the stuff at a bit lower stakes and uh, yeah. a little more planning for the state player pool, no. but we also have a good variety of bigger events to get people out here and uh, make it worth your time to stop by the lodge and play. So it should, should be a great one. Two million dollar main event. Is that the biggest tournament in Texas that they have, or is there? Ooh, two million. Is there anything bigger? I don't think anything's bigger than that. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with these things? Yeah, they always, <laughs> they always <laughs> get you in the first time. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to be a really good clip. Uh, Here, great. Here you Excellent. go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kendall, I have an issue with that water oh, over there. What the fuck? <laughs> Did anybody else see that? Yeah. Oh, it, it does that to me all the time. I a very specific way. Oh, oh my the God. Lodge. <laughs> Dirty. Thank she got you. a bunch of <laughs> Uh -oh. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Oh. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, Did she try to open yeah. that water and it got yeah. around? <laughs> I, I talked about this with Doug <laughs> <laughs> two days ago. I was, God damn it! Why? <laughs> These water lids are hard. I was just waiting for Brad to gloat about the water bottles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I told Doug, and you were you looking all happy. Like Ooh, here we go. That's happened to me three or four times already on this trip. Yeah, they're snap tops, so they're not twist off for these water bottles. And the first time you open them. Almost without fail, it's going to splash all over you. So I vented to Doug about it a little bit. And he's like, no, you know what? I kind of like them or something. Yeah, I kind of like them. When? This hand? Or they, they, <laughs> they grow on you or something like that? Yeah, yeah. You don't have random caps all over the place, you know? You know? Like, oh, you don't sure. Have to worry about where your cap is. I mean, all right. Well, it, you do it the first he time and you stop like, doing he, it. He would it. fold to me, like, even just for check that alone. Yeah. <laughs> So you're saying you're perfectly I mean, fine you for the look, players to like have one bars, one incident with that yeah. top, and then yeah, mine was not much then they learn from there and won't have another one. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I'm officially even. I think like I'm up hundred dollars or so. Now you gotta fold every hand. There you go. You okay. <laughs> oh, that hundred pays for the house. All right, I'm coming for you, Mike. Okay. Uh -oh. Twenty-five. Let's play a big one. Let's play a big one. Everybody, put twenty-five K in. I'll flip. Flip? Yeah. I'll do it for Why 24. Not? I, I'm in. <laughs> flip? You, I, know, I know you're in. I don't need to ask you. The odds are against me. Mike X has had enough. Oh, you're the two. Ah. Proposes a $25,000 flip. You can put two now. No, he's got three. three. There you go. Bryce. What's well, the biggest flip you guys have ever done? Yeah, no, I'm okay with that too. I'm okay. With that. 80k, Brad. 80k. Let us know. And I was told I did it three days ago. <laughs> and then I was shown a video of me doing it. I dealt it. I dealt out the 80k flip. Big pile of pink in the middle. Good times. I wish I I could win an 80k flip and, and just not just wake up the next day and find oh, out about it. That sounds dark. nice. I woke up and thought, oh my god, did I lose everything? And then I texted. The poker room. Oh, and I said, "Oh, you won," and I, I said, "I won," <laughs> and I apparently I had one money. What about you, Poppy? 
You big flip guy? I haven't no? flipped it in a, in a while, man. I don't know. When I was younger, it used to be pretty wild. So probably probably 10, 20K, something like that when in my younger younger gambling days. Trips here for high. Up against Ace Jack for 80K. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Poker Nomix. Feels weird to call him that, but here we go. Oh, Ace on the oh, turn. Well, oh. Wow. Yeah. I mean, if, if lots of money starts going yeah, in, it should need, be pretty easy for High to get away from this. Back. Yeah. You can't have music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's really no way around losing at least a bet here for High. <laughs> well, I could have told you that. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. That was that was pretty impressive to get away yeah. there. Yeah. For just uh, a really? bet yeah. for half, oh, yeah. Yeah. half Ooh, the hot. Just getting three to one. Just lays it down. That's why I'm in the commentary booth. Absolutely believe it. Oh, when he flat it, I was like, "Whoa!" Yeah, Doug. Maybe if you keep sticking with poker, you'll be able to get out there one day and compete. But yeah, thank you, Joey. No, stick well, to stick to your 80k flips. I've got I've got PLO commentators coming after me in the heads of no limit streets <laughs> these days. I see a soft spot. I'm going after it. Joey, you're challenge, a forward player now. Joey challenged me to a heads up match today on our podcast. <laughs> Oh, yeah? How'd the podcast go overall? It's good. Did you guys do it? You did it live? We did it live here from the nice. lodge right there in the back, the fireplace yeah. in there. Yeah, it was great setup. Oh. It was good. Oh. Yeah, I challenged Doug to heads up Nolan and hold him. Uh, you, guys, you guys have some pretty legendary podcasts together. It's good to see you back. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's been it's been a while. It's been maybe <laughs> I think it's the first a while. Time you've ever been been on, we did it on my channel, yeah. <laughs> been, been a hot minute. It's so unusual. Hi with the Ace oh. Three Diamonds, raising it up. Jay went with ace four spades. Oh. Similar hand. Might make a move. It's going to call. DQ in there on the button with the queen of diamonds. Uh oh. Oh, we got the Robbie. The Robbie. Here. We got the Robbie <laughs> with the jack four squeezing it. I love that this hand now has a story. Gets to the ace three. What's Jay and going to do? They are quite deep. He could have liked to try and place a post up. He's going to let it go. Uh oh. Well, oh, I mean, you're going to lose. You go big, right, Chet? Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Here's the wind up. Beep, beep, beep. What is it called? Go big or go home? And the Why pitch. DQ just yeah, calls. Garbage. But when you're already in for 60,000 and you're down, you just Oh, like no, it just calls. Wow, okay. <laughs> no, you know? I'm saying, why didn't you go all in? Oh, Thank just you. in case I lose, you know, I don't want to have to, like, you know, I can still Kendall. play and fold to the end of the stream, so I wasn't like, <laughs> kicked off the stream. Uh, I, I think I should go all in in the dark. No, you should. You should just check it down. I've looked at it. I, I think I'm going to go all in in the light. Really? Of course. That's your fault. Wow. That's wow. incredible. Wow. <laughs> the Jack Four. <laughs> Kendall did not want to see a flop. That's incredible. for sure. Incredible. <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Like Take a bow. She pulls it off in honor of Robbie. <laughs> if DQ had jammed there, he probably would have doubled. Jalen is running the solver in there. Jalen was on the fence between a free bet and a call, I believe. I like that the two best hands by far in that hand just basically just raised and folded. Okay. Joey reminded Couple me that we're people. on stream, and I was like, oh, yeah, I got to do something I'm fun. Not happy about that. Yeah, <laughs> There's Mariano like and Andrew in the night. background. You can, you can do that when you've played very good on my <laughs> See, I told you. I told you Andrew was wearing that hoodie. Played okay. Yeah. Played okay. Looks good. Mariano looking ready, looking hungry, looking ready to play. He's going to be in the game tomorrow. Is he going to play uh, a couple other games here, Skull Mike? He didn't give me any. I gave it to you. <laughs> Two games. Perfect. You're right, we should have gone. Oh, that's why she, yes. she asked, yes. why didn't you go all in? Because I had you gone all in. Alex calling here with the king. I think I would have had to have called, honestly, truly. Really? Big Tony. Yeah, yeah, have have Pocket 10s. It would have been 4,500 more. I already put in 3,000. Bumps it up, $1,000, $900 to go, rather. No, even that. It's just like Jack Four oh, yeah. is gonna be like forty percent. DQ makes against the call. Hands, ten seven. You know? He's in again, bad eight, shape here. Ten, up against I'm the tens. Be, I'm, I'm Come on, DQ. Seven. Can he can he pull it out? <clears throat> He's dwindling down in stack. Exactly what was going through Robbie's head. You know, 
When you win with that hat, you look like a genius. And when you lose... Right. You look like a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We're taking a flop. Oh. 6-5-3. Big Tony's still in the lead here with 10s, but both players have gut shot. Oh. I'm going to get a lot of shit for that back home. <laughs> no, I will. There's no reason if they find if there's a reason to give me shit, oh. they will give me shit. How do you get shit about like you you need a Yeah, you got friends. a great play and you got you got me to pull oh. and you won the money. Yeah. That's, that's you can't get shit from me. Lottery making a great will play. get you everywhere. I'm just saying. You <laughs> make a, if you make a great poker play, you just no money give you shit. Get you everywhere. No, I said flattery will get you everywhere. Oh, I see. It's true. <laughs> Because money does. Does make yeah, the call. <laughs> Alrighty. There's going to be some turns there to get kind of dicey for Big Tony. He's going to have to oh, navigate them, fun. but he is very far ahead. Oh, oh ouch. King on the turn. Need to have five drinks and everybody has zero. Oh, and it's, it's such a concealed top <laughs> pair for Alex. Tony's not going to think that's a bad card at all. Um, do you mind if I ask, is it religious? Or? No, 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 no. I, it's just it's a health reason. Big Tony firing a oh, turn. 3,800. 3,600. 3,600. I mean, I respect it. I respect it. I'm like, this guy who says he's on some NyQuil. Like, Okay, on some NyQuil over here, Alex. <laughs> Taking a nap. He's going to have to call here. Not really much merit in raising. Call. Call. Does call. Too bad. Tony's going to start to feel like this pot's getting a little big for 10s. But he is in position, so he can pot control it unless he improves the last 10. The case 10 is a jack. Actually, I won't lie. I missed. My allergies were going crazy in San Francisco. As soon as we landed here, it's like, it's so much better. I still have a little bit of the sniffle. Wait, was it 10? So it was 10, right? I was right? taking COVID tests every day because I was worried. So many people I know had COVID, and they were like, I thought it was just allergies. Do you know what the allergy is too? Like, is it yeah. pollen or... Uh... It's, it's pollen, and it's probably tree pollen. Uh, Beautiful and shot I work in of Palo Alto, the cash games here at the lodge. And I work right next to like a land. It's like they're playing a stand-up game at one of the so bigger like, stakes. Yeah, it's just. Looks like, going on? I mean, it's looks like Stashless and uh, Dylan. They were in our game so last night. Dylan was in the 200 400 school. game as well oh, no too. Yeah. Wait, how did he end up in Palo Alto? The cash <laughs> games look good. Come on down. Get your name on the wait list if you're coming down. Poker Atlas, you can get your name on the wait list there if you don't want to come down here and uh, have to wait a little bit longer. You always want to get on the wait list ahead of time. Got Pot Lemon Omaha. Cash games. No home cash games. Where did you grow up? Most of my teenage years I spent in Germany. Before that, well, I was that in Milan, and then. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna take this back. <laughs> 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 really bad idea. And then after that, where do you go to college? Uh, since 1990, I've been living in Los Angeles. <clears throat> A long time. Yeah, yeah. Eight four deuce Mine's here. Well. Gutter for Big Tony. <laughs> Bought a pair from Mike X. Not much else going on. <laughs> that is your plan. That's exactly Mike no, X is going to take the bank lead. Fire it out. Right out. 500. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh Tony's in the hand. He's, that's his Big love. Tony. <laughs> Big Tony. Big Tony. We're in the same <laughs> realm. Smash this <laughs> gut shot. Three. Brick on the turn. Big Tony checks it. How's Mike X going to play? Kind of overrupt his hand with a flop bet, but. 1200. Keep firing. 1200. Hey, I'll show you one of them. We'll get it done. Love it. I mean, if I own 80, I'm going to beat you all the time. I know. Well, have you ever come up to the Bay Area? I'm about to do a lot more interviews later in the week. I got a lot of questions for these players now. Southern California. I just got to know more about these people. I got so many questions for everybody, yeah. Big, a, what are your questions? Uh, Big Tony, I got a lot of questions. I could probably ask I a question for about 45 idea. minutes straight. Like mm. yeah. uh, Alex, I'd like to know more about him as well. Uh, you know, obviously, you asked Jay Wynn a lot of questions. Hi, I mean, hi seemed like a pretty interesting guy. Kind of quiet over there.
So going to Poker Dome Mix. He was telling me more about yeah. his past, oh, his history, and yeah. entrepreneurship yeah. and investing. So yeah, mm. seemed like he got a lot to say too. I thought you were Vegas saying you fly to Austin. Yeah. Yeah. Some interesting characters in the game today. Yeah, I think yeah, anybody that you know, a lot of people that are willing to come gamble for ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars in a poker game usually got a pretty interesting story. For sure. You know, like, they got something to say, they got opinions, whatever. they got some sort of like, success in their career and, uh, you know, something to share yeah. that I think people are going to find Three hours. maybe pretty fascinating. Yeah. Totally agree. Not yet for the time. Kendall making 800 to go with the six out of spades. Hi, going to flat with King Jack offsuit. No, 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 no. Don't pick him. Pick me. Don't pick him. a four-way flop here. <laughs> no, I won't, I won't have it. A lot of kind of middling offsuit hands in the mix. King 4-3, top pair for high, open ender to the nuts on both sides for Kendall. I kind of heard your interview, you're saying. I can see this pop building. Kendall's going to face a lead here from high. And she's got a couple, she's got an interesting choice here. She can either decide to slow play it, call, feign uh, some middling showdown type hands, or she can decide to bump it up, play it aggressive, but she should go for the call. Pot control that's in position. We're down to heads up. Wanna make some sure Queen on the turn. Watch Brick you. now oh, for yeah. Kendall. Call any stuff Hearts any now in on the turn. Flush draw picked up on the board. How's High going to play it? Let's yeah. continue to bet. Sixteen hundred. About a, about a third, table. fourth pot here from it's High. Kendall in a bit yeah. of a weird <laughs> spot now. Definitely getting on to draw, sure but should she uh, just call or like she when he go for a raise? She's got and six clean outs, outs now. Uh, actually, Nick does call. Here we go. Okay. We're taking a river. Okay. Like, tw like he ordered twice. Like, will she get there? Two dozen, three cool. dozen. Yeah, she yeah, does yeah. not. Yeah. Ten on the river. I was cracking up when I was watching that live stream. I gave him a I'm high. This is feeling a little, a little dicey. Players. You know, whoever worked there. But he's gonna keep that. Sure. And then he came to me. Three thousand. I, I want to. You know, I want a lot of shirt. I go with the Tough run out for Kendall. Like, no, 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 just buy. really sure. difficult to make a move Can here. Place an order. What? Oh. A week later, what? Oh, in! Wow! Oh, oh man! So, that was some bad commentary uh, for me. I gotta say, uh, incredible Kendall. play here. High find wow. himself in a really, really tough situation at this point. Wow! What a raise! Yeah. So what kind of hands is Kendall representing? Wow, right? lays it down. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Maybe like pocket. Oh. Fours, oh threes, backdoor ace, jack, maybe. Jack nine. Nine. Yeah. Wow, wow. nice Look hand. Three, wow. Five, wow. Five, wow. She's getting all the bluffs through. What a play <laughs> by Kendall. <laughs> Biggest bluff of the night right there. Six high on the river. What an absolute animal play. Wow. No fear. <laughs> Kendall's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> and Kendall got to be feeling good after that jack four. After the five six, she shows the hand. Is he playing outside? Or is he William play McKay, play another 99.99 donation. <laughs> yeah. First chat to meet up at the brass house. Love that event. Yeah, and he went up for another for win. William yeah. McKay, big supporter, $200 with you the know, donation every today. Every time I leave the house, he says, uh, Brad, thanks you. I hope you win a lot of money. And I go, don't tell me what to I do. Thank you too. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> that was an incredible He's bluff, guys. Yeah, Kendall, I mean. What was... How much was that for on the river that she bluffed? 20K? 20K? Factor like that? Yeah, I think wow. so. Wow. That was... I'm going to go play poker. And he's like... I, I would appreciate it if you stayed at home or whatever. Right. And every time I've always so done that. It's a kind of smart spot for it because, because high is really unlikely to have well, any of the straights there. Uh, legally, he gets he's not going to lead that before people. Oh. So she knows <laughs> that <laughs> he's kind of capped. My wife gets at best case, two pair. Now they go, oh, yeah. But then again, I'm she doesn't really have the straights either. Talk. So it's not really that that relevant. She does have way more sets though. She has kings, queens, tens. High's not going to have those hands. Aggressive play. In our relationship, we're very much equals, and uh, we both got a lot of respect for it, though. Alex, six hundred dollars into the field. Jay Wynn does so have a, a flush on an open ender. I'll buy dinner. Long story short, got some deep stack poker. A couple hands that could go to war. You're happy. Makes the call. I paid for the trip out here, and I brought him with me and everything. Okay, that's something, right?
Maybe you should talk to my Brick wife. on the turn. <laughs> Alex has got pretty, yeah. pretty good about his straight. <laughs> Jaywin checks it over. Yeah, you need an agent. Alex is going to bet here. The question is how much? And the other question is how is Jaywin going to try and deal with this out of position? It's going to be 2,000. Healthy bet here on the turn from Alex. How does Jaywin want to operate? Nah, it's kind of tough just to call it the draw here because if you call him Brick, you have no chance to win the pot. So Almost it's parking. somewhat tempting <laughs> to like raise if you want to continue, <laughs> but also very I mean, dicey because Alex bet into five people on the flop, so not it. not a great great situation Left to raise. Right. And then he could consider just calling. I mean, there's a lot of, there are a lot of outs that he could Sorry, improve on. Yeah, He's yeah. gonna call and yeah, hope to improve. But the problem with this play is now if you don't improve, you will lose, uh, even if your opponent isn't very strong. Brick on the river. No, actually, I was going to say because Jaywin you care. does improve to a pair of sixes. Obviously, that's still behind the straight. If you love music, um, it vibrates. Nice clean run out here for Alex. So it allows you to feel bass in your body. And so it's used by a lot of very famous musical people. Um, Coldplay has a death section for all of their concerts. Alex is going to bet. Question is how much? Packs and they Could just have to go company. very big. That's cool. Is that, a, is that a wearable? Yeah, it's a wearable. And they're also going to be in cars, but I can't There's be reason for chips. about that. Um, so we it's have a little overbet in play um, here. It's going to be in a car this year, coming out wow. this year. In the Eight thousand and sixty-five hundred. Um, seats. That's big. J one here, bought a pair. Oh. Um, to go. So he was he was going to do a PhD in Germany, mm. and um, good, he good, was working at University of Toronto. He used to do all of these. Alex continues to build that chip stack up over there. The growth of carbon nanofibers. Mm -hmm. Played a pretty good session so far. Zero gravity. So in order to simulate oh, zero yeah. gravity, you take yeah. a plane up and then it just dive bombs yeah, down yeah. and then turns yeah. around. Yeah, so his mom and I have had a lot of conversations about that. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's bananas. <coughs> and so um, he was going to do his PhD in Germany. He left his lab and he was like, I'm going to do something <coughs> for the summer just for fun. And uh, found a Craigslist ad for this company. It was employee number one. They wanted to make these wearable base devices. And uh, he created the whole thing. I know, it's freaking, it's so cool. We're back in some action. A lot of folds so around much. here. I, I think it's... <laughs> Jay Wynn's going to raise it to 600. So cool. And take it down for eight. Well, I mean, I met him after that section, let's be honest. I didn't meet him before that. Uh, but, I mean, they were they were still struggling a lot as companies. Yeah, um, startups, and especially small. It's, it's hard. I know, trust me, I'm at one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you mentioned, you mentioned, yeah. Yeah, Buy I mean, we're, we're not super <laughs> small, but we're not big, so, startup, yeah. Oh, startup is a struggle, does, regardless of, yeah. you know, because yeah. there's so many unknowns, and, uh... Um, Absolutely. Yeah, well, I like to gamble, if you can't tell. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really like how Kendall plays poker. But they were working I think she's awesome. Yeah. I think she's awesome yeah. for the stream. I think she's... And, uh, I think she's great. Because of the I, I think she's really good on the stream. She's gotten two to the really exciting bluffs through with the yeah, but <laughs> Jack she's, four offsuit. Yeah. yeah, she's played her a few times, and, and it's just it's just great to watch her. I, I think um, she's an exciting player to watch. She's kind of hard to, to read what she's doing, what she's up to. <laughs> And she's super capable. The <laughs> and then she's also chips. chatty and a part no, of the table. She has a good time. Go she's friendly. It, I, I just think she's it. just great for the scene. Sure I've done that all night, and it hasn't worked. The the anyway, the Ace Duck Polk stamp of approval. Oh, right. I'm, I'm just very I'm trying, call, just trying to call it spades. Spade. Doesn't come easy. I'll tell you that right spades, now. Ace King Seven, <laughs> two spades, flush draw for Kendall with the Queen Four Spades. Other players both paired. Big Tony middle pair, DQ bottom pair. Okay. Small bet. Um, could have bet in the light. And things heat up on the turn. DQ improves to two pair. Kendall pairing a flush draw. Big Tony. Now, a bit more dicey spot. Oh. Kendall bets 500. Two DQ pounds. jams. I have two pair. Oh, yeah, I have one pair. It's not been DQ's day so far, oh, so I got bad. I got bad. Uh, bad feeling about this river for DQ. Uh, Any chance we could do a, a red card? Low red card? Oh, no. Oh, that's spicy. Oh, no. That is spicy, that's spicy. Low red card. Low red card? DQ knows it's coming. Oh. You got it. Well, you got a red one. Yeah, I had, I'm just waiting to double check that I saw it right. DQ. Because everybody's looking like it's a chop. And I have to think should, we get, should we get someone out and make sure that the deck is, th that everything's good with the oh, deck? Yeah, because yeah. that was a, a pot DQ one. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I mean, 
Can give me, give me that money? No, he's due. It's about time, DQ. Nice hand. A little double up. Back in the game. Uh, yeah, I'm, and we are now like, entering the final hand of our stream tonight. Sure that was 2015. Yeah. Hopefully it's a big one. There's a camera. No, 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 there's this. DQ got his double, you know? Yeah, we are going to be back tomorrow, 3 p.m. Uh, uh, 3 p.m. Central Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, and every day this week, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, including on Saturday. Friday and Saturday will be the 200-400 games. Uh, Tuesday through Thursday will be 5,100. Tomorrow's game, uh, Mariano will be in the mix as well. Uh, Brad? See you. Skull Mike? Maybe we bring Skull Mike back in. DQ is going to be in the game as well, too. Andrew Nimi will be in the game. 7-4. Mike okay. X will be this back in the game, too. Yeah, I could have oh, checked. Yes. I could have checked. Going to see Pierre again, yeah, our Italian hero. Yeah, I know. It's three grand. <laughs> I know. Where's the rest of it? Uh, you know, shit. Could be worse. If you, no, couldn't. Does Polk, are we going <laughs> to see you in the, in the games a little bit later this week? Lost. I'm not sure what it is I'm playing yet. The game always feel yes. better when I see Doug Polk in the game. I think well, you, you, I think you got to get in the game, man. I don't know. I've I played two days. I'm still recovering, and I just want our players to have a good time, and I want to make sure the production is everything runs smoothly. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Jamie Kerstad are going to be hopefully be here tomorrow as well too. I can't say anything to that. Big Tony limping in with a 9 3 of spades. Jay went in there with 8 6. DQ King 7. Kendall with the ace jack of clubs. Oh, I said I'm on tilt. 500 bucks to go. Declare is on tilt. Big Tony 9 3. All right. Tony calls. All right. Can't lose the last two hands of the stream, right? No? Ace, nine, deuce. Both players pair Kendall in the lead. Top pair, middle kicker. Maybe again. Check, check. Jack on the turn. Top two now for Kendall, but it's a dicey situation. Four diamonds out there. Any diamond would be in the lead. Check, check once again. Deuce on the river. And Kendall going for a little, little value nibble. 300. Wait, I wasn't going to lose the last hand. I know. And you know, Tony again. letting it go. I didn't have a diamond. That's my problem. Uh, right yeah. up Thank you. That was the last hand. Yeah, yeah, was and oh, that no. is... Oh, no. And that's oh, going to do it here for Muscle the Lodge. Guys, final thoughts on the stream today. Brad, what do you think about this conservative stream with no action? As soon as I got in the booth, things started popping off. So a huge wow, beef hits here. 66% from DQ. Didn't have the best night, but uh, uh, he made it exciting for us. So he certainly did. Big Tony playing a lot of hands in there, too. Oh and here my we gosh, have the final DQ. results. We have Alex up 41,000. Poker Nomics up 14K. Kendall and Jay when booking some respectable wins. Couple players in the break even area, high down about 8K, and then DQ throwing the party $70,000. He says Ouch. it is off slightly. Maybe it was only 60. I'm not entirely sure. There's the production team. That's the queue. This stream is ending. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central every day for launch week. Thank you for joining us to the Lodge Live. Subscribe. We're trying to get to 100K subs. We will see you tomorrow. Peace out, everybody. Take care. Uh-huh.